Why, hello there. Hi. It's Skyrim time. I'm late. <laughs> it, it, it's like an hour after I usually start my streams, but uh, hi. I'm here now. Welcome. I was busy doing shit, and I like, I kept looking at the clock. I'm like, cool. I'm already 10 minutes late. Cool. 30 minutes late. Great. Cool. It's fine. It's all, you know, it's fine. I was busy, but I'm here now. Hi. We're, we're almost an hour late, but we're going to play some Skyrim tonight. Last time we played this game, uh, I showed off that I now have fast travel. We're able to do that now, which means we got a whole bunch of shit done <laughs> last stream. We got way more shit done than we usually do in the previous stream because I can fast travel now. It's so goddamn nice and great. Uh, but we did a bunch of random side quests here and there. We got the remaining horses that we needed to get. You know, all, all, all the horses you can go around and tame. We did that. We did the, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? The fucking, the, the, Sh the Shea Gorath quest. The one in Solid 2, we did that one. We, we, we you know, we, we met up with the old Shea Gorath again for a little bit ahead of time. We did some more Creation Club shit. And we also built some more stuff in Blackthorn. Today, no clue what the hell we're doing. Oh, we built the farm last time too, right? I forgot about that. We like we, like, we like built the farm up. The, the Golden Hills Plantation, whatever the fuck it's called. We did that too. I remember. We did do that. Good. Good, good, good. Anyway, I'm going to swap over to Skyrim and quit fucking talking for 20 minutes here. Yeah, let me unmute the game. Hold on, you're looking at stars. Wait. <laughs> Hold on, shit. There we go. There we go. Hey, come on. You can do it, OBS. Please? There you go, champ. Good, good, good. There we go. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna play the game. No clue what the hell we're doing today, in terms of like general shit. Uh, I know we did get a creation club thing last stream. I don't remember the name of it, but we picked it up randomly from a a bartender. We we accidentally accidentally clicked on a thing that said like, "Do you have any bounties available?" Which I did not mean to click on, but clicking on that, funnily enough, gave us a creation club quest. <laughs> so I'm glad I did it, and we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do that quest, which I heard is kind of a long one. It's called the Cause or some shit. Has something to do with the Mythic Dawn. We're gonna check that out. Also, 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 hey, also, hey, hey, void chess and chat, yeah, Th thank you, <laughs> Th thank you for subscribing, but also, why? <laughs> I appreciate it, I do very much, but I'm always so confused when people give me money, like, yeah, but thank you, I do very much appreciate that, thank you very much, also, don't give me money, but also, enjoy your fucking, enjoy your goofy emotes now that you got, yeah, enjoy, thank you, thank you, very, very much, um, what am I doing here, though? I'm the streamer who hates subscribers, yep. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm I'm conflicted between, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a greedy asshole and I love money, but also I, I hate when people give me stuff, but I still appreciate it. I do. Anyway, we're here in Windhelm. Uh, I, I moved all of my shit from Blackthorn. Once again, now that we're able to fast travel, I literally just moved everything. Everything, everything from Blackthorn to here now. So all of our stuff is in this house finally. I haven't decorated the place yet. It's still empty and barren, but I am going to start decorating it at some point when I get time. All of our stuff is here now. Also, as you can see, Jarkithis is the only follower we have with us. I told Jazargo, I, I, Jazargo's back at the college. And Ilya, the lady we like literally just met last stream, the witch that we bumped into who we recruited, she, she's already at the college too. I left her off there. <laughs> also, Snowball's not here anymore. That's, I keep calling him Snowball. The reason I keep doing that, because his name is fucking Sweet Roll, right? By the way, th 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 now, now you're giving me bits? Now you're going to give me bits? Hey. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but also, thank you. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Um, Sweet Roll is the name of the, the fox. Sweet Roll. Sweet Roll's taking a break back at the Tundra Homestead. But the reason I keep calling Sweet Roll fucking Snowball is because a friend of mine had a cat named Snowball when I was a kid. And that's just what comes out of my mouth whenever I, when I try to say Sweet Roll, I say Snowball instead. They had a pet cat named, named Snowball. Snowball was a black cat. Don't know why they named it Snowball. <laughs> anyway. Good, good, good. Sweet Roll needs euthanasia. Don't you be- No, Sweet Roll's great. I love Sweet Roll. The only reason Sweet Roll isn't here right now is because Sweet Roll kept fucking blocking me in doorways and it was driving me insane. That's also why Jazargo and Ilya are not here. I want to go back to having one follower for a bit. Just as fucking Talos intended. <laughs> I want one follower. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh yeah, Snuffles is my slave name. You can call me Snowball, yeah, because my- Yeah, I forgot about that. Also... Also, now, now you're gifting subs? Void, void chess? Yeah, you're, now, you, you're not, yeah, now you're gifting fucking subs? Yeah? Th thank you. <laughs> but also, stop it. But also, thank you. Okay. Well, here's the quest that we got. At the end of last stream. The cause, it's called. Here, we're, we're gonna do this one tonight. We're gonna start off with this one. I heard it's kind of a long one, so... I received a letter from somebody named Scorvild, claiming to be a reformed member of the Mythic Dawn. He mentioned the Oblivion Crisis, asked me to meet him at the Shrine of Stendar. I like how it just says the Shrine of Stendar, like which fucking one? There's so many of them. I should go there and see what he has to say. Good? Good. Also, do I- I, I have survival mode on still, don't I? I hope so. Did I turn it off? 
Okay, it's still on. Again, remember, I, I turn off survival mode sometimes in between streams when I'm trying to get thumbnails. I just, like, turn it off and I turn god mode on so I can fucking roam around and get screenshots easier. Because funnily enough, when you have god mode turned on, you still are at the mercy of survival mode. <laughs> it just goes right through god mode. It's really fucking annoying. Oh, okay, we're here now, though. I think I, I already cleared up my inventory and shit, too. Yeah, we still have this on us, by the way. I have no clue what the hell to do with this damn thing. This Ancestral Sword Clan blade, whatever the fuck, it does zero damage. It, it, it's some quest item that we can't drop yet. No clue how we get rid of it. I have to find the quest and get it the fuck out of my inventory. Good, good, good. Whoop. Whoop. Also, hi there, by the way. Welcome. How you doing? It's Skyrim time. I'm very late today. So we're going to go... Oh, I also did this, too. You want to check this out? So, so and speaking of horses, I, I mentioned that how we got all the horses at the end of last stream. The horses are bugged the fuck out. <laughs> like, Darren, we can't ride Darren no matter what we do. I cannot, like, ride Darren anymore. I don't know what happened. It won't let me do it. And now Crouton is having the same issue, too. Remember Crouton, the horse we got in the previous stream or whatever? The, the white horse? Crouton is fucked up now, too. So, uh, yeah, we can't ride Crouton anymore. The, the unicorn's still fine. I'm not riding them currently, though. What we're going to be doing instead, I went and actually bought one of the base game vanilla horses that are, like, in the base, like, in the game. They're not Creation Club content or modded. We're gonna we're gonna ride one of those because those are probably less likely to get bugged the fuck out. So we, we have a regular default ass horse, and we're just gonna pretend it's Darren. <laughs> just name all of them Darren, yeah. <laughs> we we have a we have a base game vanilla horse now that we're going to be using. Are they out here? I hope they're out here. Yeah, there they are. That's not them. Wait, is that them? Is that is, why don't you have your armor on, penis? I I bought armor for you. Whatever. <laughs> fuck it. You don't have to have your armor on, whatever. I bought the damn horse armor. They were wearing it before I saved my game earlier. Skyrim just works, doesn't it? The unicorn is eliminating the competition. Yeah, you're right. The unicorn is murdering every other horse. Why is it playing the dungeon music? Did you just hear that? It just played like the... Like noise it plays whenever you get to like the end of a dungeon. Or like some big fancy place in a dungeon. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe naming the horse is glitching him out. Yeah, that's why I didn't bother, like, renaming this horse. It's just called Falekbar's horse. I'm just gonna leave a light. We're just gonna pretend it's Darren, alright? We're just gonna pretend this horse is Darren. Yeah, but Crouton's over here. I tried... I, I, I went over here, got on Crouton, and, like, rode her around for a bit. And then, literally, the moment I got off of her, she broke. I couldn't get back on her. <laughs> it wouldn't let me, so I don't know. So, Crouton's roaming around over here somewhere. Darren's out in the middle of the forest somewhere still. The unicorn is fine up here at the College of Winterhold, but... Name it Darren? We'll, we'll pretend that their name is Darren. <laughs> I can't name them. Cool? Alright, we're gonna go here. Let's just, let's just go to the let's go to the fucking farm and we'll make our way over to this uh trying to stand our here, shall we? Also you can check out what I did at the plantation off stream. I I planted a few more things. Not a whole lot, just a few more things. I got some more mushrooms growing there. We got like the blister mort and like the mora, whatever the fuck they're called, scaly yadahuha mushrooms. And we got a bunch of jazz bay grapes and wheat and shit. Some snowberries are growing there. It's lovely. Can't grow any fucking garlic, though. Just, just, just impossible. They don't know how to do it. Skyrim, fight, fight, the people of Skyrim have no clue how to grow garlic. <laughs> it just... They import all of it from Cyrodiil. Same thing with the apples. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, see, I planted a few more things there. I, I, I don't know what the hell I'm planting in the back row there. I don't know what I'm planting back there. I can't figure anything out yet. Anyway, let's go to the Shrine of Stendar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just wanted. So I just want to take you when I'm looking at right now, yeah? It's a cool fucking horse you got there. Cool fucking horse, Uthgird. Oh, should we bring Uthgird with? No, 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 no. We just got down to two partners again. <laughs> we just got down to just Darkeithis for a little bit. We only have one follower again. Let's just let's just do that, yeah? Just, just me and Darkeithis for a bit? As much as I want to bring Uthgird with again? We're not doing that. Oh, also for anybody curious or anybody that gives a shit or even remembers, uh, we got the dragon bone, like, male, whatever the fuck, armor last year. I'm not wearing it. I don't have it on currently. It has the... Hello? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, wolf. It has the same stats as the regular dragon plate armor, so... Except for it has, like, a little dragon cod piece, and I didn't feel like wearing it. Plus, it comes with a... Like, it has a pre-enchantment on it that I didn't feel like having. It was a really good enchantment. It makes you completely immune to fire damage. Like, you have 100% resistance to fire with that on. It's, it's so, I mean, it's a pretty good one, but I didn't feel like wearing it. I want to enchant my own armor, you know? Which, speaking of enchanting, our enchanting is now at 75. 
I also did that off stream. I went to the I went to the trainers and like bought training again. Now we're at level 75 enchanting. Hello? It's just a, just nature is happening off in the distance. Can do you need something? How do you exist? Like what are you? You're you're just like a deer made out of trees and dirt. I'm supposed to meet somebody here, by the way. Some mythic dawn. Is this a tr ah? Defeat the mythic dawn assassins. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Way to ruin the surprise. <laughs> really, really, real good assassins. You know, they had a great they had a great time to be able to catch up and sneak up to me. Hi. Hello. Well, this would be a cool opportunity to get the mythic dawn armor if we hadn't already murdered what's his face on accident. Like we were forced to kill him. Remember? Remember Silas, the guy that we, we had to kill for the Mayru's Dagon quest? I didn't want to kill him. The game just made me kill him. Because it would not, for the life of me, let me talk to him. Like, it, every time a dialogue opened up, it just fucking kicked me out immediately. Mythic Dawn Orders. Yeah, what is this? Yeah? There have been whispers of traitors among our ranks, pathetic attempts to sabotage our mission. But nothing will stand in the way of Lord Dagon's Val Valkyn? Valkyn. Your duty is to seek out those who oppose us and eradicate them. Acolytes Scorville and Priestess Enacane have gone missing. Find them. If there's any scent of betrayal, they must be swiftly destroyed. <laughs> Smell that? Betrayal. Afterward, travel to the excavation camp and await for further instruction. But take the utmost precaution. The Vigil of Stendar have increased their activity and may be aware of our presence. The dawn is breaking. Okay. Good. I'm glad the Mythic Dawn... I, I love how like 80% of the Creation Club content shit is just like, Hey, remember Morrowind? Hey, member of Oblivion? <laughs> oh shit! Are you part of the Mythic Dawn? <laughs> oh god, get away from me! Okay. What can I? Whenever I do that voice, you're like, who the hell is that? Do I have another tab open? Yeah. Hey, you like that voice? What is that noise? Turkey? You having fun? Oh, I got Turkey some more arrows too, by the way. I crafted him some more arrows. He's like fully loaded now. He's good to go. I think he has like 200 and some. Because we, we just have copious amounts of dragon bones laying around. Because like I already made our weapons and armor. So now all my dragon bones just go into making Drakita's fucking bows anymore. Ah, you okay, Scorville? You used to be part of the Mythic Dawn? Do you have any information about where your friend might be? Whose name I already forgot. Like, fucking, what, what are they called? Hold on. Scorville's journal. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I want to read that, but there's a there's a bunch of shit in the way. <laughs> can, can these pop-ups off my screen, please? So I can read the book. There we go. <clears throat> if you're reading this, it means they may they may have reached me first. The mythic dawn do not tolerate desertion. A fitting end for my transgressions, I suppose. If you know of the mythic dawn, you may have heard that the cult has eradicated long ago. It was, yeah, it sure did. After the oblivion crisis of the third era came to an end, this was true. Until yesterday. <laughs> Until right fucking now. A disc sorry, as Discord began to sow in the lands of Skyrim, the whispers of Mayru's Dagon made their way to the ears and mind of a fervent worshipper named Va Varnos? Varnos. These whispers led him deep underground to an ancient mythic dawn temple, long since collapsed, where rumors spoke of an oblivion gate. If I get to go into an oblivion gate, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna piss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss with joy. <laughs> Lying in ruin for centuries. Vano soon made a pact with, go on, Mayrun's Dagon, and began to quietly reform the Mythic Dawn. As his new leader, he began to cultivate more members to, to the cause, and I myself fell victim to the promise of such power. After the Oblivion Crisis, the gates around Skyrim were buried deep within the lands. However, with much effort, we retrieved many of its pieces and successfully rebuilt an Oblivion Gate. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Vanos, a master of conjuration, has been working tirelessly to open a gate and give Mayru's Dagon's troops a doorway to Tamriel. As dictated by the pact, the cleansing of the Oblivion Gate required a personal blood sacrifice from each of us to prove our devotion. Blinded by ambition, I offered up my own... Go on, brother. Sune? Soon? How do you fucking pronounce that? Sune? Whatever the fuck. A simple farmer who could not harm a dart wing. Watching the knife penetrate his body sent shock and horror through my entire being. The blood that spilled from his his loins? Oh goodness, was that of my blood? In that moment. What am I trying to read? Sorry, my brain just shut off. In the in the, in the, where's, where where am I? In that moment, I realized that I had what I had done. It was not a power that bewitched me, but deceit. As an acolyte, I was not privy to that much information, but I know that Vanos is searching for a powerful ancient artifact that is necessary to open the gate. 
What the artifact may be, I do not know. I heard something about an exc excavation camp to the southeast of fucking Iverstead, because, because of course it's by fucking Iverstead, everything is near a mountain pass. Perhaps more information can be found there. Listen, anytime anything gets added to this game, it's either by Riverwood, Whiterun, or fucking Iverstead. That's where everybody puts everything in this game. Or Rorikstead. Those, four, those are the four places people put shit in this game. Also, hi there, by the way. <laughs> Alright, thanks for popping in. You've been watching the VODs, yeah? You just started episode 12. Nice. This is like episode 20, I think, is what stream this is. This is stream number 20 of this game, so you're getting there. You're catching up, but thank you. Thanks for popping in. I'm, I'm doing horrible fucking voice acting, trying to reach it. Lastly, in order to keep its location secret, all but the highest priests in the order are blindfolded and taken, then taken to and from the Oblivion Gate. So I have no further information to give as to its whereabouts. I only know it has was it was a cave. I wish I could tell you more. I've been on the run, day and night, and now the Vigil of Stendhal is on my trail. I can only imagine what they might do to someone like me, so I come to you with my plea. Someone who, who might be better. Who, sorry, who might better understand my plight. Please start the Mythic Dawn however you can. For myself, my forsaken brother, and the whole of Tamriel. Okay. Cool. What about your friend, though? <laughs> what, what about... What about the other, like, person who... Hold on, let me read that other note. What was their name? Like, N something? I fucking already forgot I'm an asshole. I hate that I forgot. Hold on, what, what was their name? Priestess Anakane. We have to look for Anakane. Yeah, what the fuck is Anakane at? There's somebody else who's missing apparently right now, yeah? Give me that. Give me your stuff. Well, we got, also, we got plenty of money right now, by the way. If you look down there, we have like 96,000 gold now. Uh, I went and uh, picked up our profits <laughs> from Blackthorn. I think we had like 60,000 or something at the end of last stream or 50,000 and something like that. Now we have 96,000 again. We got so much money from that place. It's great. And then if I fucking... <gasps> Twin secrets. <gasps> Enchantment? That's actually really fucking useful because my <laughs> I just got to level 75 and I can't use trainers anymore. Except for... Well, no, there might be... There, apparently there are master level trainers in this game. I, I was informed of that by chat the other day. Apparently... Yeah, sure. I'll have 100 gold. Just give me a blessing. I don't care in case I have a disease or something. I was informed that apparently master level trainers do exist in this game. It's just not the same as it is in Oblivion where, you know, they tell you where they are after you reach master level. You have to, like, go find them on your own. Where's my horse? You heard me mention Sips a few times. Is that person inspiration to you? I do like Sips. I've been watching him for a long fucking time, man. Yeah. Been watching that that there's Sips fella for quite some time. I was just watching him play Don't Starve like literally today. <laughs> You've been streaming Don't Starve, and I've been watching him play that lately. I watched him play. I watched him do a playthrough of Skyrim like fucking years and years and years ago. I watched him do another playthrough of Skyrim like even before that, like before he started streaming. He tried doing a YouTube playthrough of him and didn't get very far. It was still pretty good though. But then he did the stream of it. And he like 100% of the entire fucking game. It was great. That's actually where I got the idea for doing Blackthorn at. That's actually where I learned like, there's a Blackthorn mod here. That was that he had that in his playthrough, and I'm like, ooh, it looks dope. I want that. Anyway, where am I going? Where's this cave at? It, it just said it was in a cave. Am I dumb? Search for clues at the Mythic Dawn camp. Oh, okay. It's just some... Oh, yeah. They said near Iverstead right. I'm a dumbass. Pardon me. I am an asshole. Doo -doo -doo. You never heard of him before? Yeah? He's good? He's like part of the Yonks cast? Kinda? He's a pretty like, independent like streamer slash like YouTuber at this point. But like he, he was mostly known for being in the Yonks cast. For a while there. Whoop. I could fast travel there. I want to walk around for a bit. Yeah, I'll just Skyrim horse my way up this mountain. I'm still very confused as to why my armor is missing. Like, what happened to my horse armor? <laughs> this horse was armored prior to me starting the stream. Like, I, I loaded the save file up and like I was like dicking around. And, like, this horse had armor on, and then it just disappeared. Oh, cool fucking cliff. Hmm. I guess I'll just yeet myself over. Yeah, fuck, I was gonna fast travel. Let's go to Iverstead, yeah. Or should I go to Blackthorn? Oh, I did. Here, let me. Try. Yeah, we will go to Blackthorn, as a matter of fact. You know why? Because. Because, because. I actually did a little bit of building in Blackthorn as well in my own time. Uh, I figured I would spare everybody. <laughs> I figured I would spare everybody the. Uh, whatever, the, the, the fucking exhaustion of having to watch me uh, walk around with a fucking full inventory full of shit as I try to build stuff. 
in the Blackthorn Manor, so I did a little bit of that on my own time, and I got the basement finished. The entire Blackthorn Manor is done now. Whole thing. Blackthorn, done. The whole goddamn town. Everything about it. I haven't armored up the guards yet, like I said I was going to do, but... Eh. I'll do it eventually, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Ooh, I'm tired and hungry. Ooh. Am I not doing survival? We are. We're still in survival mode. I just, uh... Again, you haven't caught up in the VODs yet, have you? I, uh... I, I, I enabled fast travel. Fast travel is now enabled. <laughs> because it was driving me insane. Not being able to fast travel was driving me fucking insane. So, uh... I, I enabled it. So we still have survival mode turned on. I just am now able to go between places quicker. Because I, I was getting t very tired of going up and down the same two roads over and over and over to get to places. Anyway, down here in the basement, as you can see, it's done. There's no longer a, a dance fucking table floor down here anymore. It's a big old like, armory, which I have nothing in. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to fill it with shit. Maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, do I even give a shit to fucking put all this stuff down here? It's insane. There's, like, so much room down here for collecting. There's a forge down here, too, with a giant fan as well. Remember when I complained about that? In the previous stream, I was like, why the fuck would I build a forge in my basement? Like, it's just going to fill up with smoke. The, oh? Oh, it's a ghost fan, apparently. You see that? <laughs> when I look down, the texture fucks up. <laughs> Good. Oh, great. But yeah, anyway, the mod maker thought of that, I guess. And they were like, okay, here, fine, I'll put a fan above it. But yeah, I built everything down here. It looks nice. Just tons of room down here for shit to do. You can store stuff, yada yada. I'm probably not going to make use out of any of it because I'm storing all my stuff in Windhelm. Because that is my house. But this place is a good stopping point to have when we're, like, roaming around. We can hop in here and do stuff. I guess I can have my followers like live here and shit too, yeah. Like we give our kids us a house, or give anybody else a house. Jazargo lives at the college, or Renia lives at the college. Ilya, that lady we just got in the previous stream, lives at the college. Like, should I get anybody else? If I can find any other followers that need homes, I can just let them fucking live here, I guess, yeah. Excuse me. Hmm. Also, while we're here, you know what? Never mind, she's not here. I was gonna say I can buy some bolts. Like some crossbow bolts from the archer. Sorry, the Fletcher lady, but she's not here. Okay. Can you get the hell out of my house? <laughs> Hello, get guards, please. <laughs> please. There we go. Good, good, good. You're gonna hop out for now though, because you don't want to get spoiled on stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. We're gonna head and check out this mythic dawn thing. Whatever's going on the way the Shrine to Stendar, yeah? Over by Arborstead? However, there's something going on here. Hello. Hi. Are you my neighbors? How long have you been here? <laughs> I did, did you notice me building an entire town across the river? Hi. Can I introduce you? Hello. Stelio? You're mine. What, what's you happening? Something? What the hell? Hello? There's giant spiders. They, they, okay, hold on. Let me deal with the fucking spiders real quick, I guess. There we go. Where's my shooty McBooty gun? There it is. Boom. Dead. Ow. Oh, are you dying? Shit, let me hold on. Let me heal you. Oh, God, wait. No, where's my healing spell? <laughs> oh, God, you okay? I'm healing you with that fire, penis. You okay? You dying of poison? Need something? No. I, I, I need to speak with whoever the hell this is. Hi, do you work? Like, you're just squatting across the bridge? Like... Are you also building a town? <laughs> Are you building a castle over there? What's going on? Who's St Stelio? Is your name, yeah? Stelio? The guy from American Dad? Hello. I will take back my family's castle. Oh, yeah, the castle right there. What's going on? <sighs> Finally, reinforcements have arrived. What are you talking about? I was expecting more, though. You'd better be good. Uh. I. W w I, I I'm literally the fucking best. You want to see me go? You want to go see me go ape shit? <laughs> good. Place is crawling with bandits. We lost some good men trying to take it earlier. Oh. I suspect Brurid planned this. Brurid. There's been bad blood between us since the king's death. Yeah? But to invade my home, kidnap my family. That sounds pretty fucked, yeah? Like, what, what the hell's the, what's this guy's problem? You ask a lot of questions for a mercenary. Just get in there and open the gate. We'll try and provide help once that's done. Okay. 
I mean, again, I don't know if you know it. How long have you been here? Like, <laughs> have, have you seen me building a town across the river? Well, if you're trying to take back this castle, like, you you want to, like, you know, like, get on, like, a deal, maybe? Like, you build your castle here. We got our t we have, like, a little township thing going on here. Like, yeah? Like, you sure, I'll help you out. Yeah. Sure, I'll do it. I wish we could offer more help. But our last attack went sour. And we're all that is left. Mm-hmm. Good luck. I'll, I'll try. Maybe you should have, like, if you were planning on, like, storming a castle, you should have maybe, like, you know, brought some weapons and armor, not <laughs> came here with a literal pelt around your fucking waist, but sure. Here, you meet me and the boy will go in there. Yeah, Drakitas, you and me? Wanna go in there and fuck up some goddamn assholes? Let's go in there and take over a castle. Oh, now what? Oh, fucking now what? Who? What? What are we fighting now? What, what are we fighting now? Oh, you guys. My imagination. Yeah, must be. Wait, can I sneak? Hold on, I guess we'll do this quest really quick on the way to this. Yeah, hold on. It's all the way over in Irish Dead anyway. Let's try this out. What is this? Use the back door to get gain access to Teva's... Treva, rather. Treva's watch, yeah? Just right here? It's Treva's watch. The name of this castle? Let's go. You and me, buddy. Come on, keep this. We're sneaking. We're going in. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Ooh. Yo, hold on. Easy fucking watch this shit. Ready for this? Easy fucking triple kill. They never wait. Wow. <laughs> cool. It didn't, it didn't kill any of them. Awesome. Uh oh. Hold on. Boink. Our one hand is almost to 100 now, by the way. In the previous stream, we got our destruction up to 100. Enough? Enough? Should have thought about that before you took this castle, jackass. But oh, we got we got our uh, destruction up to 100 now, or in the previous stream, and now our one-handed is very close. It's at like 95 or 6 or something. Also, I'm pretty sure we can go, I mentioned this in the previous stream too, but we can go to the College of Winterhold now and do a... Uh, we can go to the College of Winterhold now and, like, do the destruction quest. Because apparently there's a quest you get once you get, like, 90 in all the magic skills. Like, you, you can do, like, quests for the different people there once your stats are high enough. So we can do the destruction quest now if we want to. But I'm probably going to wait to do, like, all those in one go. Like, once I get all my magic skills up to 90, we'll head over there and, like, do all the new quests that become available to us here. Yeah? Give me the stam. Give me a big ol' slurpy juice. Uh-huh. Is there any goodies in here that I care about? Maybe. I was also thinking too, off stream, about like what kind of armor I want to... Because remember in Oblivion, right? When I played Oblivion, I didn't just wear the best armor. Like, I wasn't wearing like Daedric armor the entire fucking playthrough. It's like I was wearing my own shit that I thought looked cool. <laughs> like, and I want to do that in this game too, but... I, I don't know. I, I I was looking at stuff like, which armor do I want to wear? Like, what stupid mishmash hodgepodge bullshit do I want? <laughs> cool bear trap. What mishmashed hodgepodge bullshit do I want to wear that'll look cool? Because my oblivion armor was like what? It was like an orcish chest piece and like a fucking like legion boots and or, I think orcish greaves too. Or no, I can't remember. No blades greaves. And I can't remember what the hell gauntlets I had on. But we had a real like clusterfuck of an armor set in that game and it looked great. And I want to do something similar in this game, but like this game really incentivizes you a lot more though to like wear the super high tier shit. Plus, also wearing a matching set is just good too. You get like perks that reward you for having a matching set of armor and stuff. So I don't know. Uh, hello. I, mm, I hope that's not that guy's family outside. Uh, there's three bodies. That did he mention how big his family was? That's not good. Uh oh. It fucking sucks to suck, I guess. Is there any cool stuff in here? We're not really hurting for, like, cooking ingredients anymore. We got a ton of them last stream. We have, like, so many leaks now. Remember the great leak drought of fucking last stream? We had none We had none leaks? We have plenty of them now. We have so many leaks. I'm also trying to sneak more. Because, like, we haven't done a whole lot of sneaking in this playthrough, I feel like. And we gotta get our sneak skill up. Do I have to go into that door? Oh yeah, right, because this is the back door that like leads. Well, no, 
Yeah, let's go out here. Let's lead back. We'll be like in the castle walls now, right? If I go out here, I'm not gonna open the gate yet. I'm gonna open the gate after I kill everybody. That way, the people waiting outside to help storm the castle don't like die. <laughs> There's only three of them out there, and I would feel real fucking horrible if I open the. Oh, we're not outside yet. Never mind. I'm done. I figured that was gonna take us outside. My bad. But anyway, once we get outside, I'm going to wait until I kill all the baddies before I open the, the castle gates. That way these guys can come in and have a safe place to- <sighs> Yeah? <laughs> the fucking bear trap, I swear to god. Someone there, he says, the fucking bolt pierces his sternum. Come and get me, you motherfucker. Ooh. Well, I still what? Sorry, you, finish that, you want to finish that statement? There we go. Hi there, by the way. How you doing? Thanks for popping on in. We're sneaking into a house. House castle. We're sneaking into a castle. Some 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 some, some fucking penises. A bunch of bandits took over this castle. It belongs to some dude outside. They kidnapped his family and took over the castle. And now we're going in to take it back for him. As a quick little diversion on our way to do what the other quest that we were doing, which was the cause quest, that, that creation club quest that we got last stream. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give You're gonna get Tales of Vesperia, yeah? It's a good game. It's there's tons of shit to do with it. <laughs> it's a bit there's so much shit you can do in that game. It is quite the long one. Got some fun characters in it. You got Yuri and oh god, hello. You got Yuri and Raven, and you got Estelle, and you got Carol. Are you, did she see me? Sorry, does he, sorry, I was thinking of, what the, what the hell's her name? I forgot her name now. Rita. Her name's Rita, right? Sorry, I'm an asshole. <laughs> but, it's got Rita. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen it in quite some time. No spoilers, I'm just naming off characters. It's got a lot of cool, it's got a lot of cool people in it. Should you do the English or Japanese voiceover? I couldn't tell you. I've only ever experienced the English voiceover. Wizards. Wizards. But they got that secret magic. Can turn wood to gold. I could turn fucking iron to gold. I I have that ability to do that. Random person, you want to see me do it? You want to see me? You're talking about turning in wood into gold, but like, have you ever seen somebody turn iron into gold? Eh? I can actually do that. That's real. Not some bullshit alchemy. Made up shit. I didn't like have my mom die and lose my right arm and have my brother turn into a robot man when I tried to... <laughs> when I tried to turn fucking iron into gold. Small sack, yeah? Okay. Hi! Excuse me. I should eat some food, yeah, I'm getting hungry. We do have plenty of food on us. Here, let's eat some dumpies. Let's have some dumpies and some beef. Is that good enough? Nope, I'm still hungry somehow, yeah? Have some more beef. Do you hear that guy just mumbling to himself in the other room? Like, right, fucking magic and blah, 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 just constantly. It's all he's talking about. Ooh, holy shit! Oh, I found king, ooh, I found the king of assholes. Huh, hi, that's a cool armor you got there, champ. Oh, mercy? Okay. Turkey this. What? <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> no witnesses. Oh, okay. He said mercy. Do I look like I give a shit? Okay. I would love to take the free Daedric armor, but I like just don't care. Wow, a bound sword. I can't believe it. Does using bound weapons get your uh respective like stats up? Like if I if I were to summon like a two handed sword, would that make my two handed stat also gold when I use it? That could be kind of fun. I've seen horkers with smaller guns. Funny coming from a woman whose breath smells like she just kissed a drogger. Would you two shut up before Brurin hears you messing around? Where's Brurin at? Oh shit! Uh oh, oh, uh oh! Uh -oh. Shh. You don't see me. Shh. Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoyed that last meal. But no, what I was gonna say before I cut my before I got cut off by the bandits, uh, would like summoning a two because like, if I summoned a two-handed weapon, 
I can get my conjuration up, and also I can work on getting my two-handed weapons up too. Because our one-handed skill is almost, you know, to 100 now, so like it'd be good to start getting my two-handed up as well. I'm starting to feel hungry. Motherfucker, you just ate two apple dumplings and like two steaks. Ugh. Ow. That would work, gotcha. I might try that out then if I can find like a conjure two-handed sword spell or something, like conjure great sword. That would also make it so I don't have to carry around the giant hammer with me that I've been carrying forever, yeah? The big ass nerve shatter that we have in our pocket that I barely ever use. <laughs> it's taking up tons of room. And all it's there for is occasionally when I, when I feel like leveling up my two hands on easy enemies. Such as this guy. Fuck it. How, how, how we go deck this guy in the head with it, shall we? I forgot I had a favorite it already. Ooh, that was loud. I missed. Oh god, I missed. Look how little damage this does. Because <laughs> of how low my fucking two-handed skill is. Who's hitting me from behind? Get out of here. Bandit thug. Ooh. Let me slurp up some potions. Yeah, bound weapons are good in early game and they're like terrible late game, yeah. They don't they don't have a whole lot of they don't do a whole lot of damage. Death is highly overrated, she says, like headbutt her into oblivion. Good. Good, good. Oh, I was looking at mods too for a. Uh, what do you call it? Mass Effect 2. Earlier today. Well, just Mass Effect in general, like Mass Effect the Legendary Edition, because we're going to be starting that stream next Monday. We're going to be starting Mass Effect 2. And I was looking at what kind of mods I got for that game. Because the main one I wanted to get was simply just one that allows me to keep my. My money, <laughs> you know, that I collected in Mass Effect 1. I want to keep all my fucking credits without having it, like, limited or whatever, like the way it is in the, in it currently. But I saw a couple of other, couple of other neat mods in there, too, that I might end up getting. Because why not? Let's have some chicken, yeah? Cook up some chicken? Why the fuck not? Let's have one right now, even. Yum! How come I can't make chicken noodle soup? I can make like venison stew and vegetable soup and shit. Why can't I make chicken noodle soup? Is there anything good in any of these barrels? Mmm, there's some salt. Give me a salt. It is still storming here, by the way. Like blizzarding, rather. Bl blizzarding? Is that what you call that? <laughs> it's, there's, there's still a blizzard going on currently. I posted a picture of it in the Discord earlier, because it started snowing yesterday quite a lot, and it's still snowing. In fucking April, isn't that fun? I picked a great time to take fucking three days off from work, apparently. Like, that was not planned. I was like, yeah, like, like sometime last week I put in time off for this week to take three days off, and then, lo and behold, as soon as I do that, Turbo Storm comes in. It's like, oh, well, <laughs> picked a great three days to take off. Don't gotta go to work in this shitty fucking goddamn blizzard going on. Embound weapons with mystic binding do dangerous damage, but once your spin thing is high enough, normal weapons will outmatch that. Yeah. Some of the weapons are just sadly not very good. <laughs> Iron Ood. Hey, wanna see that thing I was just talking about? Wanna see that thing I was just fucking talking about? Watch this shit. Ready? Wanna see me transform this iron ore into fucking... Check this shit out. Boom. Ready for this? Watch this shit. Okay, ready? <laughs> Where's my iron ore at? We got two of it? Now I do this. Sha! Now we have silver ore. Yeah? Look at that. It's silver ore now. And then I go whoop! And now it's gold! Look at that. Money from nothing. Look at that shit. As if I needed more money. It doesn't get your alteration up that quick, though, sadly. Kind of hoping it would, like, get it up a bit higher, but... Or faster, rather. Uh, do I want to go up here? Maybe? I guess they do. Let me see my game. Um... I'll delete that save. I don't need that one anymore. Good new save. Boom. Hello? I'm sneaking because I want to get my sneak skill up. Hey there, champ. What was that? Nothing. Go to bed. 
<sighs> yeah, I'm doing my worst right now, my guy. The best way to level up alteration is telekinesis? Yep. Whenever we eventually get the telekinesis spell, I might show that off. You can go from like... You can go from like literally zero fucking alteration to 100 in like a split second. <laughs> like it's great. Well, not, maybe not a split second, but like, you know, like a second. A couple of seconds. It's, it's great. It's really fucking broken and stupid. And you can use that. Hello? <gasps> and you can use that to like level up indefinitely, which I'm not going to be doing because that's a bit cheesy. It's a bit too cheesy for my liking, but. I might get my alteration up to 100 though, just for the fun, just for the fun of it though. Just get, you know, get a couple free perk points, you know. <laughs> get, get my alteration up to 100, just you know, just just for fun. And then call it there instead of like, because you can make your skill legendary, you know, right? So you, you do that to get your alteration up to 100, and then you just make then you make it legendary, and then you just keep doing that over and over and over and over. But we're not gonna do that because you know that, that, that's a bit too cheesy. If I wasn't streaming, I'd totally do it. <laughs> like, I've done it before on my own personal playthroughs of this game, absolutely, but... What you doing, buddy? You enchanting? What you making? I'm trying to find a way to make my lead more potent. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yo, Amber, holy shit! Ooh! We do need lots of Amber and Madness Orb, because we have very little of it currently, and I would like to experiment with trying some of those weapons out. Because, like, the Madness stuff is, like, top tier. It's, like, better than fucking Dragon Bone. It looks kind of stupid, though, is a problem. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the way that Madness shit looks. Same thing with the armor. I think the Madness armor also might be, like, the highest tier armor. But it's, like, it, it looks so goofy. I don't know if I want to wear it. The hell is it? Hold on. I want to continue exploring out here. There was, like, a hallway I could have went down, yeah? I might at least give Darkitas a dr uh, an amber bow, because I think it'll be better than this dragon bone bow. Same thing with like amber. But maybe not amber arrows, because sadly we don't have them. Like, I, I don't think I can fucking justify using one an entire thing of amber for a couple of arrows. Dragon bone, sure. We've we have, we have, we, we got boxes full of fucking dragon bones. We got tons of those laying around. Dragons are more of a nuisance at this point <laughs> than, like, a, you know. Fuck you. <gasps> Yo, garlic? Nom, 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 nom. I had another garlic omelet. Yesterday morning. Or this morning, rather. Pardon me. I made one. Made a big old fluffy fucking omelet. It was great. Put some more garlic in it. Some cheese. It was fucking delicious. It's like my favorite thing to make in the morning. <laughs> I just love making god. Who's eating horses in here? You don't eat horses. That's a lie. You do eat horses. You ever hear that old saying, you know, get, 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 get back up and eat that horse? Come on, Kerchunk. There we go. I am picking these locks for no reason. I do want to... There's just too many perks that I want. Like, I want to put perks in a lock picking to make it less of a pain in the ass to do. I want to get, like, more destruction. Like, I mean, our destruction's already mastered out now, which is good, but... There's just so many things. There's just... Can I help you? That's fine. Let's get pelted with poison. I'm an Argodian. Who is sadly no longer immune to poison? I don't know. <laughs> they just don't make them like they used to, I guess, yeah? <laughs> Damn Argodians these days! Back in my day, we just we drank poison, and we liked it. Okay, now we're going outside. Well, do I want to go on the roof? I'll, I'll check out both exits. We'll go in here, and then we'll check out the roof exit too. Unless they connect out here, like if there's a way to get to both of them from outside here. But is someone there? There's someone there. Okay, I'm not gonna pull that lever. I don't want to let them in yet. I want I want to clear the area first before I let them in. Because I would feel terrible if I let them into the fucking castle and they immediately all die. <laughs> now you might be thinking, let them die. Free fucking castle. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Maybe I should let them die. Fuck it. You know, again, my town's right across the river, right? Fucking Blackthorn's like right across the river. You know what? Fuck them. It's my castle now. My shitty, decrepit, crumbling castle. God, what a bad castle this is, huh? Looks like ass. 
That is true. Yeah, there is a there is a point where you can like make you can like refund all your perk points and certain things. I could do that with like smithing because you know I've already made my armor and I've fully upgraded my sword. But like you know what if later on I decide I want some different armor and then I'm not gonna have my perk points anymore or any of my smithing shit and that'll be sad. Good job, Dirkitas. Kill that some bitch. I still wonder if Dirkitas could use a crossbow. Again, in the vanilla game they can, but maybe with the Skyrim like patch or one of the follower like mods that I have installed, like they can use it. Also, cool fucking castle. Like you can walk into it from the wilderness if you just go around the <laughs> go up the hill. <laughs> cool castle. Completely unassailable. You just found out about Gilbert Gilbert, Gilbert Godfrey, yeah. That happened yesterday or today? I can't remember. It was yesterday, I think, yeah. And everybody was sharing that clip of him going like, Hey, Mr. Beast! I just had your Mr. Beast burger! You know, you know, you know that one, yeah? <laughs> your burger makes a better flashlight than a burger! I'm gonna stop now, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I want to go see where that other... Does it just lead to there? Or wait, where does it lead to? Because, like, there was, like, a hatch I could have went out, yeah? That, like, leads outside? Oop. Does it lead to the top of that tower? I guess it does. What the hell's up there? I wanna, I wanna, I'm curious now. I want to find out. Ah. Ah. Ow, 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 please. I don't want your poison. I don't need none yet. <laughs> I'm running. Here we go. I'm running up the stairs. Now, where's that? There it is. So, what's, is there going to be any cool loot up here? Like, what the hell's the point of this? Is there going to be, like, one random bandit up here that I missed? No. <laughs> there, there is a single... Like, what is this? Is it where the bandit chief keeps his Game Boy? Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, kept his Game Boy? He didn't want to hide it in his room, right? So he, he he kept it up here on the very top of this tower and nobody would ever find it. D wow. Cool. Very cool box, Bandit Chief. But hey, this does give me an excuse to do this, though, right? I always love when I can do this. Fight! Fight! Um, bitchin'. There, now we'll pull the lever. I will save my game before I do so, though, just in case somehow those idiots manage to die after I pull this lever. In case there's some bandit somewhere I'm not aware of that'll, like, spawn after I pull this. Kerchunk. Alright, Stalio. <laughs> You're coming in. <laughs> I cleared the way for you. Yeah? What, did I miss somebody? Why are you guys all pissed off? Did I miss someone? Hello. Hey, buddy. What do you want, lizard? Don't call me a fucking lizard, penis. I, I, I took, I, I got the fort back for you. Thank you for your help. Did you see my family inside? Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if that was your. Fa I saw some corpses in there. I guess I didn't see them. <laughs> Hopefully, they made it to safety before the attack. Uh. I'll begin the search after a quick restock. Okay. Anyway, here is your reward. Thanks again. Spell tome detect a life. I just took over an entire castle for you and you gave me a fucking detect life spell tome? Okay. Alright, cool. Hmm? Enjoy your fucking castle. What do you want, lizard? I'm gonna fucking kill all three of you. <laughs> Can I where is not Darren? Darren, where are you? Are you here? Where the fuck is he? I thought I left him right here. Did I get off my horse? I... Alright, we have a way to fix this, remember? Now we can do this. If my horse ever just becomes a no-show, we just fast travel until boop, right next to me. There we go, I can hear him. Hey, look at that. Another great, awesome, super useful thing that fast traveling allows me to do. Okay, let's continue this now, yeah? We're, we're still on our way over to Iverstead to check out where the Mythic Dawn camp is at. I'm looking forward to, like, am I going to get to go into an Oblivion Gate? I hope so. It's going to be fucking cool. Remember those? Remember when I played Oblivion and went to tons of those damn things? I love them. Most people kind of hate Oblivion Gates. I think they're cool. 
They're a little repetitive after a while, but eh. I like them. I am doing the cause quest. Yeah, we started that. This one we, this one we were in the middle of doing, and then I got distracted and helping that guy on the castle out. Figured I might as well help out my neighbor, you know? <laughs> I did some abandoned castle, like, right by fucking Blackthorn. Might as well help him out. I have to take a nap. My character's very tired. I have none magicka. Like, look, 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 look at that. I have 163 magicka, and I'm at, like, 250 that I have. Or, like, 300? I think I have 300 magicka total now, yeah? Like, half my magicka's fucking gone, because I'm tired? Wee. I can't shoot lightning out of my fingertips when I'm tired. Wee. Oh, hello. I was like, what the hell is that noise? Oh, it's a dragon! Oh, God. Dude, keep this! Dude, keep this, please! Dude, yeah, shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. You only found out on your, like, 80th playthrough that Oblivion Gates are randomly generated? Uh-huh. Some of them are set. Some Oblivion Gates that you do aren't set, and they're always gonna be the same every time you do them, but... My <laughs> Look at this horse! <laughs> this horse doesn't give a fuck. This horse isn't a pussy like all my previous ones. It's A-posing. It's A-posing behind you, don't turn around. It's a dragon! It's, a, it's like a weird dragon man! What do you- it is a dragon! We thought it was a dude? Nah, it's a dragon man. It's kind of like what me and Drakitas are, but less cool. We're lizard men. But yeah, no, some of the Oblivion Gates in Oblivion are, like, set to be a certain ones when you approach them, but most of them are just randomly generated, yeah. Oh, it's just... I'm assuming the troll and or that dragon dude killed this Imperial guy here? Should I, should I loot their corpse? <laughs> what you got on you? Oh, it's a bodyguard, shit! Uh, well, whoever they were protecting either escaped or died. Do not know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking that wagon out. Okay. I, I'm assuming they must have died. Hi, bear. Don't touch me. I'm assuming they must have got away. Because I don't see no corpses anywhere. I'm still on the road to Iverstead, right? Yeah? I could just fast travel, but eh. Don't want to abuse it, you know? Don't want to don't be constantly fast traveling. Just want to do it when I have to go like halfway across fucking Skyrim. To like deliver a letter. <laughs> Did I reach a certain part of the story where anthro dragons just show up? Or are they just from the air? <gasps> Drakitas! There's a bear! Or are they just from the story? No, the, what the fuck? How did I just do that? Whatever, sorry. No, the, 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 the anthro dragons are part of a mod. They are not in the vanilla game. I have like an immersive creatures mod installed or some shit. There's adds like a bunch of random enemies. Some of them are like, you know, vanilla stuff that you would typically see. And other, like, a, you know, like an oblivion or morrowind. And then you get shit like that. Where it's just dragon dude. Is it lore friendly? Fuck if I know. Does it look stupid and goofy? Yes. Honey Strand Cave? I don't feel like going in there. It's gonna be full of bears. That's where Winnie the Pooh lives. I don't wanna kill Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. There's a Minotaur! There's a Minotaur speaking of goofy enemies! That one's from Oblivion. Oh, now it's a bear. Hey, bear. Hello. <laughs> Can you stop? I'm a little busy fighting a giant minotaur, man. Yeah? Hi. What if I just nuke him from far away? What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Guy, look at him just slowly approaching me. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want that guy to hit me. He's gonna hit me real hard. Oh, he's chasing me. Is he dead? Oh, he's down and he's dead. Thank you, Drakitas. Sniped his ass. Yeah? But I got two dwarven helmets. Okay.
Come on, let me on. Let's go, Darren. I'm gonna keep calling him Darren. <laughs> Even though this isn't the real Darren. <laughs> gonna keep calling him that. It'll stick eventually, eh? There's an enemy over here, apparently. I don't know where that... Oh, is that wolf? Oh, no, it's the elk. The elk is my enemy. Not the wolf, the elk. Okay, now they're both my enemy. Great. For some reason, that elk is hostile towards me, and I have no goddamn idea why. Oh, because it's Skyrim is the answer, right. Literally all of creation wants to be dead in this video game. That elk is also hostile towards me, eh? I'm not here to fight you. <laughs> Please. Don't, don't, leave, leave me alone. I don't want to hurt you. I like how elk, the, the health bar just stuck on my screen. Now like I'm finding a fucking Dark Souls boss. <laughs> it's like... I just, have, I just have the elk's health bar on there now permanently. Oh, God. So how do I get... Am I, am I meant to go up like this? I guess so. Sure, we'll head up this way. Why not? Don't know if this is intended. It's not like too terribly steep, so maybe it's intended? Ooh. I've contracted fucking rock joint? Excuse me. Let me just slurp up some of my Kool-Aid. Hold on, where's it at? No more rock joint. Just like in real life. A lantern here. Hello? I'm here to join the Mythic Dawn? <laughs> maybe? <laughs> and or kill all the Mythic Dawn members? I see somebody over fighting a bear. Or fighting something. What's happening? Hello, I'm here. <gasps> Those are right clings. Oh, God. You go get him. Go get him, horse. Mythic Dawn Explorer. Yeah? You having a hard time, like, charging that spell? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, sniff their ass. Got some cooked food. I got a fancy ass necklace that I can sell, probably. Nice. Is there any more Mythic Dawn people here, or is there just that one guy? No, nope, one right here, too. What do you got? Backpacks and rings, kill a man, take your shoes, kill a man, take your shoes, kill a man, take your shoes. Fire here. I should probably take a nap before I go in there, yeah? Maybe? Oh, I guess we're just going right here. Never mind. Yeah, I'll take a nap in there. This will be safe, right? <laughs> but take a nap at the fucking Mythic Dawn scouting camp. I'm sure nobody else will come by and like murder me in my sleep. Their Keith just watch over me for a moment. I'm very tired. Yeah, just sleep till 6 in the fucking morning the next day. Why not? Hopefully, I don't freeze to death in my sleep. There was a campfire right outside, but. It's very cold in my room currently. In real life. I awaken feeling drained? I just slept for 12 fucking hours. What do you want from me? Hey, are, you, are you satisfied, penis? Do I have like a disease called I'm too tired syndrome? Like what? what is this? No? I'm still drained. Okay, well, whatever. Have some dumpies. All right, what do we got going on here? Last King of the Aelids. Magic from the sky, wow. Glories and laments. Among the Aelid ruins. So what's this map? Like what do we look it's just a map of Skyrim? Is there anything marked on it really of note? No. Okay. Uh Alright then. The dawn is breaking. Vanos has successfully pierced the veil of the liminal barrier, but there is much work to be done. We've unearthed an anchor point, but we must still reconstruct the gate itself. And even with when it's all complete, the veil of the liminal barrier remains. Vanos is in his infinite sorry, in his infinite wisdom, continues to work day and night to find a way to break it. It may be a bit singular, sorry, maybe but a singular gateway, but thou can gatanas? Valkin, Gatanas, and, and, and me, 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 Thats? Mentats. <laughs> I'm gonna call them Mentats. <laughs> Mentats await us on the other side, preparing to march for our lord. I will keep faith for Lord Dagon. Uh-huh. 
Vanos has been studying all the informa known information about the Mysterium's Arxes, consulting with the Dagon's Dramora, and experimenting tirelessly, but he's still unable to open the gate. What's even left- is, isn't what's left of the Mysterium's Arxes sitting in that fucking abandoned museum in Dawnstar now? However, he believes that an object may exist which could be strong enough to hold the portal open. What kind of artifact could have such power? Even a thousand solar gems would be likely dissolved with the presence of a sigil stone. I don't, I don't believe- is that real? <laughs> Is that real? I don't believe that. We must redouble our efforts. I have sent additional scouts to Solstheim and Cyrodiil to learn anything we can. One of the scouts has returned from Bruma with promising information. The ancient Aelids are well known for their Welkin stones. Rare ethereal fragments compromise a powerful mete meteoric glass. A great Welkin stone, the most powerful of these stones, was typically held within the heart of each Aelid city. But these stones have long since been plundered or lost to time. Didn't I get one of those? Didn't I go and get a great Aelid stone? Yeah, sorry, a great Welkin stone when I... There was like a quest for that, wasn't there, when I played Oblivion? Yeah? Did I give it to somebody? Who the hell did I give it to? I can't remember now. Whatever. Researchers have speculated for centuries that the more great Welkin stones, the more of them may exist, but none have ever been found. The last great Welkin stone seen on record was in the Third Era, but it was snatched and used to bring down the downfall of our lord. Then, it was ultimately Mayrune's undoing, but irony may be smiling upon us. Something of such power could be exactly what we need to bring the gate to full power. One researcher has set their sights on an ancient alien ruin of R R Riel, R Riel? As such a place where a great Vulcan stone may exist. It just so happens to be conveniently in fucking Skyrim. Many have explored the steps through the years, though none have ever found a trace of such a thing. Could a great Vulcan stone truly be hidden deep within Riel? I told my scouts to capture this researcher and bring him to me. We must learn all we can. My scouts captured the alien researcher from Bruma, but upon returning, the Vigilus Stendar were guarding the Pale Pass. My scouts had the detour through the wilderness of the Gerald Mountains to avoid them. Could the Vigil be aware of our movements? Is there a traitor among us? We cannot risk any sort of confrontation with the Vigil until we have full the full men of Dagon behind us. There's too much at stake. While interrogating the researcher, I learned that Riel is structurally weak, making it entry very difficult. With the vigil blocking Pale Pass, this greatly inhibits our expedition. He also spoke of other dangers, but I dare not repeat them, lest I give substance to his ravings. Substance? Substance. That's sustenance. Substance. We must find a way into Riel. Vanos and I have agreed that I have no time to waste. I have selected only our most trusted disciples to set up a base camp in the mountains west of Iverstead. Can you stop talking? I'm sick of doing this fucking voice. <laughs> We will offer under the darkness of night to excavate our own pathway through the Gerald Mountains into Riel. It will take time, but it is the only way. He's, this guy's still going. After much blood and sweat, we finally breached Riel through a northwest corner. But the challenges within have proven quite deadly. The only man who returned alive claimed to be barely escaped the clutch of an undead monster. Several have gone missing inside, only to never return. Sorry, they've gone inside. Not, not they've gone missing inside. They've gone. They've just gone inside, period. And never returned. And I'm unsure how many more souls I could spare. All this, and yet no signs of a secret chamber or the Welkin Stone. There are legible portions of untranslated words on the page of retreat from the researcher Bruma. I've summoned one of my best scholars, J Janus. J Janus. Oh, I'm thinking of somebody else. Sorry, pardon me. I was like, wasn't there a fucking person named Janus? And but no, there was. There, yeah, there was. But it was like a fucking. <laughs> I think it was just one of the blades. Was it one of the blades, like soldiers named Janus? I have summoned one of my best scholars, Jaina, to assist me with the Aelid studies. Perhaps there is something we are missing. Yeah, J Anus, yeah, I know, right? Imagine naming your kid fucking Janus. Hanus. J Anus. According to the book. This fucking journal's still going, huh? According to the book Magic from the Sky and Glories and Laments, the ancient Aelids believed that Nern must compose of four basic elements earth, water, air, and heart. Janus. <laughs> Janus, and I feel this is extremely important. It may be the key to obtaining the stone. The incomplete text recovered from the research on Bruma make mention of previously unseen elemental shards. But what are they? Where are they? We'll prepare another team to, to descend upon a Riel with this information. We're running low on supplies and we may need to delay the search if we lose any more men. Vanos has sent an urgent communication. The Vigilance of Stendar have increased their presence and have been questioning townsfolk. Not fire? No, no fire. There is none fire. That is not one of the elements. Did it even say fire? Oh yeah, earth, water, air, and light. <laughs> There's no fire on there, apparently. Yeah, fuck fire. Well, maybe fire came from, like... Maybe Nern wasn't composed of fire. You know, fire's like an outside element. Maybe there was no fire on Nern originally. 
Anyway, Vaughn was the blah blah. Acolyte Scorfield and the priestess Anna Kane have gone missing. Their whereabouts unknown. It's best for us to assume that the, the Vigil knows of our plans. There's no time left to delay. Janus must join me on one last expedition to locate the Great Welkin Stone. I'll send the last of my guards along with him as protection. This is our last chance. Oh, Dagon, give me strength. Blah. Yeah, alien fire. The Covenant invaded. <laughs> the Covenant came and invaded. What are you doing? Wait, am I interrupting? Like, you, you tried to mine that twice, and every time I got near you, you stopped. Okay, cool. Let's go find this excavation that they apparently found. How much you want to bet they're all going to be dead? We're going to get there, and they're all going to be dead. They said it was down... There's a Dawn Guard. I thought it was about the Pale Pass. Oh, there's the Pale Pass. I'm blind. <laughs> I forgot it was right here. I thought it was down by Rifted for some reason. No, it's right here. Yeah, the Jerome Mountains does. It's right here. Okay. Good. All right, let's get moving, I guess. Uh, I mean, we were just here last stream. Do you think the dragon respawned already? God, I hope not. Let's fast travel here. Just in case it did, because I don't feel like fighting the dragon again and fighting past all the skeletons in case they did respawn. They can be dead? They, they, they could be? I hope they are. <laughs> they're a bunch of mythic dawn agents. I hope they're all fucking dead <laughs> when we get there. Hello? Oh! Oh! Alright, that's fine. Who's shouting at me? Who did that? Was it you? Which one of you fucking penises shouted at me? The dragon did respawn, by the way. You see it up there? Good. Yeah, no, I ain't dealing with all those enemies again. I guess we have to go through here? Wait, did I go here last stream? I remember seeing the cave here, but did I, like, go through it? It says it's already cleared. So I apparently must have went in here, yeah? I guess there's a secret chamber I didn't go into last time we were Hold on, what the hell is this? To Riel. Oh, maybe I didn't go in there. Why does this have to claim, though? Sorry, it's been cleared, though. <sighs> maybe there's no enemies in here, <laughs> so it just auto flags is cleared? I don't fucking know. Huh? Huh? Uh. Okay, weird vines. Is it playing fucking Oblivion music? It is playing fucking Oblivion music. <laughs> oh? Oh? <laughs> By the hist, what a sight. Yeah, I see it, buddy. I see that. Hold on, it's fucking darker than a rat's ass in here. Give me a second. Give me your bread. Is that all we got in here? Nothing more? Okay, well then we go, I guess. Yo. <laughs> oh, the schemer's in here. Oh, this is fucking dope. Look at this shit. We're in a fucking... It looks so neat. There's, like, textures on the walls. <laughs> it's not just, like, some sheer fucking white wall of marble in the usual A-lid ruins. This is neat looking. I like it. Hello? That was a dead skeever. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. I wish the music would have kept going, though. I was enjoying the Oblivion music. God, it really is just fucking Alien Ruins. It's, like, it's like the same copy and pasted Alien Ruins from <laughs> fucking Oblivion. That's where Umbra is. I can go down to that room and kill Umbra really quick. Oh, come on, you jackass. Oh, I did it, you fucking piss shit. I'm not gonna go that way, though. I just wanted to unlock it. <gasps> Moons! Oh, a white? 
Elvin Maze? Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> can I help you? <laughs> you two gotta move. Cool fucking fro. Cool friendly skeevers. Bonk. Oh. No. Yeah? Are these like dead aliens? How do you say, how do you fucking say, is it alien or alien? I never remember. It's just alien, right? Here's a dumbass mythic dawn, people. <laughs> With the grilled chicken breast in their pocket. <laughs> that guy was packing. That guy came down here and he's like, don't worry. I got that thing on me. He fucking flashes a... <laughs> he flashes a chicken breast. Ooh. Alien? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, alien. Oh, this is Janus right here, huh? More like bitch. Alright, what do you got on you? Janus' journal. Can I loot any of this shit? No. What was up there? Was that bonus? Is that just bonus up there? Hold on. This music is cucking me, by the way. It's like kind of oblivion music, but it's also not. It's like getting there. Like, I, I can hear the undertones of the oblivion music, like the fucking dungeon crawling shit, but then it like goes away. There it is. Oh, there it is. A random dead orc here. I. God, I can't wait till I restream Oblivion. I, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna restream that game. Ooh. I don't know when, but. I'll read Janus' journal in a moment, too, but I just wanna see what's up here. That's very bright. Okay, we're not going that way then. Really? Uh huh. I'm gonna restream it. Again, I'm probably gonna play Nerum first. Because like, I've already done Oblivion on the channel. So I'm gonna play like Nerum probably before I replay Oblivion, which Nerum is like a total conversion mod for Oblivion, but. But eventually I will get back to. I, I will like do a second playthrough of. There's a lot of series on my channel that I plan on doing second playthroughs of. Like Donkey Kong is one of them. I'm gonna do a second playthrough of DK64. I'm gonna do a second playthrough of uh, Mario Sunshine. Like, a lot of my earlier shit on my channel, like, from my really old VODs before I even, like, local recorded and shit. From when I, like, first started streaming, I'm gonna, like, go back and restream a lot of those games. And when I when I originally streamed Oblivion, it was kind of like a mostly, like, lightly modded... It, it, it was like a lightly modded, mostly vanilla playthrough. I'll probably download more mods. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a bit more goofy mods in there to spice it up a bit more so it's not just the same kind of a playthrough again, you know? I'm gonna read this fucking journal. <clears throat> what do we got? Jane is a journal. JJ. Okay, I gotta find alien elemental shards. Mmm, <clears throat> <clears throat> yes. I was called upon to assist with the real expedition, and I have been studying urgently and without rest. I. Sorry, I was entrusted with a page from an ancient alien text retrieved from a researcher in Bruma. My. A Aliadon? A Aliadun? <laughs> A Aliadun? What the fuck is that word? <laughs> My Aliadun is not very good, but I was able to understand something about elemental shards and sleeping guardians, quote unquote, whatever that means, within the ruins. None of this would be a problem if Vanos had granted me more time, but he and our lord are impatient. But I'm do. My research is what matters. The aliens believe the four elements to be air, water, earth, and light. From what I understand, shards representing these four elements maybe serve as keys to certain hidden chambers. It is fascinating to ponder how many great welkin stones may be hidden among the ruins thought to be barren. If there is a hidden chamber within Riel, this might be how they opened. But how? Where? At the cost of their lives? Many of our disciples have searched nearly every corner of the ruin, but have yet to discover anything. The fucking morons. I will study the text further. Vanos has issued urgent orders to descend upon Riel with the last of our expedition team to try and find the Great Wilkin Stone. I'm gonna go with them and lead the team. The Vigil of Stendar are assumed to be on a trail, so we must ask quickly. I haven't seen a single fucking Vigil of Stendar person. Like, not a single one this entire quest. Like, <laughs> they keep getting mentioned, like they're following. They're not doing shit. They're probably stumbling. They, they probably were on their way here, and then they saw, like, a fucking... 
Uh, they sound like a scamp on the side of the road. We're like, oh, gotta deal with that. It's more important. No, 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 bad Daedra. Anyway, I must not allow this latest wrinkle to deter my research. It is almost within my grasp. Woe to those who entered before me and met their fate. I imagine not the horrors that awaited me. Our persistence in the expedition has awoken alien whites. They are aliens, I told you. Guardians who have led in, led? lied in wait. For untold centuries sealed in the sarcophagi. <laughs> sarcophagi, I love that word. Sarcophagi. Awakening to protect the ancient powers within. And yet, all is not lost. I have found four, count them four, American stone holders in the Rianne Crypt, each colored gold and positioned to the north, south, east, and west. These directions correspond with each of the four elements. North, upward to the air. Well? Parenthetical well? In the sky. South for earth, sarsen, under our feet. East for the light, alata, of the rising sun. West for the water, nen, devours it. A diagram of the alien text matches this pattern. If the shards are retrieved and placed in the correct holders, I believe the secret chamber containing the Great Welkin Stone will make itself known. My team has been slain and I have been injured. A pity, as I have heard rumors of an area underneath the college where this stone could have been put to a better use. Oh? Hmm. If I could have just hold on a little longer. Can I, can I take the stone to like the fucking... To like the Atronach Forge? This is the second time now we've bumped into something that said something like that. Okay, well here's this. Good. It's one shard. But oh, remember in the previous quest that we did too? The, the, the one with like the... What was it? The fucker that was uh... The, 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 the Shagora shaped amber. Apparently we could have used that like in the yeah. Atronach Forge too? Like what, what would that have done? We don't have it anymore sadly, but... So we gave it back to that uh, golden saint. Yeah, cool. Level up. Step it up, fucker. Sarsen. 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 Bonk. Oh, shit. The hell was that noise? <laughs> the fuck was that noise? Did you hear that? Why did the like bar just go like, nah? I've never heard him make that noise before. Fucking new one. Fuck yeah. Yeah? Thank you for your cooked fish. Real friggin' dark in here. Whoop. What if they just fucked up and put the wrong song in here? Like, what if they just messed up and didn't realize it? And, like, instead of putting Oblivion music in here, like, fucking Fallout 3 ambient music started playing? <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah? <laughs> and just nobody said anything? Like, nobody fucking told them? So this fucking this creation club content's been out for like years and there's just like nobody fucking mentioned a word to him. Like, nope. Like, no, has this one been out for years? Like, how long has this one been around? Because like, they added some new stuff, right? With the anniversary edition? Like, has, has this creation club like stuff already existed for a while now or is this one new? Because I know a lot of it's been out for quite some time, but... I know some of it got added with uh, the anniversary... <laughs> nice fucking shot <laughs> with the anniversary edition You think this is a new one? Yeah, okay Might be Also, I hate to say it and jinx it, but oh fuck yeah, Vulcan stones it is very windy outside currently. It's very turbo windy, so uh, hopefully my fucking internet doesn't just randomly go out. God, then it'd, it'd really be like an oblivious stream then, yeah? <laughs> it'd be just like old times. My internet going out in the middle of the stream. Yeah, eat shit. Oh. You guys are real resistant to magic, apparently, yeah? Like, real resistant? Come here. I dare you. Oh. 
Don't you run from me. Time for you to die. He already died, Darkitas. To white. The civilization has been dead for years. Years and years and years. Nin. One more to go. I'm gonna use the fire, by the way, to like look around in here. Oh, did my torches get unfavored again? God damn it. Uh no, they're favorite. Am I dumb? Did I have the wrong menu open? Oh yeah, I'm on the magic tab. Oh my bad. There. That's some natural lighting, yeah? It's less abrasive and fucking jarring to my eyeballs. Okay, well we can go in there. I don't wanna. It's very cool looking in here. I love this. I'm one of those people that's like fucking I'm just I'm, I'm a sucker for like look look at old thing but it's like it looks new <laughs> we took old thing and made it look nice in new engine and I'm like ooh I didn't mean to grab that fucking war axe but sure I'm over encumbered how about I take this axe and drop it how about that I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't weigh anything. Like, it says it weighs 12, but because it's a quest item, I don't think it actually affects my carry weight, thankfully, so... Let me do a little healing real quick, here. Yeah? My HP's not going up. We're on survival mode. HP don't recharge. Okay, there was that- oop, didn't mean to do that, but oh well, it's fine. There was that other area before. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that safe for thumbnail purposes and shit, probably, eh? There was that alien before, I'm pretty sure, so. I don't want to go back and do, but this will probably, like, link up to it? Wait, level up? Oh, shit, I can level up. I mean, I doubt there's a bed in here. <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess there's no bed? Is this cave anywhere? Unless I find like a mythic dawn camp like deeper in. I saw the Millennium Falcon and I clapped. L listen. Not that kind of shit. Like I like I like seeing old stuff get recreated like in a new engine. It's neat. It is very fucking cool to me. Hello. There's like a whole team of people like remaking fucking Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4's engine, right? Which I think looks super spiffy. Is it ever gonna get finished? Fuck if I know. <laughs> Most mods like that never get fucking finished, but you know, maybe someday. Also, for this game right here, they got like what is it? Like, they're like beyond, like beyond Skyrim. They're making. It's called like Beyond Skyrim. They're like they got like the Bruma thing going on. I'm not sure if they're past Bruma yet, but okay. Well, here's this pickle now. How do I get those? Because this isn't Oblivion. I ain't gotten my acrobatic skill, like, maxed out. I can't, I can't fucking jump that. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Oh, there we go. I don't got the turbo acrobatics to jump that high. Touch. Oh, arrows, that's true. Yeah, I could use arrows. But that's lame, though. Like an Oblivion? No. When I played Oblivion, I didn't shoot none of these with arrows. I fucking jumped. I used my giant hops. To zoom my way up to him. Telekinesis would be cool too if I had that spell. Where can I buy? I should check more court mages, yeah. Now that we're like higher level, I should be. I should check out the court mages. See if they have like better spells for me to buy now. I might be able to like buy telekinesis and shit. Hi, Drakethis. Telekinesis. Hmm. A lot of really expensive potions fucking laying around. Hello. Oh god. Ooh. Ow. No, bad. <laughs> oh. I love being on the block with my torch. It's so helpful. Come on, hit me. Oh, you got a steel sword, do ya? Yeah? Hold on. 
don't know why the steel sword seems to be doing more damage than the fucking elven sword, but... Gonna pop a battery in my Game Boy real fast, hold on. There we go. Got anything good on you? No, is the answer. You have nothing good on you. <laughs> a fucking chandelier fell down and crushed your skull. <laughs> Great. Ingot. You're guessing I want to avoid Redwater Den? I don't even remember what that is. Is that a place in Souls time? Or no? I don't remember what that is. Sounds familiar, but... That's apparently where I'm gonna tell the Kinesis thing, though. Yeah. Or they become available at, like, level 50. Yeah. Or you mean a level 50 alteration I can start buying them, maybe. Oh, okay, hold on. I don't know. Okay, I went that way. I came from there. I opened this gate up. Well, that's not cool. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hey, did you keep... Uh-oh. Drakitis? Ours is to I need you to do something. Go ahead. What is it? Can you, <laughs> can, you want? can you go step on that? As you say, go step on that. It will happen. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. It doesn't work. Uh oh. As you say. Oh no, it doesn't it work. Happen. As you say, it will happen. Shit. Can you clip through the wall if I tell you to go here? As you say, it will happen. Fuck. <laughs> anything else? Whenever you follow me, we'll walk along. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Ooh. Help, Drakitas, help. Whew. Hello? Oh, you made it. <laughs> you did squeeze through. Did you jump through the hole in the middle? Yeah, good job. Very limber fellow that, that Durkitas is. Oh no! Oh, hi, Baba. Hi. Oh, you're back, yeah? Yeah, you're back? Huh. I should be dead. <laughs> they should have killed me. Oh. Oh, Not a stone flesh, asshole. Here we go. Hey, Drakita, do you want to go stand on that platform and say farewell to me really quick? Farewell. Ooh. I should have saw that coming, I know. Listen, I don't think they're going to put it in the game. I don't think they're going to bother fucking putting in a brand new ass trap into this. Anyway, have your corpse back. You're welcome. Ooh. A diamond. Oh. Are you just immune to the trap, buddy, or what? Did you also jump over it? Okay, I guess it just doesn't go off when he stands on it. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet. Hmm. Okay, can't go back that way. That way is block two. Guess we're going this way. Hello? Let me save my game real quick, shall I? Boop. Hi. Uh, gonna ignore that. <laughs> Touchy. Touch. That must have opened that gate on the other side of the wall. Probably the shortcut out of here if I had to guess. Alright, hold on. Hello. Bonk. Owen. I'm gonna have to recheck that journal. Because I sure as fuck don't remember which direction I gotta put all these. Which direction I gotta put all these, uh. 
things in the stones. I mean, like what? Like fucking air was up. Like 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 air was like fucking it was north. Ground was the sky, I think, or some shit. South rather. Ground was the south. Fuck if I remember the other ones. Drakitas, come here. Are you even in here, buddy? Hey, yo, carry these bones for me. To oblivion. Need me to carry something? Thank you. Me. Uh, no, it's the wrong one. Jane is his journal. JJ. So yeah, north is air, south is earth, east is light, west is water. Pissed guide us. So you can be water. <clears throat> Touch. Little dead body that searched you already? Can't remember. The north is air. Uh, air. South is earth. <laughs> you just said it in chat. I know, I wanted to check anyway. <laughs> I wanted to check the journal anyway. There. And I'll take your Vulcan stones too while I'm here. Fuck you. Can I take these back? <laughs> Can I take these cool stones back? No? Okay, fine. Ooh. Do you think the aliens and the Dwemer got along? Were they around at the same time? Did the, did the aliens and the fucking Dwemer know each other? There's a great Welkin stone. Touch. They did not exist at the same time, okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> like, are aliens like super turbo ancient? Like, even more ancient than the Dwemer? What about, like, the Akaviri? What about the Admorans? You know, that's what the Nords are, right? They're from Admora. Uh. Can I, like, murder you before you get up? <laughs> Sneaky piece of shit. Oh, you're tanky as hell compared to the other ones. Why are you so tanky? Nice. Oh, you mean you think they hated each other? Oh, so they were around at the same time, but they hated each other? Yeah, did they? Okay. Okay. I did not want to grab those elven arrows. I had no interest in those elven arrows. I'm going to drop those elven arrows. I'll keep them fucking. They don't weigh anything. I gotta just clutter my inventory. Doing everything in the room before I do the objective. Ba 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 be ba. Hello, dead body. I'll preemptively kill you too before you get up. Sha! Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I'm so sneaky. What was the name of those weird fucking... The weird creepy... Allurians or like... I th What the fuck were they called from the Knights of the Nine DLC? In, in Oblivion? The, the the Golden Danger? What the fuck were they called? Aurelians? Am I gonna see any of them? Do those fuckers show up during this quest chain? Maybe. What do I think orcs eat in Skyrim? Probably... Did he eat rocks probably? Probably lots of rocks. Just, just meat and just nondescript meat and rock. Their, their fucking signature dish of the orcs is rock and meat stew. They love making that shit. Anyway, touch. Ooh! Norion, the Undying. Look at this cool looking fuck. 
Please stop hitting me. Ow. I need his skin. Give me my his skin. Also, let me do, do, do my insurance potion. <laughs> A little insurance potion. Oh, God. There. Hold on. Let me get my Healy boy out. Where's my Healy? Not that one. I, yeah, I, I need to check out the one of the court mages soon. I gotta get, like, a better healing spell. I gotta try to find telekinesis somewhere. I don't, where the fuck is Arkethis? Where's my man's at? Alright, check the shit out. Ready for this? I'm moving? I'm moving? Touch. There we go. <gasps> we summon friends. Nobody ever expects fucking... Oh god, multiple friends to come. Ooh. Come here. Where you at? Bonk. Where you fucker? Where's Jerkita's head? Dead. Fucking own. Oh, <laughs> and then your body just despawns. <laughs> Turn to ash. Okay, what do you got for me? I got the key. Staff of Elno? Ede? Fucking Elno, boy. <laughs> Elno. Hold on, what is this? Elno. Elno Ede. Spray on the ground makes a wall of lightning. Uh huh. Okay, neat. It's a cool looking staff. Elno. I already searched all this shit, yeah. I'm stepping right in that guy's lightning. Does that still hurt me even though he's dead? No. Okay, it doesn't hurt me anymore, funnily enough. Okay, well, cool. Their Keith is just. Oh, we got locked out, I see. I'm coming back. Sorry, champ. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't realize you were stuck out here, buddy. Did you find any cool shit in there? And then we take the shortcut back out. I'm assuming it's a shortcut out anyway. Hello? Does this link back up to that one uh, hallway that had the... Huh? Uh? No, where am I? Oh yeah, it does. Here we are. We're here again. What's going on down there? Who's that? There's more Mythic Dawn people? Oh, <gasps> the guy's got a crossbow! Yo, is that like a cool new crossbow? Or like a regular crossbow? Oh, it's a Vigil Stendar. They're getting their asses beat. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not a cool... I, I, I thought that was like a, a white that had a crossbow. I was like, ooh, is that like an ancient, like, fucking... Admorin? Not Admorin. I keep saying Admorin. Is it like an ancient alien fucking crossbow? There's been no evidence... If the aliens in the Dwemer were rivals, yeah? There's been no evidence that they existed together? Why does this seem so familiar to me, by the way? Wasn't there a... There was like an alien ruin you went into, right? In Oblivion, where there was, like a, there, there was just a dude named Orc Adventurer that you would meet? Who was like, hey! Wanna help me clear this area? I have crippling rock joint. Okay, cool. Let me eat some garlic bread. <laughs> Make it go away. Where is it? There. My magic garlic bread. I was going to save my game. I, is there a way to get out of here? Like, once, if I fall down here, can I get out? Because I, I could just leave the ruins now if I wanted to by going this way. But the exit's up here. Oh, shit. Dead. You guys okay in here? Y'all are getting your asses beat something fucking fierce, huh? I'm coming, hold on. Make sure you all this to meet. Owen. Dude, look at this weird goofy armor this guy's got on. Hello. <gasps> that is a new crossbow. Give me that. Hey, <laughs> give me that crossbow. Hey, talk to me. Can you can you move out of that hallway? I want to speak to you. You're making you're making Drakeeth is very nervous. There, oh! Don't set anything on fire, all right? I'm holding a torch, asshole. Hi. The mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
Stendar be with you. You're just literally generic ass fucking. Suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. Oh, these are just generic. I should have let that guy fucking die. <laughs> I should have let that dude die so I could take his armor and his crossbow. Huh. The aliens were all wiped out and the dwarves just all disappeared one day? Yeah. I'm not liking your fucking tone, Mr. Vigil of Stendar guy. You're a little fucking rude. Yeah, I know. Thank you. One of your Vigil of Stendar guys tried to fucking murder me. One year, Alessia and her army killed most of the aliens and wiped out their settlements. Most of the aliens turned to danger worshipping. But the few who still worshipped the Aedra joined Alessia and her army. After the war, Alessia had a few alien advisors, but after her death, they were all but exiled. Great. Let's hop down here and see what this is, yeah? Isn't there like a surviving fucking Dwemer guy in Morrowind, or am I misremembering that? I thought I remember seeing a like a, a like a living Dwemer guy in Morrowind. Look at their creepy fucking faces. Shwimp. Oh, I was down here already. I'm done. I've already been here. I didn't realize where this was. I've already been down here. Oh, yo, look though. I can take their fancy armor and the crossbow. <laughs> uh huh. The physicalities of werewolves. They go a woo. That's the entire book. They go a woo. <gasps> Yo, look at that cool fucking crossbow. It's gotta be better. Doesn't the base damage on mine only do like 36? Ooh. That was cool as hell. Okay, then we got this Vigil Enforcer armor. Uh huh. Neo, Vigil's orders. What is this? The Vigil is the last line of defense between light and darkness. If the Defilers manage to open the gate, then we are bound by Stendar to not let a single abomination pass through it. Find the gate, secure it. Whatever it takes, we must hold the line. And then they all died. And then they all died. Well, that guy died anyway. Okay, well, now I'm over encumbered, which is not so fun. Oh, well, well. Okay, but I definitely want to check out that because my crossbow is 68. And legendary. So, like, the silver crossbow probably does, like, buku fucking damage if I max it out, yeah? Make it legendary? Buku, I call it. How's that armor look, by the way? Should I check it out? How's this armor look? Where's it at? Vigil armor. N yeah? <laughs> I mean, it looks alright. It looks okay. Let's see how strong it is if I like upgrade it later, yeah? Take it to a workbench. See what kind of stats it's got. I need to give Turkita some shit to carry, but I don't know where the hell he's at. Alessia was the queen of Cyrodiil at one point, yeah? I'm hungry. Does being hungry lower my- no it doesn't, okay. I'm over encumbered by like 20 fucking Skyrim pounds. <laughs> Whatever they use. <laughs> Skyrim pounds. I'm gonna just wold my way back to Falekbar? I'm Falekbar. I'm gonna wold my way back to fucking Durkita's will carry shit for me. Did I ever tell the story where Falekbar's name came from? Then I might have. I might have told it during a Pokemon stream because I had a Pokemon in Falekbar at some point too. Falekbar was like the name of my fucking captain in Spore Galactic Adventures. <laughs> I mentioned I mentioned that before, yeah? Hello. I mentioned Spore Galactic Adventures. I played that game a lot. And in that game, you can like make a captain. You can, you can, you can like make a captain for your fleet or whatever, or whatever the hell. And I always name my guy, I named Falekbar. He was a lizard man. Because I made a race of lizard people. Drakitas, you're up there? Fuck. 
like the, the, the species I made in uh in Spore was like a bunch of lizard dudes. And my character's name and that was full like oh my, okay. I'm glad these still exist. I'm glad these stupid fucking gu guillotines that serve no purpose still are still here. Awesome. <laughs> I, I really like lizards. Huh? Yeah, I, I, I sure do. I sure do enjoy lizards. What's your wooden bridge here? Oh, I got destroyed. I see. I was like, huh? Oh, is it, yeah, does it make you a fucking scaly? Is that how that works? Yeah. I want to touch it. Is it going to cut my head off if I go near it? Ooh. <laughs> Let me touch it. Ooh. Ooh. I found so many flawed Varla stones, but I haven't found a single, like, non-flawed one yet. Alright, here's what we're going to do, because Darkita's ain't coming down here anytime soon. How about we just, uh... Dump some of these shittier potions that aren't worth as much, yeah, shall we? Do Argonians have scales? I think so. I'm pretty sure they have, like, scales on their bodies, yeah, as opposed to... Weird leathery fucking skinny dinosaurs have and shit, because dinosaurs didn't have scales, yeah? They had, like, weird leathery skin? I'm still over encumbered, huh? I kind of figured dropping this potion would do a lot more than it did. Um, I am carrying 20 iron ingots on me for literally no reason. Let me. <laughs> there we go. All right. Ah, touch. I mean, do they have scales? I mean, I I've looked at this man shirtless about 300 times in this playthrough. Like, did does he got scales on him? What you got on your body, buddy? Yeah, they got scales. Like on like, you know, he's got the big old bumpy shit on him, but he also has like the tinier scales. Like the weird stretchy like leather, yeah. Look at this man. Look at this shirtless man. Sorry. Alright, uh. Put your fucking clothes back on, asshole. I'm back in here again, so how do I... Can I get back to where I was without having to go all the way back to the fucking dungeon again? I think I might have to go back to the dungeon again. Which, I'm sure I'll just do that. I don't feel like trying. Well, no. Ugh. Surely I can get back this way, right? Mayhaps. So here we. No. Yes? No. It just goes downstairs, right? Fug. Shit. God damn it. It seems you are having some trouble. Would you like some help? No, Bonzi buddy, get out of my fucking computer. I don't want you. You're not real. You were never real. Yeah, can I? I can get up from here, can I? The suffering the danger caused will not go unpunished. Yeah, I know. Get over it. Although Argonians appear reptilian. In nature, at first glance, they exhibit colonies of fish, amphibians, and even birds. They are able to breathe underwater through small gills behind their ears. Swim, using the same method as that of a tadpole or eel by moving their tail side to side, yeah? I mean, they're pretty lizardy still. Hello. To oblivion and back. As, as they say. say. Here. You need to carry something? They're like lizardy fucking aquatic. They're like aquatic little lizardy fellas. Oh, I gave you my dragon bones already. Am I dumb? Oh, and I'm carrying, like, the fucking armor on me and all that. Yeah, yeah. Carrying a bunch of armor and other heavy shit on me. Also, 11 pounds of <laughs> Welkin stones. Let's tread softly. Yes. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Yo, yeah, what the fuck is this you just posted? <laughs> Some Argonian drinks are brewed with eel paste, which is boiled during the process. Bile beer. Parenthetical. Bile beer. Is a bitter alcoholic beverage. A guar that consumes bile beer will become sick to its stomach. A foul smelling Argonian concoction typically enjoyed during the New Life Festival. Yeah? Would I drink the bile beer? Probably not. Oh shit. Hello? That guy's got a cool helmet. And now I can take it. Must have run off. 
Yeah, Mustard Run Off, he says that he fucking kills it. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. You're a fucking nerd. Amulet to Stendar. Oh, an Imperial Crossbow. I mean, is that better or worse than my fucking... Silver one. Vigilant Enforcer's Journal. There, are spies in the city that reported here with whispers of a mythic dawn among the populace. Though the last of these abominations, sorry. Wait, yeah, though the last of those abominations were slain hundreds of years ago. We must take our report seriously and stay alert. Word from our agents at Cyrodiil said that a band of mysterious travelers descended upon Broma, where they asked all well-known, sorry, they asked a well-known researcher many questions about the aliens, the ruins of Rial specifically. They also asked about the Great Welkin Stones, which haven't been seen for hundreds of years. I'm sending a few scouts to the Pale Pass to keep an eye on things. If there is darkness at play, the light of the vigil will find it. The same group of questionable travelers that was seen traversing the Pale Pass in the Boomer again, this time under the cover of night. They were followed, but were lost in the shadow. Our agents set up a blockade to stop and question all who passed, but if the group is not seen traveling through there again. If they did return to Skyrim, they would have had to do it through J- Sorry, I almost said Janus. Through the general mountains by moonlight. Stand I'll have mercy upon anybody lost among those jagged slopes in the darkness. The researcher in Bruma has gone missing. And I must assume it was at the hand of those mysterious travelers. If the rumors of the mythic dawn are true, stand I'll help us if they get their hands on the Great Welkin Stone. That- what could they possibly need such a powerful artifact for? I've dispatched agents and spies at every corner of sky to inquire among the townsfolk and track anybody who is even remotely suspicious. We've begun following with a man named Scorville. We believe him to be a danger worshipper and possibly a member of the Nithic Dawn. His brother was recently reported missing, along with numerous others in the same time frame. We'll follow his movements closely. After several weeks- this guy's dead by the way, this motherfucker this journal that I'm reading is from a dead man. After several weeks of observance various suspects, we decided to capture an individual believed to be a high-ranking member of the Mythic Dawn. She was clothed plainly, and kept the guise of a merchant by day. We searched her quarters and found red robes bearing the sun symbol of Mayroon Dagon. We also found a journal which claims that an oblivion gate has been reforged and attempts to open it on the way. I called bullshit on it and threw that shit in the garbage. I don't believe in that stuff. I, de <laughs> I decided to call for reinforcements. If what I read is true, the vigilant to stand on alone may not be enough to bring what to stop what is unfolding. This mythic dawn priest would not yield any information and died during interrogation. It was a slow death, but the vigil has no mercy for fucking dirty, stinky ass danger worshippers. Can the power of the great welkin stone be corrupted and used for the twisted purposes? This can't happen. We gotta find this oblivion gate. Within the journal was a torn page containing the following. In the shade of Velothi. Velothi? Velothi. Where rivers run black. Shore stone at our feet. White shore at our back. Wind helm on our shoulders beyond the far night. Fair night. Fuck. Before the dawn rises, red scars bleed the light. I don't know what the fuck I just read. <laughs> Could it be a clue? I don't know. I'll, I'll send somebody. Someone does a dumb asshole to go fucking check it out for me. Three of my agents who were observing suspects when miss when missed it overnight. I believe they were captured by the myth of dawn. Stand out mercy on them. We should have been more careful when capturing one of the priests, but eh, whatever, we need to act quickly. I've assembled the group to descend to the Rio. We gotta act now. We may be able to ambush those danger worshippers. Lastly, one of my scouts believes the riddle doesn't indeed point to the location where the myth of dawn are hiding. We need to approach with caution. Lest we be outnumbered. Blessings of stand out upon us. Oh, I'm dead. And now some guy's fucking looting my corpse. Is this the torn note from the, you know, the like puzzle on it? Okay. Okay, well I know where Shore Stone and Windhelm are, obviously. I, have I been to Velothi? The name sounds familiar, have I been there? We'll check it out. <laughs> Why was that written by a Pianta? I don't fucking know. <laughs> they, some Pianta moved to Skyrim and became a Vigilant Estendo. I don't fucking, don't question him. Who the fuck are you? The oh. mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. That's cool, my guy. Where's my friend at? Derkitas? <gasps> Where did Derkitas go? He's always missing. There's another dead guy up here. <laughs> How did you die? 
How did you fucking die? Give me your helmet. That way I have two full sets of it if I ever want it for whatever reason. Drakitas? No fucking bother. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. I'm carrying a torch! How much more in the light do you want me to be? I shouted. Maybe if you were cool, you would know what a dragonborn was, nerd. The dragonborn danger worship too, hmm? You gonna come arrest me? My torch went out. Where the fuck did Jokitas go? Like, where is he? He keeps, like, fucking off every time I need him to carry shit for me. Jokitas. Jokitas? Okay, fine then. I am no what do you mean I am? What am I a danger worshipper? What? What 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 gave it away? The katana? The fucking gold brand katana that I got that you know from Boethia? The Azura Star in my pocket? <laughs> the, the the fucking Periites shield that I got right here? My we, 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 we which one gave it away, huh? What what are you gonna do about a bitch, huh? Yeah, you want yeah, you want to see this too? You you, you want to fucking see this too? You want to see something cool, asshole? Hey, watch this. Yeah, say that to my fucking alligator. Say that to my fucking ten foot tall alligator friend. Anyway, I'm gonna just slowly walk until I find a loading zone, I guess, because I can't find Durkitas. That was a cool little area, though. I liked it a lot. It was a very fun little. Fucking cool alien ruin. It just made me want to play Oblivion again now. <laughs> just makes me want to play Oblivion more. God, you are so loud. Mold. Darkitas will hopefully travel to me, and if he doesn't, then I can just go out here and like use the wait feature, I suppose. They'll teleport to me, eh? I'm interested to check out these uh, silver and imperial crossbows. What is that? Hello? Can I fucking help you? I like how we just went from like a really cool like throwback to being in, you know, oblivion and then we're instantly reminded, by the way, in case you forgot you were playing Skyrim. <laughs> in case you forgot you're in Skyrim right now. He's a fucking dragon. He's just staring at me. Ow. I'm gonna chug a bunch of this shit. Get my HP up, yeah, shall I? Why not? Hey, Drake, can you carry this stuff? For I'm really kind of bogged down by my equipment right now. I can't access your inventory. Oh! Oh, it hit me? Is my oh, his skin ready to go? It's not. My his skin is indeed not ready. Go get him, tiger. I can't heal. <laughs> I can't heal. This is what you want, fucker. Yeah, get him. Oh. I can summon one of those weird skeletons now if I want to, yeah? If I read that book. I can summon the weird skeleton dragon. Where is it? Probably not gonna use that one very often because I can just summon Karog here, but. <laughs> We're just sitting- Don't fucking breathe ice at my horse! We're just sitting back here pelting it with arrows. I, I got a crossbow. That Vigilant Distendar has a crossbow. Durkitas has a bow. Nice. 
This is such high octane game. Are you guys on the edge of your fucking seat right now? You better be. Do I have like any stuff that heals my HP over time? No, okay, fine. Da, da, da. Do, do, do. Beep, beep, I'm currently like dying of frost, so you know. I gotta eat many potions. Because even though I have 350 HP, it all, it all gets drained within seconds. Oh, so the ads are killing me now, which is kind of annoying. All the little, like, little fellows around are killing me. Go get them. Go kill the little guys for me. Do I have any frost shield potions? I, I had one yet. I used it already. I wish I could, like, not be over encumbered. That'd be a real boon to have. I think the dragon's HP is low enough now, though, where it won't fly anymore, which is good. I think it's grounded. Which is helpful for me. I can get my HP and my shit back while I sit here like an asshole. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, it's almost dead. It's like Turbo almost dead. There we go. Nice. The key to shoot it. Don't be afraid of it. I know skeletons are really spooky. I'll get some archery training in you. <laughs> Love all of my fucking bow skill. I pop some batteries in here real fast, yeah. Can I? I really gotta get my enchanting up to 100. I wanna. And she had my crossbow and shit. Also, hold on. The silver crossbow does 50. Does the imperial crossbow do the same? That was weaker, huh? Okay. Enchantment? Oh, God. Drakitas, can you please... Oh, hello, dead vigilant Stendar. How are you? Stendar, also known as Srendar, is a god of righteous might and merciful foreboded, forbearance. Rather, he is the inspiration of magistrates and rulers, the patron of imperial legions, and the comfort of the law-abiding citizen. Stendar has evolved from his Nordic origins into the deity of compassion, or sometimes even righteous rule. Yeah. Is, am I gonna get in trouble with Stendar if I draw a wiener on the wall in public? Can I go skateboarding or will Stendar get mad at me? I can't fit through here. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. You cut off fast travel when there's enemies nearby. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> mounted combat. Speaking of mounted combat, I finally rode a fuck. I, I rode the horse for the first time finally in fucking Elden Ring today. For the first, I, I finally got on the damn horse and I rode it. And like, it's so much, because I was playing alone on a different save file. I like started like a different save file to dick around like in low level areas. Because my other save file, like me and a friend playing co-op together. And we haven't rolled the horse a single time. Because you can't do that in co-op. Since I was playing by myself, I decided to ride the horse around. And boy howdy, is it so much fucking faster as you might expect. Can you not beat my horse up? <laughs> No! Don't walk in front. Are you? You're broken. I think this horse is broken now. Awesome. I think I damaged the horse, and now it's not gonna work anymore. It's so cool. Where's the other enemy at? Darkeet is here. Need on. Need me to carry something. Yes, here. Carry my dragon bones. And this fucking multiple sets of armor that I'm carrying that are very heavy. Thank you. Lead, I'll follow. Are you broken? Oh no, you're fine. Okay, good. You're not broken. Thank God. Oh, don't get back up. Go back to bed. I'll see you in a dream. Stop it. 
Okay, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Okay, so they want us to go... The Oblivion Gate's way over yonder, yeah? Well, how about instead of doing that... We go to Windhelm. And I try to maybe... Check out these cool new crossbows that I got? I want to see how strong they are. The silver one specifically, obviously. Because it does more damage. It does higher base damage. Plus, silver does more damage against, like... Like, like, I don't know, like abominations and shit, so... Just, like, an extra bit of damage we can do. On specific enemies, like undead and, and the like. Do, 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 do. Are you lurking right now? Yeah, are you? Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad people enjoy these streams for whatever goddamn reason. I'm freezing to death! Hubbub. Oh, and that's the scary part about fast traveling with survival mode turned on. You might just <laughs> you might just die on the way there. <laughs> look at you, I'm covered in snow. Oh, look at the poor guy. I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. Yeah? God, I I can go for some farming right now. You kidding me? Hubba bubba. Nah. Am I full? Good, I'm full. Nice. Anyway, I want to check out what we need. I'm assuming the silver crossbow obviously is going to need silver and gets to upgrade. And the imperial one will probably take steel, but. You septims for my supper is all I ask. That's fine here. It's so good to see you again. Uh, here. Oh, thank you. Divine's bless your kind heart. Oh, thank you. I still miss the ones from Oblivion where they're like, spare a coin for the infirm. And then you give them a coin, they're like, blessings of Stendor upon you. Let me check this out. Excuse me. I gotta use this. Have I spoken to you yet? Hi, have I spoken to you since I came to Windhelm? Working in Windhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Uh, oh, do you, do, you, do you like Ulfric? Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. Except for me and my but friend there. He's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the Great Stormcloak army. Do you? That's cool, thank you. A word of advice. Don't buy discounted armor. That's fine. I want to upgrade my crossbow if possible. Drakita's move. So the Imperial one will do 71 when fully upgraded. So that's better than my regular crossbow. The silver one will do... Six oh. Huh. So this will happen. This is a thing that happens sometimes. I can't actually upgrade this to legendary. Because there's like a weird tier of... This happens occasionally. I have to... See. Even with the 100 smithing, you still can't make certain things legendary. It's really fucking stupid. You can, though, if you use potions to increase your smithing skill higher than what it actually is. Then I can make a legendary, but... That's so fucking lame. Oh, it looks so cool, though. The silver crossbow looks so fucking cool, though. I want to use it. Hmm. Alright, how do I make a fortified smithing potion? <laughs> how, do I, how do I fortify my smithing? I got plenty of ingredients back in the house for doing this. I want a legendary silver crossbow, damn it. I killed six men single-handed. Yeah, you told me that story literally every time I walked by you. I once killed one man single-handedly when I let six of my friends beat him up for me. Alright, let's see here. Um, let me dump off some of this shit. Am I carrying any, like, food or... What is this? What's in this sack? Alright. <laughs> Apparently I missed that sack with three apples in it. When I was, like, cleaning the house out prior. Um. Dump off some weapons. Cause I would like to use the silver crossbow, as opposed to the uh, imperial one. It looks cooler and also it does more damage, but I just can't make a legendary, which sucks. Oh, hey, buddy, give me. Lead on. Yeah. Need me to carry something? I need you to carry the burden of my friendship. Thank you. Oops, don't give me. No, take your helmet. Oh God, <laughs> put your helmet back on. Oh God, no, please. There you go. May the hist guide us. Mhm. Mm I gotta get you some walking around clothes, buddy. Like, me too. I mean, I have my own walking around clothes, but, like... Hmm. I wonder if I can do that with the Fall Over Tweak mod. If there's a way I can, like, 
have certain armor be set to like he puts it on in combat. And then he wears other ones like outside of combat. Probably. Wait, this is my weapon. Yeah, I was talking, this is my armor chest. Yeah, okay, it is good. I was like, uh. Put all my armor in here. Blister ward and glowing mushrooms are the easiest ingredients. Yeah, to make like smithing potions. I don't want to make like a broken weapon. I just want to bump my smithing up high enough to like, you know, high enough to make it a legendary. Because I, I don't want, because I'm sure I can make like a turbo overpowered potion accidentally and like jack the damage up way too fucking high if I'm not careful. Let's see here. Uh, I need to like get a. It's not broken. Yeah, I know. I need to like. I tried picking, you know, with that furniture moving mod that I have, right? Where I can, like, pick up random shit and move it. I tried picking up an uh, apothecary satchel. I tried to pick one up so I can bring it and put it over there by my potions, but, like, for some reason I can't pick up apothecary satchel. Don't know why. I want to. Is it just... Like, is it just blister ward and glowing mushrooms? Is that all it is? Is there not like a third ingredient that I need? Let's see here. Glow. Glowy shroom. It's just those two? Gotcha. Alright. I will go make one of those potions real fast. I'll simply just make one of them. Mold! Some weapons away. Yeah, I'll put that Imperial crossbow away for now. I mean, if I can't get this to work to make the silver one better, then I will pick up the Imperial one, but... I'll also put away my old crossbow since I ain't using it no more. Oh, I forgot we found this, like, turbo staff. <laughs> it only lasts three seconds? The potion does? Yeah, okay. So I gotta, I gotta like, chug the potion and, like, immediately, like, try to upgrade my weapon <laughs> while the potion is still active. Oh, that's 30 seconds. Okay. That's not as bad then. Okay. Um, let me go in here and make that potion really quick. Hey, you make potions, right? Mind brewing me an ale? Fortify smithing. Weapons are 16% better. I think that'll be enough. Do you think 16% will be enough to, like, bump it from Flawless to Legendary? I hope so. It might not be. It's not a huge... It's not a very huge increase on account of my, uh... Alchemy skill is not very high. I ain't got many... Ooh! A new thing to disenchant, finally? Holy shit. Fuck yeah. I wonder if I can put lights in here. I'm not sure how those work, like with the furniture moving mod. I don't know if the lights are included with the static object. So if I were to like go find like a candle or something and like move it in here, I think the candle would move with the light surrounding it wouldn't. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I hope it does, but... Oh, what you reading? Huh? You didn't see anything. Don't ask. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Fuck was that, buddy? Don't worry about it. Oh, right, my Dragon Ball's going down here. I'm a dumbass. Hold on. I want to get these things out of my pocket. They're weighing me the hell down. Wait, what am I? Oh, here we go. Put that away. Dragon Bones. Look at all this flawless shit I got in my pocket. <laughs> Look at all this shit, Jesus. Oh, I got so much flawless stuff. It's great. The thing's worth 3,000 gold, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I need that shit. Give that silver ore back. Hold on, I made a mistake. You don't go in that chest. You go in the fancy chest where I keep all my fancy shit. Okay, yeah, okay, good. Go over here. Let me 
go in there. Uh huh. Flawed Varla stone, sure. Still have no, how to, no idea how to make them non flawed. I hope I can at some point. That'd be really cool. Put all my flawless shit in here because I'm a vain asshole. My working students. Okay, I'm gonna go really quick and sprint on over. Wait, hold on. Nah. That don't go in here. I guess I can put these master robes of fucking restoration away. Yeah? So I got like one of them, why not? Just so I got one on deck in case they ever want it, you know, for whatever reason, even though I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> Just to have it. Master restoration robes. I just shove all my fucking necklaces in here. So many amulets to stand are. So many people died. And now all their necklaces are in my... <laughs> they're just sitting in my desk. As they should. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. Excuse me. Go try to. Uh, I forgot the silver ring. It. I'm an asshole. Wait. Well, no, I didn't forget the silver ring. It. I had a silver ring. It, and then I fucking put it away. There it be. Give me that. There. I don't think this is gonna work. I doubt it's gonna bump it up from flawless to legendary, but maybe it will. Who knows? I hope so. I feel like it's still going to do less damage than uh, the Imperial Crossbow, though, which is sad. Because the Imperial Crossbow did, like, what, like 70-something? Probably should have kept it on me for reference, and I don't have it. Is everything fresh and delicious? How fresh? How fresh are we fucking talking here? Alright, let me chug this. I can still only make it flawless with that, huh? That is so lame. I can add a couple of points of damage to Goldbrand, though, <laughs> if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. We'll use the Imperial one for a bit until. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Let me guess. I was shouting somewhere and I scared someone. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. Yeah, cool. Just that he was a friend. I don't care. Shut up. That's it. Got to go. Thank you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't yell at you. It's not you're just doing your job. You cause quite a stir by shouting. Blah, blah. You caused quite a bit of stir in here when you demonstrated the power of your thum. Who the fuck saw me? Did my neighbor file a complaint? I was in my own home. Did, did, did my fucking neighbor file a complaint that I was yelling? <laughs> fuck you. All right. Anyway, go to Northwind Summit to get a new word. Yeah. I once killed six men single-handed to rescue my brothers in arms from ambush by an imperial patrol. Tell me the story. Tell me that story again. Oh, look how happy he is. <laughs> I'm proud to admit that I need a bit of help from time to time. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a pretty good shout, yeah? From that from Northwind Summit, is it? I can't wait to get there and it's like fucking drain stamina again or some bullshit. It's like, oh. Okay, let's put the silver crossbow away for the time. I wanna, I'm gonna, I at least wanna look at it, yeah? I at least wanna like hold it in my hands and look at it. Like, it looks so fucking cool. Look at this dope ass crossbow. Look at this shit. Did you see this shit, Dirk I probably shouldn't be aiming it at you. It's very irresponsible. <laughs> but look at it. It's cool as fuck. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't wait till I can actually use that. Okay, well, I'll take the Imperial one for the time being, then. Because the Imperial one is still better than my, uh, regular. I, do you think it has the armor-piercing ability, though? Because, like, the Enhanced Crossbow pierces armor. Like, that's what the Enhanced means on it. Like, because there's regular crossbows and Enhanced Crossbows, so, like... Do you think the Imperial one also pierces armor? I hope so. We shall find out, I guess. 
All right, let me dig it up. What the hell do I need? Steel? I can't remember. I'll grab iron and steel because I, for the life of me, can't remember what the hell I needed. There we go. I should, like, move a... Hmm. <laughs> wait, do I have one? Hold on, wait. Do I have a... Did I buy a weapon grindstone? Hold on. Do I got one of my barrel of shit here? Let's think. I get to put like a weapon grindstone in my house. So I got the shrine of Akatosh sitting in here. No, okay. I gotta find a weapon grindstone. That'd be, I, like that'd be really nice to have in the home. That way I don't gotta fucking walk all the way over here. On like a weapon workbench. I don't want to put a forge in my house. That's stupid. But like maybe an anvil. <laughs> I could at least put an anvil in my house. That'd also be stupid though, because like you can't forge shit on an anvil. That doesn't make any sense. Can you move? I know this is your like place of work, but like, did, did you have the only grindstone in Windhelm, my guy? Got 65 at flawless. That's 71. And legendary, okay. How come I can only make my pickaxe flawless? What the fuck? <laughs> what? I can only make my pickaxe flawless too? So dumb. Oh, whatever. Cool, cool. Yeah, no clue if the Imperial Crossbow also has the, uh, armor-piercing ability that the... That the regular crossbow has, but look at this thing. It looks dope. Cool fucking crossbow. Neato. I once killed six men. Did you? Tell me again. You've told that story more times than men you've killed. Single-handedly. Let's put the silver away. Put my iron over here. Go put away the silver crossbow in the weapons locker. Um, what am I doing? Fucking iron. There we go. Can I drop that iron ingot? It's not, not can I, that great welkin stone. There's no way, right? Okay, no. I was gonna say like. <laughs> It was being really goofy, and I'm like, can I can I drop that? I I, I kept seeing it like on in my inventory. Like typically, when you can like when you're not allowed to like put stuff away like that, it will like it just won't show up at all. But maybe, fucking mayhaps, Steven? Uh, what am I doing? I gotta give those to Jarkitas. Can I put that away? I'm not using it right this second. Okay, good. We got a new crossbow. Really cool. Really cool, fancy crossbow. Dope. Also, hi there, by the way. Thank you, Prismaya, cool streamer for the raid. How are you? Welcome. Skateboard. <laughs> Skateboard. <laughs> nice. We're playing some Scrim Scram. Did I already disenchant all my shit? I sure did. All right. I gotta go sell all this stuff. I have so much fucking shit in my inventory right now. Excuse me. Did you check out my coffee yet? <gasps> I didn't. Mmm. I couldn't remember. Oh, don't put the- no, oh god, I pumped the wrong button. <laughs> I'm playing with one hand right now. Got my coffee in my other hand, I'm just fucking trying like, to fire my crossbow. Hello. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. I'm here to sell you shit. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh-huh. Alright. Take none of that. Take all these stupid fucking circulates that I don't need, because <laughs> I have like 20 million of them. Take these. All these dumb rings, you have a hundred bucks left, you- wow, okay, uh... I just take what you can, I guess, here. Keep the change on that one, thank you! Thank you for your custom. I said thank you. Our need me to carry something? Yeah, take these arrows. You're already down to 150 arrows, my dude? I gave you like, fucking 300 of them earlier. Here. How many do you got now? You have 163 arrows left, yeah? Lead? I'll follow. Maybe use that sword for a little bit. A little of everything for sale. Come, see for yourself. No, you don't. You lied. Is that the meat merchant that was talking? I'm pretty sure we checked his inventory last time, didn't he? Wasn't he just selling, like, bread and ale? <laughs> like, he wasn't even selling any meat? Which is what is all over his, like, food stand? He's like, yeah, come buy the food. And then he sells a, a scrap of bread and some fucking ale. It's like, yeah, jackass. 
cool fucking selection. Alright, where am I going? Uh, hey, why did I come back in here? Sleeping! We have to level up, right? <laughs> we're, we're dying. Our character is very tired currently, plus we have to level up. Alright. What time is it in game? 3 p.m.? Cool. Let's just take a fucking power nap for 12 hours and wake up at 3 a.m. We'll head outside. <sighs> what am I leveling up now, by the way? Is my HP to like 350 now? I don't remember. Okay, no, we're not at 350 HP yet, so let's do that. Boom. We have 350 HP now. And I think our magic is at 300 or something? I can't remember. Oh, what am I doing now then? Should I get more destruction perks? Some enchantment? Don't call it alchemy. It's alchemy. I mean, our enchanting is getting pretty high. I would like to, like, fucking... Get that maxed out if possible. So can I get more archery? Hmm. Sneaky sneaky? <gasps> sneaky sneaky. Oh fuck, I want that one. <laughs> I really want that perk. I wanna do the sneaky ninja roll. <laughs> oh I know we're doing it. Not for actual tactic like not for actual like good reasons. Literally just because it looks funny. That is the only reason, just specifically because it looks funny. That is the only reason I want to like unlock the rolling ability. Because sadly we can't backflip like in this game like we could in Oblivion. But we can still roll. <sighs> you wanted to do penis music right as the raid happened? Yeah, I'm sorry. You yeah, ain't got enough banana coins. You gotta farm those banana coins. Oh yeah, that's true. Can I call Freddy Fazbear right now? It is 3 a.m. still, yeah? Can I... <laughs> I don't have a phone, though. Can I... Is there, like, an ancient fucking Skyrim phone that I can use? That I can contact Freddy Fazbear with? I wish. I still have so much shit that I gotta sell. God damn. Oh, I was like, I put away all my ingredients now. I'm done making those smithing potions. They're kind of not useful to me right now. I mean, then again, should I just, like, power level my fucking alchemy right now? Y'all got any- y'all got any tips and tricks for getting some alchemy points real fast? I got plenty of shit laying around. Plenty of ingredients. Snowbodies. <gasps> that was the wrong box? I'm an asshole? I just put all my fucking ingredients in my food box? You dumb, stupid idiot? Cool, I gotta take them all out now? <laughs> Where were they? <laughs> Fuck. I put all my ingredients in my food bag. Son of a bitch. You can't eat a saber cat tooth. Can't eat cotton. There we go. Put the chicken breast away. What a fun time to raid, by the way, everybody. Yeah, th thanks for fucking stopping in here watching me do inventory management. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I gotta, I, 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 I can't just dump all my shit into one chest to call it good. I got, I gotta be real particular about it. Sadly, I like all my shit organized. Snowbodies, wheat. There you go, put that away. Do I remember the one that you told me? Hell no. It was like scaly, whatever the fuck, mushrooms and something else. I don't remember. The Mora mushrooms. Do I have any uncooked food in my inventory? Still not working. Okay. Good. Alright, dope. Uh. Scaly moras and creep vines. Yeah, is that what it is? I only have four creep clusters, sadly. Where's all my mora ones at? Here we go. We have plenty of these. I'll just take three, though, because that's all I have for creep vines. And the scaly things. Where the fuck are they? Three of these. Boom. We get a little bit of... <laughs> we get a teeny bit of a... Teeny, teeny bit of alchemy experience, I suppose. Also, I don't have any more salmon roll, no. I ain't got no more salmon roll. Sneef, sneef, he says. 
Yeah. God, look at that dumb potion. Look at all the shit that it does. Too bad I'm just using it to level up and I'm not getting any actual use out of it as like a potion. Hell yeah. Where am I going? Well, where the fuck am I? Okay, I can see the door. I got scared. <laughs> I was like, huh? Hello? Am I locked in here? What happened? I guess this one here. This will be my potion sack. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just dump. This is where I'll dump all my potions. Oh, never mind. Here, I'll sell them. I got a bunch of other potions I gotta sell too, anyway. They're taking up so much room in my pocket. Okay, so it's 4 a.m. I woke up at 3 a.m. like a normal person. Um, let's go down to Riften and sell some more shit, and then we'll make our way up to this place up here where there's apparently an oblivion an oblivion gate, rather. Do I want a ton of salmon row? Where can I get salmon row? I've like rarely ever found it. Is there some easy way to farm it that I'm unaware of? C can I make a fish farm? <laughs> can I make a fucking fish farm where I get tons of salmon row? Oh, my bones. No, oh, hubba bubba, sorry. I muted my mic for a moment, pardon me. That's a solitude dock? There's just tons of salmon row down by the docks? Hey, is there? Alright, let's go in here and sell some shit real fast, yeah? Welcome to the pond brawn. Welcome to the pond brawn. Uh huh. Come in, take a look around. Welcome to the pond brawn. You just said that twice. Take a look. Take that scroll. Uh huh. Take all these dumb potions that I don't want. Take them all. You can sip them. You want to sample them before you buy them? Take take a sippy. Take a sippy of all of them. They're really yummy and tasty, and you're gonna love them. I promise. I made some of them myself. Be careful when you drink them. That's good. I keep the change. Thank you. All right. Then. Yeah, yeah. You too. I'm waiting. Wait, you huh? just go look- wait, you- Yes. You can just go murder the fish in the water, and then you, you can get row off of them? I didn't realize that. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourn. That sorry, champ. Mind smile on you, friend. You too, Bowley. Bowley. Speaking of fucking- while we're in Riften, maybe after I finish up this quest, we can go do that one quest that's apparently in Riften that we can do? That gives us, like, a permanent magic resistance? I really want to do that. I would love to have some resistance to fucking magic, because boy howdy, that shit does way too much damage. <laughs> it just eats right through my armor. <sighs> you have to kill them? Yeah. I've never tried killing the fucking fish in this game before. Like, you, you, usually if I ever want the fish, I just go, I swim in there and grab them. But, like, I didn't realize you could kill them. I kind of figured they were, like, a static object that you had to, like, click on. Oh, while we're here, you know what? Fucking, hey, can you armor my horse, please? Got horses that need shoeing, yeah, so can, make it quick. Yeah, can you please put armor on my horse? Of course. Of horse. Here. Thank you. All right, then. My horse is already wearing that armor. My fucking dick and balls it is. My fucking cock and balls it is, excuse me, hey. Huh? I fucking armor it. Of course. I, I put the elven one on it then. Okay, now did it work? Until next time. Okay, well now it's got the elven armor on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got the elven armor on. I want my other armor back though. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Steel. Alright then. Okay, there we go. God, that was weird. So I guess I was wearing the armor, it just wasn't showing up. What, whatever. Onward. Are you also selling shit? Hey, hold on. Want to buy some of my garbage? Hello. So many refuse to talk to us. Well, I'm talking to you right now. Here, take this. To Hi, by the way. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm gonna sell this. You have no more money? Wow, you're... You ain't got none money, huh? Okay, well... <laughs> fuck. Here. Take this amethyst. Take a singular amethyst. Keep the change. Thank you. May your road lead you to one sands. You too, Kit Kit. If you have come to see our wares, speak to the others. 
So then the way up is that a way? Just follow the road and go up into the mountains? You got it. All right. I want to test out my new crossbow. See how much damage it'll do. Yeah, it'll rip people apart. I fucking upgraded it, didn't I? Am I insane? I did, I did right? I didn't forget to... Okay, no, I did. <laughs> I was like, did I fucking forget to upgrade it? while well, I was... Back in the town? Yeah, Bethesda does love making jokes about the whole fucking horse armor thing, yeah? They're like, hey, you remember, huh? Remember when we sold your shitty horse armor for the horses that die in fucking three seconds, hey, remember? Oh, what do you want? Here comes a fucking Mountain Dew monster. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, shit. I need my sword. Don't hit me. I, why can't you use magic on the back? You can use your you can use your one-handed weapon. Like you can use weapons. You can use crossbows. You can't use magic on the back of horses for some stupid reason. I'm just slowly picking away at it. Now this is gameplay. Durkita is just tanking. Look at him. <laughs> He's just, just tanking. <laughs> Good shit, buddy. Good fucking shit, champ. I really wish you had your own horse. I we, we but we can't have more than one horse because game is you know good. Hello. Yeah, yeah, scream at me. We're at 97 one-handed, by the way. We're getting there. It's almost full. Then I can start working more of a two-handed. There's horse armor and oh yeah, there is horse armor in Fallout 4. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> The power armor, whatever stuff, yeah. The, there's like power armor, like it's like horse themed. Oh, I forgot about that. Whoop. I can't climb up here. Hello. Okay, that's fine. Let's go around. I like how taken aback and offended I am by that. I'm like, oh, I, I can't just glitch my way up the side of this mountain. Oh, good fucking part of me. I'll go around it then the right way, I guess. I'll actually play the game. <laughs> Yeah, shouldn't I have? Hold up, nondescript guard. What's happening? If you put the horse armor on Shadow Mirror, it bugs out and she can despawn. <laughs> Great. Very cool. And Oblivion yeah, does that? That's really fucking funny. I. Nice. Did the ghost dog leave little paw prints? It did. The, the ghost dog left little paw prints in the fucking snow. Kind of figured the ghost would not leave footprints. Alright. Let me save my. And then we'll go in. Red Scar Cavern. Wasn't, some, wasn't somebody just literally talking about Red Scar Cavern like 10 seconds ago in chat? Or did it have a different name? Or was it just a similar sounding name? <gasps> I'm not here. Don't look at me. Hold on. Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Wait, hold on. Later, nerd. Oh, Red Water Den it's called. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. All right, just fucking zap me in the forehead, you fucking prick. I missed. Don't summon your damn wolf. Ghost wolf. Is that it? Those ice spikes are fucking hurting me, dude. Like a lot. You know, here, fine. You want some? Here. Give me one of these. Give me all the razzle down. The one, two. One, two. I like that shit. Fucker. All right. They never expect the old one-two fucking grenade launcher throw. Do a little healy. Is it worth it to double cast spells? By the way, I like never do dual casting because like, that's the thing you can do in this game. Like I, I don't mean like I don't I don't mean like this here where like you're fucking like I don't I don't mean like this like pew pew, but like you can dual cast like you can like press them both at the same time. If you have the perk, and it will like increase, it, it'll fire one explosive shell, but like it'll do more damage. Like, is it worth it? 
I always just do like, I, I never do the dual casting. I just like fire both fireball somewhat like at the same time or whatever. I like it better. It's only better if you're pure mage, yeah? Well, pure mage, I am not. I know it'd be cool for certain spells. Like, it would look like a fucking Kamehameha blast if I'm using, like... <laughs> if I'm using, like, the shock spell or some shit. If I dual hand that shit, that'd be funny as hell. Yo, clown meat? Y'all hear about clown meat? I wish I could find some more crab meat. I need crab meat and, like, fucking salmon roe. It's not really worth it? No, yeah. I might do it just for the sake of, uh... Pretending I'm Goku, though, and, like, fucking kamehameha ing people. When I dual cast the fucking... <laughs> when, I, when I dual cast, like, the electricity spell or some shit. Or I could just... Should I... Should, should I download it? Should, 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 should I download some, some Dragon Ball spells? Should, should I just drown? Should I just download a fucking Dragon Ball spell? I would love to if I... I don't know. See, I, I've talked before about how I made a follower mod once. It's like, should I just put fucking Uncle Goku in this game? I, should I just like, should I just make Uncle Goku and then get fucking like give him a modded Kamehameha spell? You know, fucking fun that would be. It'd be hilarious. I love that shit. I hear somebody mining. Oh, they're digging right to like excavate the yeah. They're looking for the Oblivion portal, which is weird because I thought they already found it. Owned. Thought I heard something. What's up, fucker? Good, good, good. Yeah, magic is pretty bad, yeah, in the base game. Like, they made it better, thankfully, with, like, the, some of the creation club shit. They made some better, like, stuff, but... It does suck how bad it is in the base game. It's not very super useful. Oh! <gasps> Should have come here. Yeah, shouldn't I? Why not? They do cry about it, huh? Come here. Bonk. <laughs> he just fucking backhanded him. Ow. I love that. You. Get <laughs> I, I, I fucking love just going up to go like, no. Stop it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just add one new mod every time I load the game up. Yeah, every single stream there'll be one new mod. And I won't tell anybody. Touch. And then by the end of the playthrough, I'll be like wearing Master Chief armor and like fucking Goku's gonna be behind me with an assault rifle. And I'll be like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this is regular Sky, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm still down to do- I, I, know I've, I, I know it's a joke at this point and I keep mentioning it, but like I'm still down to do the fucking Oblivion speedrun, but I have a gun. Like, I, I will go down- it will just be base game Oblivion, but I have a gun mod installed. And I will speedrun the game. <laughs> it just use a gun. <laughs> I still want to do that. See how quickly I can get through the game with just a gun with unlimited ammo. I have a feeling there's going to be trouble. You think so, champ? Alright. Let's get serious now. Drakitas is scared. I didn't say I was scared, you fuck. Oh, my bad. What the fuck? This is the deepest goddamn shaft I've seen in my fucking life. And then I go, Pow! Oh, you lived through that, did you? Yeah? You telling me you just lived through a fucking bolt to the back of your neck? I missed. Hey, could you do me a favor? You? C could you do me a favor? I missed. I fucking missed. I just... I'm, I'm pissed. I'm angry. I'm upset even, some might say. I wish it wasn't like fucking dark and dark as shit in here. You know what? Here, give me my torch back. I want to be able to see. Like, I won't be able to have my cool magic, but at least I'll be able to see. Chamber key. What chamber? The hell do I know? Boy. Oh. You, you want to go in the hole? There you go, champ. Wee. 
That's what I was trying to do to the other guy. I wanted to shout him off the fucking cliff, but I just missed. Oh, there he is. What kind of cool face you got. I like your cool little blue paint you got in your foot. You're dead now. <laughs> you look cool, though. What you guys digging for down here? Some Quicksilver? Neat. What is Quicksilver even used for? Like, I know you use it to, like, upgrade, like, the Blades Katana, I think? Like, what, what other, like, weapons and armor even use Quicksilver? Seems like a very, like, not useful fucking material. Hello. Oh, Kerchung. It is time to infiltrate. Huh? What if I put on some robes? Can I, like, sneak in here? Oh. <gasps> Yo, look at that oblivion gate. This game better not cuck me. If this game cucks me and I don't get to go into that gate, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, I know the whole point of what we're doing right now is to, like, prevent them from opening up the gate, but, like, I want to go in there. <laughs> I want to go in the gate. I like how I'm sneaking around with a torch in my hand. Like, <laughs> I mean, maybe they don't notice. Maybe they just think that light behind them is, like, their overseer walking by or some shit, yeah? Maybe they think it's the boss man. Hmm. I'm suddenly hearing less people standing behind me. I ain't hearing those picks moving. What's going on back there? Oh, they're all dead. A grilled chicken breast. Nice. Quicksilver makes elven stuff? No. Moonstone does that. Moonstone is for elven shit. Is that the last guy? Is, is, is that Vano's guy, the only person left? Look how stiff. Why is my. Look at my tail. <laughs> what the hell? Did you see that? Why the hell is my tail so stiff? The fuck happened there? Oop. Bam 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 That's a bucket of blood. Oh, there's soon. Oh, that's sad. Well, we still haven't found that one lady yet. The pr what the hell's her name? Like, and then gate. What the hell? Oh, I gotta read it again. <laughs> the fuck was her name? We haven't found her yet. Hold on, I'll find it. Cause yes, yeah, Scorveld is dead, and now his son here is dead. I mean, we never found Priestess Enike. Enike, yeah. Is she around here somewhere? Is she dead too? You ever should have what? Sorry, can you finish that? Oh, yo. <laughs> oh. This is a journal, okay. You can also use it for Nordic weapons and armor. Okay, gotcha. So you mean not in the base game. So in the base game, it was used for like nothing. <laughs> and then when they made the DLC where they added Nordic weapons, they're like, oh, hey, you can use Quicksilver for that, I guess. I get to go into a fucking Oblivion gate. This is dope. That's so cool. Look at it. I will delete that save because fuck you, I'll make a new one. We go into Deadlands. We go into Oblivion, boys. <sighs> oh, you mix Quicksilver with Moonstone to make Elven stuff too. Gotcha, okay. Ooh. Uh oh, I'm in a cave? Okay. Some lava. 
Your meat sack. <laughs> Fucking stop it. No, quit it. Knock it off. <laughs> stop it. None of that. Give me your blood grass. Can I use that to make invisibility potions? This is so fucking cool. <laughs> Again, I'm well aware of the fact that it's just like, huh? Ah, you remember Oblivion? But I don't care. I like it. Holy shit! I have a feeling there's going to be trouble. We're literally in hell, Durkeith. There's no fucking shit. Yo, stinky plant? Hello? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, weird demon horse. I want to harvest these sticks. Give me. I fucking pick up the shit. Give me, give me. What? <coughs> coof, coof, he says. This is sick. Oh. It is sick. I love it. Coof, coof. How long does that poison last? Should I worry about it? <laughs> Should I be healing myself? Probably. Hold on. Again, it's just like Oblivion. I got, I, I got, I got fucking gold brand. I got spellbreaker over here. In my other hand, you know. I'm harvesting shitty ingredients in hell. Coof, coof. I like how I take the entire giant root out of the ground. Banished Aedra. What? what are you wearing? Can I take your armor? Oh, Satan's dead. There she goes. Give me, give me. Yes, yeah, it's Oblubian. <laughs> We're playing Oblubian. America can be summed up in one simple word. Hello? What the fuck is happening? Okay, that was spooky. Oh, that's the lava! That damn but burning, okay. <laughs> okay, it's lava ow, ow, okay. I guess I touched the lava, cool fucking hitbox. Ow. Oh no Stop it. Bad. Bad root. The punished. Oh god, look, it's like animated now. It like jiggles. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Did I search this already? Okay. Yeah, apparently the hitbox for the lava is like not very good here. I keep hitting it. Ow. Go in the hot piss? No, it'll kill me. He says going to save his game. <laughs> it's Oblivion music. It's, it's kind of Oblivion music. It's like some weird, like, cucked version of it. Like, you, you get a little bit of the Oblivion music, but then it like doesn't, like, fully go, you know? It's weird. Like, it's there. Like, see, that part's there and everything, but then, like, it kind of like, goes away. It doesn't play the entire thing. Uh, yeah, I did sink into the piss, you're right. Get your piss counters up, everybody. Coof. Is that? Oh, the blood grass, right. Am I even gonna use any of this in alchemy? Fucking probably not, but I want it. <laughs> I wanna collect it. Can I punch Mayra's Dagon on the cock again? It was really fun when I did that. Ooh. Horse! Come here! <laughs> Can I ride the horse? No? Okay, fine. Why is it attacking me? Oh shit! God, you're a tanky son of a bitch, ain't you? 
I like your cool axe. Oh god. Ooh. Bad horse. Stop it, bad horse. Retrieve Scourge, what? Scourge. Okay. Yeah. The danger course. Wait, hold on, can I do this? Durkeeds is probably gonna kill them before I can do this, but. Cock! <gasps> Yo! Oh, I thought it was too powerful. <laughs> oh, and it's dead. <laughs> Wait, did you see that though? For like a split second, it's that I could ride the horse. Should I try that again? I might be able to hold on, I might be able to cheese that shit. Wait, hold on. I wanna try that again. Like for a split second there, it's that I could ride the horse. It's that it was too powerful, but like what if? Hold on. What if I like what if I can cheese this shit and get a cool demon horse? <coughs> Koof, koof. Oh, I'm going that way, my bad. I forgot. Then we get Kine's Peace on deck. And then I'll use I'll, I'll use Kine's Peace and then I'll just spam the fucking <laughs> spam the ride horse button. <laughs> See if it lets me. <laughs> what if I get to keep the cool horse? Okay, I'll stand still. Let me on. Let me on. Ah oh, fuck, hold on. How come you're like kind of like invincible a little bit? There, I guess you have really high block skill. Give me that, give me that. No? Damn, how come that happened that one time? It only gave it a prompt for like a split second. Hold on, I'll try it again. Rakitas, you're killing the horse. Cock. No? Here. <laughs> Here. <laughs> They're kicked this quit killing the horse damn it. Fuck fine. I can't ride the horse It's fine. It only popped up like a split second. I wonder what caused that. Oh well you can get me. I actually didn't want that Daedric helmet Sorry that Daedric sword dagger rather go away What you got for me Y'all liking that heartbeat? Oh Hey Oh hey, so about the Daedric Horse. Turns out I can just uh <laughs> turns out I can just summon it right here. Oh. <laughs> well that's the usual what I was trying to do. That's a uh, it's a whole lot more simple than the bullshit I was just trying to do. Yeah? Conjure Death Horse? Oh wait, I don't want you. Actually no, you're worth like 300 bucks. Get back in my pocket. So if I go to conjuration. Summon Daedric Horse. Y yeah? <laughs> Maybe I can't summon it in here? <laughs> okay. This is one of those places where I can't summon things, I suppose. Can I conjure my Daedroth either? Yeah, no, okay, you just can't summon stuff in here. Well, when we get outside, I will try to summon the weird flaming demon horse. Why is there still combat music playing? Ma! Ma! John will be my mother! Ah. Ow! Give me your Horandas. What are they? What? Hello? Oh, wait, I did summon you. Oh, so maybe the horse got summoned too somewhere that I just didn't see it. Okay, well, it's fine. Drakeithis, have you played Oblivion? <laughs> You should. Oh, okay. What do these ingredients even do? I want to check them out. Hold on. Let me take a bunch. Of, let me take a bite out of that. Yeah. Makes you turn invisible. Just straight up invisibility when I munch on that grass. <laughs> Good. Oh, there I am. Harada. Harada. I hardly know her. Damage health. Oh, lovely. I can't eat that. Spittle stick. Also damages my health, though. I guess I'll have this weird void salt. Yeah, that's just, that's just pepper. Fucking void salt. Like, that's just pepper. <laughs> also, how's the scrum blum going? It's going great. I'm playing a really cool fucking quest right now, and I'm really enjoying it. We're in hell, <laughs> currently. Can I, like, jump my way up here? <laughs> can, I, can I go up here? 
Whoop. Why am I glowing? Is that the dam is that the damage health thing glowing on me? Is that what that is? Cause I ate that weird unidentified plant. Eh, let me up. I think it's a visible wall there. Fine. Whee! So how the hell do I get over there? I could use a whirlwind sprint, I guess, to like run across it, but oh! stop hitting me. Come here. Yeah. Bad plant. Stop it. I'm still confused about this weird armor that they're wearing. Like, what is this? Like this really goofy looking fucking. Like it kind of looks like the Oblivion armor, but not really. Coof, coof. You okay there, keep this? Boots of lifting. Boots of deft hands. Boots of Sans Undertale. Knock it off, you're grounded. Grow up. <coughs> coof, coof. There's more like flesh sacks over that way. I'm gonna save my game before I like get murdered by something. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. A diamond. Wall of flames. Neat. I don't really need that spell because I have a better version of it, but it's good to have, I guess. Mmm, yummy. I love toxic fumes in my lungs. I can just hear that Daedra over there just like he's shouting at me. Can I help you? Hi. Look at your goofy ass helmet. Can I take it? I can in fact not take their goofy ass helmet. We don't have that one helmet by the way. Remember, we, we got that a couple of streams ago. When we did the Mayroon's Dagon quest, like to get Mayroon's Razor, we did get a really goofy, weird, like, Daedra mask like that, but then I had to reload my save and I, I, I didn't get it the second time through. Wonder if I'll get one again. Like, I, can you get that entire armor set? Probably, right? Maybe? It's not in the vanilla game, so. It's a like Creation Club shit. I wish they would make the gurgling sound that they make in Oblivion. I want to hear that again. I want to hear the fucking. Ah! Come here. Whoop. <laughs> mm, I'm so full of eating toxic fumes. Yum, yeah. Do I take damage if I stand on this? Of course I don't. Give me your grass. Wait, give me that. I can sell you. You're worth money. So what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> Am I gonna... <laughs> Hello? Am I gonna fight God? Yeah? That's a cool looking sword you got there, champ. You're hitting me with it really hard, it hurts. Bonk. Fucker. Go away. Torment is the name of that thing, yeah, is it now? Oh, look at it. It's cool looking. Hold on. Yeah? Burns for 30 damage. Is that better? That might be better than Gold Brand. If I upgrade it. Gold Brand also damages for 30 points of fire damage, so maybe? It's probably like turbo heavy, though, because it's Daedric. I don't know. You're telling me I can't fucking sit on this throne? Why did I even turn this game on then? What was the point of you playing this entire video game if not to sit on that throne when I found it? Alright, invisible wall. <laughs> can't go that way. Whee! Is Darkita sitting in it? No, okay, I was gonna say, like, no fucking way. Let's get schmoovin'. Please don't whip me. Am I gonna be able to go into one of these big ass towers? Can I get a sigil stone? 
and then never use it? Like, can I, can I, can I get a sigil stone to enchant my armor with, but never use it? See, what I really want is a shield spell. Remember those? Remember the shield spell from Oblivion? Like, that's what I used to, like, wear my own, like, whatever armor I wanted to. Like, didn't matter what the stats on the armor were, I would just put on the armor and then put a shield enchantment on it. And then it would block... I'm having a fucking conversation with myself, asshole. Don't fucking interrupt me. Come here. Okay, penis, check this shit out. Ready for this? Hold on. I like that shit. Ah? I love how bright that ice is. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking bright. Can I cool the lava down? No. Look at that yummy mac and cheese. Mm-mm. My insides are warm, and my life is short. Fucking pick up the grass. T touch, like literally touch grass. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do right now, please. <gasps> Yo, two amber, nice. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I know this probably isn't gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> hold on. Because <laughs> I had that furniture moving mod, right? Can I like... Okay, no, I was gonna say, can I like use a furniture mod to pick this up? But no, it's not registered in the database for that mod because it's not a base game thing. Damn it, could you imagine? Can you imagine if I could like take this shit home with me and put it in my house? How fucking funny that would be. Yeah, inside's warm, life short. Like, I might be dying and burning on the inside, but like, hey, at least I'm warm now from that lava. Now, where the hell do I go? What's my objective even right now? I killed the dude. Return the- I don't want to return the Tamriel. I entered the game, defeated the Dramora. I don't want to fucking leave yet, though. You, you- you can't just show that to me off in the distance and say, no, 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 you can't go in that. You fucking cuck. Like, excuse me. What if I just cheat? What if I- hold on, how about we do a little cheating, shall we? How about we- <laughs> How about we- uh huh. I j listen. I just want to go look at it. I know we can't go win it. I just want to look at it and pretend. All right. I, j I just want to fucking pretend to be happy. Come here. Come here, towers. Look at them. Aw, oh, look at them. This is just sadness. This is so sad. You can't go win them. I can pretend that I'm in an oblivion tower. I can, I can pretend I'm in here. I can pretend. Good. Also, yeah, you, you, so you forgot to check your pockets before you did your laundry today, yeah? Did you, did you like, lose your wallet in there or some shit? What happened? Find it kind of funny. Find it kind of sad. The dreams and wish I'm dying on the... But sorry. <laughs> Look at there. Okay, well, I guess we can't go into the tower. It's good enough, though. Yeah, did you put your wallet in there? Is that what happened? Your entire wallet. I can't believe it. You playing with your cat, by the way? Yeah, Bob's in there. Is he clawing your hand? My, my cat has been, like... Going insane all day today. Like he wants constant fucking attention. He's been, he's been like losing his mind. Am I in combat? <gasps> More things to kill. More things to do before I leave. Where where'd he go? There you are. Don't hide in the bush. This is Fortnite. Fuck off. <laughs> Did I go over here yet? Hold on. Koof, koof. Yeah, did anything in your wallet get ruined? Or is it like, is it just good still? Is that a mage light? More like fucking, I have a torch, jackass. Do I have one of them? I'll take it. I don't know if I have one of those back at the house or not. 
Really, you can almost touch this one. Ebony ore. Like, you can almost touch that one and you still can't access it. I'm so sad. Stop inhaling toxic fumes. <laughs> there we go. You had to throw on some business cards and a photocopy of your vaccine card, but you can replace those pretty quickly, eh? Well, good. It's not bad. I don't have, like, any cash. Like, I don't keep cash on me anymore. I haven't done that in years. Damn you. So I never gotta... Ooh, I never gotta worry, really, about a... What do you call it? I never got like, like I don't gotta like worry about like washing a bunch of fucking money in my wallet or some shit on accident. I ain't got no money in my wallet. Oh my shit's fucking digital. Yeah, play the Imagine Dragons music. Yeah, I'm breathing in the chemicals and whatnot. <laughs> ah, God, it hurts so much. The part of that song where he goes, it's so good. Really speaks to me. Wee. <coughs> coof, coof. Are you okay, dirt fucking felt like bar? Like <laughs> I've been breathing in too many chemicals. <coughs> I got that fucking song stuck in my head now. Not the one I was just singing, but the one prior to that. The fucking Mad World. <laughs> I got Mad World stuck in my head now. But what if I don't want to lose? The lose? Leave is what I meant to say. What if I don't want to leave? What if I just want to stay in hell forever? Can we pretend? For just a moment longer. He does a Woody Allen grunt? Wait, did that sound like Woody Allen to you? Also, you mean Tim Allen? Not Woody Allen? I went, ooh. What's happening? What? Hello? Oh. I thought the Vigilance of Stendhal were attacking me. I was like, excuse me. Give me. But no, the part of that fucking radioactive song where he goes like, Bruh. no, Tim Allen goes, this is the difference, you see. Oh, I just got vaporized. <laughs> oh shit. Hold on, I'm here to help you. Yeah, Woody Allen, you know, from Home Improvement. <laughs> ja. And then Tim Allen from hit movie Wild Hogs. Wait, wasn't it? Wait, was Tim Allen in that were, were Woody Allen and Tim Allen both in Wild Hogs? I can't remember now. I'm trying not to, asshole. Hey, if you fuckers close this oblivion portal, by the way, I will kill all of you with my bare hands. You keep this shit open forever. <laughs> I want to come back here when I'm bored. There we go. You don't keep a wallet in your pants because women's clothing is a scam, yeah? You ain't got no pockets? I have a pair of pants that has the tiniest fuck. I hate them. Like, I have this one pair of pants. It just, I don't know what the deal is. I hate it. It's, it, it's, the, the fucking pockets are so goddamn tight and tiny. It's like, why do people make these? Like, who makes this shit? Oh. I <laughs> said you want me to make a Tim Allen redeemable, yeah? Walk always in the light. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there's still more Mythic Dawn people here? Shit. Yeah. Oh, well. Must have run off. You just help me. The mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Okay. Walk always in the light. <laughs> we will drag you to it. Uh. The revolt. Look, listen, I know she didn't say that, but those Vigilant Distender people have a two voice lines. Anyways, get the hell out of here, shall we? And is that the end of the quest? Is there gonna be more to this one? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Wherever I'm... the Daedra hide, 
The vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Uh-huh, I'm glad you guys settled in real quick, yeah? Wait, what's- did I go in here yet? Oh yeah, I went in here, okay. Well, this place is full of vigilance of Stendar now. I guess maybe the portal's gonna stay open? I have no idea. That's neat, though. You got Mel Brooks and Mel Gibson mixed up once, too, yeah? That, ooh. That's a, that's, a, that's a big old switcheroo there. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite the switcheroo there. Uh. You did end up with some two new pairs of pants recently, though, that fit you and they're super comfortable and they got big old pockets. Well, good. I need more pants. I have, like, two pairs of pants. I need more. Hello there. Walk always in the light. Walk always in the light. Walk. Walk always in the light. I'm sorry, I'm stopped now. <laughs> Again, I can't help myself. When the NPCs like repeat the same fucking three lines of dialogue, it just it just it comes out of me. You got a parking ticket from August 25th. Yeah? That, that, that's about a year old there. Oh, you mean in your pockets. From when you want... Oh, yeah, sorry. I, th I, th I thought you just like randomly brought that up for no reason. I'm like, yeah? <laughs> but no, you mean... Okay. Gotcha. Is it going to random... Oh, apparently I failed to read Vanos' journal? I completely forgot to even do that. Do I still have the journal on me? Yeah. All right, I guess I'll do this then. <laughs> the voice of Merun's Dagon permeates my dreams. At first it was a whisper, but it has become the roar inside my skull. The seeds of strife and violence plague this land, the soil enriched by my blood of battle. Tamriel will soon be ripe again for the taking, for my vengeance is at hand, the voice says to me. I must heed his voice. What must I do, my lord? I've spent countless hours, countless days in prayer to Dagon, and I've heard nothing. I finally took a rest and had another dream. Dreams of fire, of smoke, of heat upon heat. I was descending into a cavern further and further down. The heat began to cook and blister my skin. It smelled rather nice, actually. It was very... You want some? I saved some. I put it in a bag. You want to try my skin? But I kept moving. Ever downward, fire and smoke, heat and rock, and then I saw it. The very mouth of Dagon. An oblivion gate. The blinding flash, I began to have visions of Akatars, visions of dragons. What could be the meaning of this? I awoke, covered in sweat, pissed in my pants, and with a deep sense of purpose, I felt drawn eastward. I must heed the call. Dagon's voice has led me to a cavern deep within the Velothy Mountains. His whisperers, wh whisperers, worshippers, fuck. His worshippers used to gather here. I feel their presence, I feel his power. An oblivion gate is buried here, I can feel it. It is my destiny to reach it. I will spend night and day with a pickaxe in hand as it's freed from his prison of stone. I sound like the witches in Dark Souls 2, do I? Yeah, is that what I sound like right now? <laughs> I sound like the witches from the Dark Souls 2 intro? Great. For nearly two months, I've toiled digging deeper and deeper, stopping only to rest, stone by stone, itching ever closer to my destiny, ever closer to the fires of oblivion. Others have begun to feed the Dagon's call, and I have found their way here to me. To our lord, we are the high priests of the new order, the chosen few, who are attuned to his will. As we traverse deeper, the remnants of an ancient mythic dawn temple will reveal like diamond from the rock. Priest, but by this? Vitus, I sound like somebody's pissing directly into my ass. Is that what I sound like right now? Yeah? Good. Priest Vitus was the first fucking Christ, was the first to discover the gate. Gate stone, rather. My ecstasy was short lived, however, when I found that, like every other gate, it had been destroyed. Still, I could feel its power like heat against my skin. Many other pieces like this are scattered throughout the lands of Skyrim, buried deep. Lost the time. We shall find them. We'll open the jaws of oblivion. Once again. Good. I'll die and lose all my soups. Y you mean, yeah, you mean souls? I'm gonna die and lose all my souls, you mean? Not my soups? <laughs> yeah, you, you lose all your soup. Visions of dragons clouded by dreams once more. Images of Martin Septim. An Akatosh that make my blood burn with anger and vengeance. 
You all remember Oblivion? Black wings unfurling against the red sky. I do not yet understand the meaning of these visions, but Tagon's hatred is becoming a burning coal in the pit of my stomach. This voice is becoming a burning coal in the pit of my fucking throat, driving me ever forward. Over the last several months, we have searched the deepest reaches of Skyrim, and I have retrieved enough remnants of the various shattered oblivion gates to make one whole again. Its very presence inspires awe and reverence. A pact must now be made. Dagon requires that each of us offer a personal sacrifice, a blood offering, the proof of dedication. I gave him my pinky, with each soul cast into the fires of oblivion. His power grows. The liminal barrier is weak here, and the turmoil and the conflict boiling in the lands only weakens it further. I must now summon a dim, a Jamora lord to acquire a sigil stone and find a way to open the gate. I have performed the rites as dictated in the liminal bridges and successfully penetrated the barrier into the realm of oblivion, but my attempts to use the gate as a vessel of transliminal attunement have failed. The portal of oblivion is thin and temporary, as one might expect. I have smelled the sweet sulfur of the deadlands, but only for a fleeting moment of time. I've studied all there is to know of the Mysterium Zoxies. I've been to Dawnstar on countless occasions to observe this last remaining page, yet the necessary peace has remained a mystery. As I pray to Dagon for guidance and confer to his remora, I understand now that the Sigil Stone is simply not powerful enough on its own. Something stronger must be required to open the gate, but what kind of artifact could hold such power? I've dispatched the most loyal of my disciples to our corners of Tabriel to search for any artifact of source of power worthy of becoming the key to oblivion. I must remain patient and trust Dagon's will. I'm gonna keep writing in my fucking journal to make whoever's reading this have a horrible time. I have received word from my scouts of a great welkin stone that may be hidden within rail, an ancient ra how do you fuck is it rail? <laughs> how the hell is fucking how the fuck did I pronounce it earlier? R real? Rally? Whatever, fuck you. What the, what, what the hell was that? I lost my page now. Where the fuck am I? Where am I? Did I just go to a different page on accident? Where am I? There it is. I turned the page on accident. An, alien, an ancient alien ruin. Could this be the source of power needed to open the gate? It very well may be. How delicious the irony an object was used against Dagon becoming the very thing that unleashes this power back into the mortal realm. I like how Dagon didn't do shit, by the way. Like, the fucking gate opened and nothing happened. Like, <laughs> the gate opened and I stood there and then I walked in, beat the fuck out of his kids and then took their horse and walked out. Like, <laughs> like Dagon didn't do shit when, I, when that gate opened. Whatever. My scouts are working diligently to uncover any further information they can. And as I continue to pray to Dagon for guidance, his voice says to me, Patience. All shall be revealed in time. Curse the visual of Stendhal, they have blocked the pale pass through the Jarrow Mountains, making access a rare and impossibility. Ah, we cannot risk exposing our plans, we must find another way. If we cannot make our way into Cyrodiil by roll, we will do so by force directly to the mountains. We've done it once to get to the sacred place, and we shall do it again. And dispatch the team to begin excavation immediately. Good. Fevered visions haunt my dreams once more, and as the time draws near, I now understand what must be done. The Dragonborn prophecy foretold the chosen one who will come forth. Their blood and soul blessed by Akatosh himself, the Dovahkiin. The time moon will open, and Alduin, world leader, shall also return. Though both are fragments of Akatosh's soul, these two will wage war against one another, and as children of Akatosh, they will reap the vengeance of Maidun's Dagon. But pain and suffering nor death will satisfy, only the ultimate betrayal was sacrificed. To open the Oblivion Gate, a ritual of the highest order must be carefully designed. An artifact of untold power must be corrupted, a great sacrifice made, and above all, the Dragonborn must become the unwitting instrument of Dagon's will. I will become the sacrifice, the final step, and as the Dovahkiin takes my life with blade in hand and great welkin in the other, they will complete the ritual and become the very key to opening the gate. Yeah, a lot of fucking good that did. A lot of good your fucking plan did, penis. The ultimate betrayal will shatter the liminal barrier, opening the Oblivion Gate and giving Dagon a foothold into the mortal realm where he rebuilds his armies. Also, what fucking... What, what do you mean ultimate betrayal? I didn't even know you. <laughs> that was, like, I was just killing you. Like, I don't know who you are. I didn't know you. I just murdered you. I, I just fucking murdered you. 
the ultimate betrayal, blah, 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 and you read this, okay, good. It is a divine plan beyond anything I could comprehend, I could have comprehended. The world will be bathed in the fires of oblivion, and the blood of mortals will be known. Sorry, fuck, will be on the hands of Akatosh. None will be made aware of this plan. It's too fragile, too perfect. It has begun. All the witness returned. Scorville will be missing for several days after witnessing his brother being sacrificed. His spirit broke and he deserted the order, just as I planned. He will seek out the Dragon Ball for help. And once his role has been fulfilled, he will be slaughtered. Uh-huh. The Dragon Ball and their arrogance will continue to be the embodiment of ambition. But to Dagon's pleasure, they will no doubt seek to obtain the Great Welkin Stone. They will then return it to me, and they will do the final act, and the ritual will begin. Priestess, and a, and a fuck, and a cane? What the fuck is her name again? Steven! How do you fucking spell her name? That's stupid! And the priestess, and a cane, has been taken captive by the visual of Stendar, but she too serves a greater purpose. Her spirit will not break, but she will lead the visual. Where they need to be aid the Dragonborn. Where they will utterly fail. The Dover King will succeed. Their success will be short-lived. The Sizzle Stone has been destroyed, ensuring the gate will remain open. Moreover, two of Dagon's Ramona Val... Val I, I, I have played so much of Oblivion, I don't know how to fucking pronounce this word. Is, is it like Val... Val... Valknez? How do you... <laughs> I never know how to fucking pronounce that word. Whatever. Dremor, Valkans, Gatanas, and Meth... Meth... Mentats are waiting in the Deadlands to lead the assault. They are the heralds of a coming seed. Through their works, we will unleash a scourge of torment upon the Lord's enemies. <sighs> the dawn is breaking. God. Fucking write a book about it, asshole. Hello. Hi. Wherever the Daedra hides, okay. <laughs> the visual of will cast them into the Good. Anyway, I want to check out my new fancy... Oh, cool camera. I want to see our new fancy demon horse, yeah? Now, if I use a demon horse, is that going to, like, re fucking, what do you call it? Is that going to replace our current horse? <laughs> like, is this horse going to go away if I summon the demon horse? Look at it. Look at this cool-ass demon horse. So, are you going away? No? Okay, so I don't think this counts as, like, an actual horse. <gasps> it's got little footy prints. Look at it. <gasps> I can draw a wiener. I can draw a wiener with the horse weight. Oh my god. Like a chode, anyway. I can draw a chode. Ah, oh, it goes away too quickly. I can't. <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. I gotta draw a smaller penis. Eh. Come on, there's the ball sack, please. I can. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of draw a little tiny chode, maybe. <laughs> Whatever. Demon horse. That quest was fun, though. I enjoyed that quite a bit. That was a good quest. That was a very fun one. I liked it a lot. It was like actually like a like a decently sized quest too. It was good. It wasn't like just like two seconds and it was gone. You know, it was like an actual like good. We did a whole bunch of shit. Should we like check out? Maybe, let's check out this fucking place while we're here too. One night. It's like right here. Let's hop in here. I have one, I have another quest that I want to do tonight too. But let's let's go do this first. Yeah, whatever this is. There's a quest in Riften that I want to do. Champion's rest. It's a <laughs> it's a horse drawn wiener, yeah. Is that like a horse drawn carriage? It's a horse drawn wiener, yeah. Great. Oh, for Christ's sake. Save my game. Yeah, I gotta keep these here. Uh, and I can delete that one. I gotta keep that one for thumbnails, and I gotta keep that one for a thumbnail, probably. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Okay, I can delete that one, go away. But yeah, I'll keep these two for thumbnail purposes. Neat, neat. Wait, did I save even? Did I just not even save? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even save, I'm a dumbass, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Let's check out Champion's Rest. Hopefully there isn't a quest that I have to do that brings me here later, otherwise, whoops. Holy shit, my coffee is so cold now. My coffee turns into fucking iced coffee. It's been sitting here so long, and like it's very cold in my room. Like the wind is blowing outside, and it's going right through my goddamn door. My door, my window. Like it is just seeping through my window, and it's making my room real cold. Ah. 
You gonna go cook something? Go ahead, I'll wait. You wanna? <laughs> there ain't no fire on the Thunderkitas. You ain't cooking. Here, you want me to light the? Hold on, here. I'll help you light the fire. Give me a moment. All right, stand still. Don't move. Hold on. There you go, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Come on, keep cooking. What are you doing? Come on, keep cooking. No? I, I lit the fire for you. Is it too hot? Listen, soup's gotta be hot. Yeah, thank you for clipping horse-drawn wiener. That's, <laughs> that, that, that clip isn't for me, that clip is for the chat member. <laughs> the chat member made the funny joke. Anyway, vigilance report. Oh. Okay, I guess we're doing more vigilance to send our shit? Investigate the dark presence in Champion's Rest. Hi. Castapia Sagnus, Vigilance of Stendar, do hereby issue this report on my investigation to the reports of a dark presence, quote unquote, within Champion's Rest. Champion's Rest is the site of an ancient battle arena where Nords would test their mental and gladiatorial combat. Long believed to be the lost of time, it was recently uncovered by mining prospectors near Shore's Stone after discovering a new deposit of silver. Upon discovery, the miners say they witnessed a ghost clad head to Tobin armor, and by their words, not mine. While this alone was cause for concern, what they said next was even more foreboding. The spirit wielded a massive blade which seemed to whisper to them in their minds. This hints at the workings of a powerful dangerous artifact. Yeah, is this guy a piano? Who, what, what, the Castapis? Yeah, is, he a, <laughs> is Castapia saying this a piano? Maybe. Uh, the only relic that matches this description is Umbra. Oh, Umbra. You guys remember fucking Umbra? It was Umbra. What's well, believed to be lost or by some accounts destroyed. Umbra is a sentient weapon who corrupts its bearer and compels him to kill so that the blade may feast on the souls that it slays. It appears to have resurfaced here, though I, though why I cannot say. If the apparition that haunts this site truly is the resurgence of Umbra, then it has grown very powerful. And sure stone is in grave danger. Good. Now, I'm assuming Umbra is going to be a two-handed weapon, though. Which, I, that could be good, though. Because, like, tip, in, in most Elder Scrolls games, Umbra is typically a two-handed weapon, but in Oblivion, for some reason, it was one-handed. So I'm assuming, like, normally I would prefer it to be a one-handed weapon, but in this case, maybe I would like it to be two-handed, because I gotta get my two-handed skill level up, and what better weapon to do it with than fucking Umbra? <laughs> maybe? Because then we can use both of them, because in Oblivion, I used Umbra for a little bit, and then I eventually replaced it with Goldbrand, and now we already have Goldbrand, so, like... Maybe we'll be able to keep Umbra, and I'll like, actually make use out of it. Because it'll be a two-handed weapon. Give me the mushroom. Mushroom! Umbra. Umbra Thurman. That reminded me of Punga. Umbra Ponga. Ponga fruit. I trade you my Ponga for your Umbra. Hello? Can I go in there? No. Okay. Are there any cool like? Cause I want to get my other stat, my other spells up, like my. Like, is there like any cool spells I could be using in combat to like make I mean, iron flesh? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe iron flesh. What's like a fun like alteration? Well, no, alteration. I don't really gotta worry about leveling up, cause I, I'm gonna be able to like automatically make it level 100 <laughs> once I get telekinesis. So I don't care. Illusion. Become invisible? What's, what's like a cool fucking illusion spell I can use in combat? I mean, courage, but... Sure. Conjuration, restoration, yeah. I, sure, I'll just cast courage more often on fucking Durkitas, I guess. Again, I, I really need to check the court wizards. I, I need to get better spells. I bought most of these spells when I was like super low level. <laughs> unbeatable. You are unbeatable, champ. Oh, uh, hello? Uh, oh! <gasps> Wait, they had ebony armor on! You know who else had ebony armor on? Y y y anybody, you guys remember? Anybody remember who else had ebony armor on? And it, it, it was evolved with Umbra? Gimme. Fuck. This entire stream has been, hey, remember Oblivion? <laughs> like, like the previous stream and this stream. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. 
Wow, there was nine gold in there. Awesome. Also, these are the lowest hanging. <laughs> Look how low these are. Look at them. Oh, they're so low. Why? Is that normal? That looks really weird. I feel like they should be higher up in the air. Oh, well. The Umbra Sword is a Daedric artifact designed with the sole purpose of entrapment of souls. Sometime before 2E 582, the ancient witch Nainra Ware created the sword at the request of Clavicus Vile, who wanted the sword as a tool of mischief, which would send him souls from the mortal realm. Clavicus Vile sucks, though. The soul purpose. <laughs> yeah, you get it? Yeah. It's soul purpose was to entrap souls? Yeah, you, you, you're very funny. You're very funny. This is a spooky room. What in the Sam Hill am I looking at? Hmm. Okay. Y'all ever eat the blue fire? Why is that fire blue? What's going on? It is blue, right? It's not purple. <laughs> it's not purple, right? I fucking hope not. So where the hell do I go? Uh. Oh, down there, I'm blind. It's a soul. It's sole purpose because it's also a shoe. Yeah, the, the soul of the shoe. It's a. It's it's a soul of the shoe that seals souls. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you fucking yeah sure it's blue me. Is it fucking blue or purple? I can't fucking tell colors apart. Listen. Shit's hard. Wait, I can open this? Oh shit. <laughs> Actual literal grave robbing? Hell yeah. <gasps> oh, it's a secret. Hello! <laughs> hey, it has been so, so, so long since I've seen a person. I honestly didn't think you'd come in here. I didn't think anyone was gonna come in here. What are you doing? Hey! Hey, fuck, fuck, hey, knock it off! Stop it! What are you- No, stop it! Hey, hey, you! No! Don't, don't you dare! Yeah, that's right, leave my fucking armor there. I'm not, I don't want your armor, it's too fucking heavy. It's shit anyway, my armor's better. Can I open these sarcophaguses too? No, okay, I just wanna double check. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a British explorer. Or just an explorer in general. Can I help you? Ah. Bonk. Can you fucking... Come here. <laughs> Show me your face. Uh, this is spooky. Yeah, I I'm gassing up Turkitas, yeah. I'm filling him with the confidence that he needs. It's a whale, snake, snake, right? Now, do I have to mirror it, or is it gonna be like, do I want this to be whale? It's like whale, whale, snake, snake? Whale, snake, snake, motherfucker. Whale, snake, snake, goddamn, goddamn. Is that gonna work? Okay, it did work, nice. <gasps> Blue. Look at the blue. See, is it blue? <laughs> okay, I guess we're not going back that way. It is blue. Thank you. Because, like, it could be purple. Because, like, Umbra's... The whole, like, Umbra thing is, like, purple. Umbra's like a sword. It's got, it's got all the purpley stuff with it. Okay, come on, Durkitas, it's your turn. Durkitas. Here, take your take your Flintstones vitamin. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel better now. Uh So is there gonna be another open Yeah, okay, that's open now, nice. Go go back to bed. Go back to bed. Shush. Don't hit me. No. Oh, can I hit you with this? What does that happen if I hit you with it? Resisted. You resisted my courage? How dare you not accept that? That was a gift. That was a gift to you. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna heal. Where's my healy? 
Where's my heal boy? Heal? Like, here, do this. I don't need to heal. I will simply just kill you. Oh. Oh, they're now all heal. Maybe. If I can fucking find it. There. Also, my sword is currently running out of batteries. I need to pop a new one in there. Boop. There we go. By Azuda, by Azuda, by Azuda. Have I mentioned before that I've never used enchanted weapons in this game, by the way? This is like the, my first playthrough of this game I've ever done where I'm actually using enchanted weapons. I typically don't do that. But boy howdy, is it good. It does so much more fucking damage. Again, just like when I played Oblivion. Remember when I, I, I played Oblivion, I had the same issue. Like, I never used enchanted weapons in Oblivion either. And like, holy shit. <laughs> They're so good. They do so much more fucking damage. I just was put off by it because of the whole having to, like, you know, constantly recharge your weapon. It's not as bad in this game, thankfully. It's fucking horrible in Oblivion, but... Like, you have to recharge your sword, like, every two seconds in that game. Thankfully, it's not too bad in this one. Do, do, do. When's the last time I, I, I cast Chain Lightning? I use all these spells on here, excuse me. I use every one of these damn spells, just sometimes. <laughs> like, I very, I mean, Stone Flesh can get the fuck off there probably, but listen, I use all my spells. Chain Lightning is fun. I use that when I'm at like long range and I don't want to use my Explody Bolt because I don't want to like shake stuff up. I don't want to like knock stuff loose with my Explosion Bolt, so I use Chain Lightning instead. Oh, so you're gonna, you, 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 oh, you want to stay awake until 420? I mean, you still got like, like 40 minutes. If you gotta sleep, then you gotta sleep. However, feel free to stay awake. I'm not your mom. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do. But yeah, 420 is coming. It'll be a bit though, sadly. That's whale, right? That last one is whale? I think? Yeah. So it's fucking snake. Yeah, uh, where's the touchy? There's the touchy. Touch. Hey yo. Let me out. Oh yeah, no, I had an enchanted bow when I played Oblivion. I had a, I had my, it was an amber bow that I put, it did 10 points of fire, 10 points of electricity, and 10 points of frost on the bow, and that thing had to recharge constantly. It was annoying. Hello. Is that Marcus Phoenix? Oh! oh. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Can I please stand up? Oh god, help. Ow. Oh, my bones are in pain. What's attacking? Oh, the ice rays? What do you mean, ice rays? Alright. Alright, fucker. Alright, fucker. Hold on. What am I going on here? Check this shit. You ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> what good does that do me? Well, I guess I got, I got a couple hits in with my slow time. No, he didn't like that joke. Or maybe it was Marcus Phoenix. Maybe he shouted at me. Or maybe it wasn't. Mar maybe it was like Dom instead. Maybe it was Dom. Maybe it was like yelling about his wife. He like screamed at me. You know my favorite three. <laughs> my favorite three word shout. Where's my wife? <laughs> Fucking come here. Die. Oh, you healing yourself, buddy? Okay, I was just about to heal you. God, look at your glowy ass eyeballs. You're terrifying. Finish this. Duff. Owned. There you go. Good, good, good. 
Yeah, the where's my wife shout knocks everybody down. It immediately downs everybody around you, and then you go and curb stomp them all while they're laying on the ground. Uh, now what the fuck do I do, though? This still isn't open, yeah? I lit all the... the, the oh, this opens now, right? Okay, there we go. Sorry, I didn't see that. Two of them. The braziers. How do you fucking pronounce it? Is it brazier? I never fucking... Yeah. The fire. <laughs> the, the fires are lit. It's fine, Drakitis. Oh, what the hell is that thing? What in the fucking name of all that is... Hello? Do you work here? Hi. No, it's just like a dragon priest. Oh, yeah. Oh, Draugr priest, excuse me. Let me take a little sip here really quick. Oh. I, I, yeah, I can see what's happening. You see something, Durkitas? What are you doing? What are you sprinting at? There ain't nothing. There ain't none yet in there. Orcish bow of Torpor. Orcish bow of Torbjorn. I have a feeling there's going to be trouble, he says. Immediately kills a weird demon creature and then starts humming. Oh, here we go. We're still going down? Hole. Okay. Fugma. Mushroom. Wee. <laughs> right, it shattered my legs. <laughs> I got water in my boots. Champions Rest Amphitheater. Whenever I hear the word amphitheater, I think of Turok Rage Wars, funnily enough. Because that was like the first time I ever heard that word as a kid. Because there's a level in Turok Rage Wars called Amphitheater, and it was like a boss fight stage. It was like a boss fight level, so whenever. And that's like my first. That was like my first exposure to that word. So I still, to this day, think of Turok fucking Rage Wars when I read the word Amphitheater. Was that the stage where you fought the two bosses at once? I can't remember their names. It was like the one lady and the big guy, like you fought them simultaneously? I can't remember. I haven't played Turok Rage Wars in fucking ages. That's the game that's broken. Like you can't beat that game at co-op. It like it just literally does not work. It was bugged and they, you actually had to send it back to the manufacturer. And they would they would replace it with a working copy. And that's why if you ever, because like Turok Rage Wars had a black cartridge for the N64. It was a black cartridge game, but uh, when they sent it, when you had to send it back to like get it fixed or whatever, they would send you back a gray cartridge version, and those are super duper rare, and they cost a gorillion dollars if you want to buy one on eBay. <laughs> Literally, just to have like a working copy of the game, because like barely anybody sent it back, like barely any people like, actually sent the game back to have it fixed. It's only co-op that's broken too. Like you can play the game normally fine in like single player, but like if you want to play the game co-op, you just can't beat the final. You can't get to the. You can't beat it. Because one of the stages or game modes rather just doesn't work in co-op, and you are forced to play said game mode to complete the like like the co-op storyline thing. Can you fucking move? I'm trying to shoot your owner, your friendo behind you. Umbra was made for Daedra and not by Daedra, so it's technically not a Daedric artifact. That's true. I don't believe it counts towards the Daedric artifact quest in Oblivion, does it? Pretty sure it doesn't, anyway. Baked potatoes, some soup. Soup! <laughs> was there any N64 games that had pink cartridges? I'm just trying to think of like goofy colored cartridges because there was a like black, there was a couple of black cartridges. There was like yellow ones, obviously. DK64 was the yellow cartridge. I know I've seen a blue one before. I can't remember what game has a blue cartridge, but I know damn well it was, I think it was like a hockey game or I don't know. Some, some game has a blue cartridge. 
a red cartridge exist, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. I got a golden cartridge for Zelda. Can you fucking die? Yeah. Give me. Oh, it does count. Wait, so the Umbra, it, the Umbra does quit? God, I can't fucking speak. The Umbra, so getting Umbra does count for the achievement. But it tracks completing the quest as not getting the artifact. That's weird. Okay, on. Spider-Man has a red cartridge? Yeah? <laughs> Crazy. Who'd have thought? Dread zombie. I have only ever played two Spider-Man games. I played one a long time ago on the PS2? I think two PS1 maybe? It might have been the PS2, I can't remember, but like a long time ago. Probably a PS2 game. I played a Spider-Man game and I remember my experience with that game was uh, I was playing it at a friend's house. Well, friend, I don't know, kind of friend? I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> it, 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 it was like sort of a friend, it was like a new friend of mine, so we didn't really know each other that much. At the time, but uh, but I was over at their house playing fucking Spider Man, some Spider Man game on the PS2, where I was like playing the game like normal, and then fucking maybe it was PS1. We were both really young when it happened, but I was like playing the game like normal, and then I got to a part where it was like semi free roam, where I could like swing around the city, but there was like no floor, like you you like you couldn't go down to the street level, like you just swung above the buildings. And you grappled onto nothing. Like you, you could just like shoot your webs into the sky and you could like swing indefinitely like on nothing and like you never landed on that street level. You were just going from building to building. And I remember I was having fun doing that. I was swinging around, just running around aimlessly. And like my, my friend got like mad at me. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking running around. They were like, go play the game. And I'm like, I, I, I am playing the game though. I want, I want to swing around in my road. I, I was like, I'm having fun swinging around on my rope. <laughs> He's like, well, go to the objective. I'm not going to want to. <laughs> I'm like, I'm having fun. And then he turned the game off. I was just like, oh, okay. He was like, if you're not going to play the game, then you can't play it. And I'm just like, okay. That was the last time I went to that guy's house. And then the only other Spider-Man game I ever played was one of the Xbox One. I like it's called like, like Ultimate Spider-Man is it called? I don't remember. Something like that. I have it on my Xbox. I had something similar like that happen too when I was younger, where I was playing a fucking I don't remember what game was it. It was like some Star Wars game. Where the fuck am I going by the way? <laughs> I'm just like aimlessly talking about shit while I'm doing this. It was some Star Wars game on the original Xbox. I was at my cousin's house, like when I was like again, like a little kid, like years and years ago. There was this part I was playing where I was playing as Mace Windu, and I was just like, you know, murdering fucking battle droids and shit. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet. Is this, oh, that's where I came from. I'm a dumbass. I was just, I was just like, running around murdering droids and all that yada yada. Killing droids and shit, and I got to a part where I had to like destroy the little facility that was building them. There was like a, there was a thing that was making infinitely respawning droids, and of course, you know, dumb kid me was like, well, if I don't destroy the machine, then I can just keep fighting robots forever. <laughs> it was not Star Wars Battlefront, no. At least I don't think it was. No, you can't play as Mace Windu in that game, can you? I don't know. It, it, it was like a, it was like a story-based, like structured game, where you just played as like one character at a time on each stage. So I don't think it was Star Wars Battlefront, no. But I, but I was like, you know, dumb little kid. Me, like, well, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to break the machine. I want to sit here and fight robots. And I sat there and did that for quite a while. And like, my one of my cousin, two of my cousins came in and were like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm playing the game. I'm Mace Windu. And they're like, "Okay, we'll destroy the machine." And I'm like, "Well, I don't, I don't want to." <laughs> they're like, "What do you mean?" They're like, this, "You have to destroy the machine to beat the level." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm having fun fighting the robots." And then they were like, oh, okay, I, I guess you should probably just destroy the machine, though. And then I did, and I was sad. Because I was like, but I wanted to keep breaking the robots. <laughs> that was funner. And then I turned the game off. I turned it off that time. Because I, I, like, felt dumb. I'm like, why are they being, I was like, why are they being mean to me? Like, why are they being mean? Because I'm not fucking, hit, I, I don't want, I just want to play the game. There we go. Do I want this? Why is there, like, a broken sword handle here? 
You can play as him in Battlefront 2, yeah. Pretty sure you could, yeah. But no, it wasn't a Battlefront game, though. I don't remember what the hell it was. I don't know, people have been stifling my gaming abilities for years. It's, it's just such a sad state of affairs. Coins. Bone meal. I'm over in Calvert. Do you keep this? Can you carry? Our These fat nuts here. Something. Yes. Oh, it doesn't help that I'm carrying a 25 pound set of horse armor in my inventory currently. That would have been nice to know fucking ages ago. Here you go. Leap. Let's, uh. Let's leave this back here really quick, shall we? Yeah, let's, just, let's leave these here for the Draugr. They can have it. They, they, <laughs> they can I'll keep follow. this. I've already got one of these back in the house. I don't need this. Go away. Why is it that I don't quick save? Because I just don't. Also, like, quick saves didn't fucking exist on console, did they? I'm pretty sure they didn't. Like, on, like, Fallout 3 and New Vegas and Fallout... Or, sorry, like, Skyrim and Oblivion. They didn't have quick saving on console when I was younger. Playing them on 360 and shit, so I just never quick saved. And then when I have the ability to do it now on PC, I just don't. Also, can't quick saves be, like, turbo buggy in Skyrim? Like, can't you, like, abuse quick saves to, like, do some dumb shit? Because, like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't do, like, a proper, like, reload? Or whatever? Like, doesn't it, like, not properly reload the area? When you do a quick save so you can, like, you can, like, manipulate shit and, like, do stuff you're not supposed to? Because it'll, like, remember you doing a thing, but it will also, like, not... This is a big fucking... What, what the hell? <laughs> Look at the size of this shit. That's also part of the reason why I don't do quick save, because I'm afraid, like, I'm gonna quick save and then, like, reload it and then it's gonna, like, not properly load and then it's like, well... Now my save is fucked up. Hello. Hi. Are you Umbra? Oh shit. What is this music? <laughs> my weapon has no effect. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. What is this fucking music? Grr. What are you doing? Oh. Uh. Where's my shooty McDooty thing? Oh, it's like Oblivion music. It's like a fucking like a new the new version of an Oblivion song. Can I have that? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful. You're in my way. Did I hurt you? <gasps> you're you're corporeal now. Die. You two are talking shit to each other. I'm trying to heal you. Here. You don't trust quick saves in any game? Yeah, me either. I never do them. What the hell is happening? Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we'll get the bitrate destroyer. I need my hiss skin. Yeah, you summoned your fucking asshole friends. Here, Drakitas. Take your Flintstone vitamin. I missed. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Ow. You have you. Where'd the music go? <laughs> Did it just fuck off? No, ow, ow, I can't move. What you doing, champ? Never should have come here. Please stop beating up my friend. Fuck you. God, you're fucking going sicko mode, dude. Uh -huh, summon your friends. And I may still show mercy. <laughs> okay, ow. What the fuck did your friend you come here, you fucker? Yeah, I think you're cool. Got a big old sword. Sorry, it's a hammer. It's hammer? It's an axe. I know words. Come here, you fucking piece of shit. You okay down there to keep this? You having fun? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he's doing fine. He's holding his own. 
He's fighting like one guy though. Ooh, yeah, let me let me chug some some, some potions real quick, shall I? Where are they at? Mmm, yummy. No, give me the thing. I gotta heal. I win. I win. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, okay. It's gone. Can I pick that up now? All right. Umbra. Got a key. Got some arrows. Just some... Okay. It's just generic ebony armor. I was assuming it was going to be like Umbra ebony armor or some shit. <gasps> and there it is. And there it is. It does shit damage because my two-handed skill is garbage, but... <laughs> oh, it also absorbs HP. Ooh. Neat. Hello, Umbra. You're like bigger than you were in Oblivion for some reason, yeah? You're now two-handed. You're a big old two-handed sword. Good. That's a good enchantment? Yeah, it's pretty good. It heals you and shit. You can keep doing power attacks with it probably because it'll get your stamina back every time you hit somebody. Seems like a pretty dope fucking sword. How much does it weigh? Like, it doesn't do as much damage as a Nerve Shatter does. It's 37. It's a 30. But also, you know, it's sword versus hammer, so obviously it's going to do less damage. Maybe I use it? Maybe I keep it? I don't know. I would like to have a cool... I, I prefer to have a two-handed sword over a two-handed fucking hammer, but... Oh, I'm glad I popped in there. I like how that was right by the other cave, too. Like, the cave that we just did. <laughs> the fucking Oblivion Gate quest, like, right next to it, there's an Umbra quest in the other cave. It's like, I'll yeah. Need me to carry something. It's like, y'all just fucking put these all in the same little room, didn't you? Bethesda was like, fuck, I don't know. Just put it in here. Just put, just put all the Creation Club stuff in this one room. Nice. Let's tread softly. You got it. So which direction? I came in from that way, yeah? I did, okay. <laughs> I like the ghost arrow is still there. Can I level up right now? No. Can I put some batteries in my stuff? Yes, you can. Here. Nice. Time for the Repton quest? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna go do that now that we're done here. We'll head to Riften and do that one quest that I missed when we were doing... Because we did like a whole fucking segment about Riften and the Rift and I just missed that quest there apparently on accident. It's a real good quest where you get a cool reward. And I just didn't do it. And you know what? Depending on how long that takes too since we're on the... You know, still we're doing all this Oblivion fucking shit. Might as well... <laughs> Since we're doing all this oblivion shit, I mean, we could just go do the Grey Cow with the Nocturnal while we're at it. Why the fuck not? Depending on how long it takes, anyway, you know. It is getting kind of late already. It's already, it's already, I've only been live for four hours, but it's already midnight because I started the stream like an hour late. So apologies for, you gotta wait extra long for 420 tonight. So sorry. 420 is coming late. Compared to how we usually do it. What's that book I just got? I want to read it. Nice. Also, Durkitas, can you like... Here. No, don't go cooking yet, buddy. Don't, don't, don't cook. To oblivion and back. Yeah. Need, need to carry something? Mm-hmm. Carry these staffs for me. Staves? Staves. Staves. Lead, I'll follow. Weed. Treasure Hunter Journal. What is this? The Journal of Crestius, Treasure Hunter. Yeah? Well, I've never been much for writing journals, but it couldn't hurt to start. How else are my exports going to be remembered? I've yet to reach a personal bar level of fortune. By way of introduction, my name is Crestius. I've traveled north from Cyrodiil to seek my fortune in Skyrim by delving for forgotten depths and wooing women. While I haven't had much luck with the latter, I've heard tales of an ancient arena whose whereabouts have, up until now, remained a mystery. 
While the original name was lost in time, Champions Rest is what's known as today. I can see it now. Halls upon halls glittering with gold and jewels. That's not what happened. He was probably very disappointed when he got here. Maybe there was a bunch of fucking money here and this piece of shit took it from me before I got here. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe there was tons of gold here. Maps in the Imperial Library place. Champions rest east of the village of Shore Stone. I'll set out for the eastern mountains at dawn. Short entry today. Day's hike. It'll show for it. A lot of Skyrim have so much snow. Maybe the treasure hunter's life isn't all it's cut out to be. But, if it were easy, everybody would do all right. And I'll press further into the mountain pass tomorrow. By some small miracle, I'm alive. Deep in the mountains, snow gave way underfoot. Next thing I knew, I was plumbing into a cavern at a devilish height. What a fool this place Skyrim is. Both legs are sure to broken. And my agony is only second to my despair. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. Oh well, shit. <laughs> kind of nonchalant about the whole thing, really. Uh, it's been three days since the fall. Food ran out yesterday. Water's gonna go next. Unless some rain happens to fall through that cursed hole above. Isn't there like tons of snow? Wait a minute. Isn't there like a shitload of snow? Shouldn't that. What the fuck am I talking about? I've been slipping in and out of dreams. I dreamt that I was floating in a sea of black. For me, floating a sword unlike anything I'd ever seen. Real treasure. Just like in them stories, it called to me. I knew my name. I reached out my hand and then... I'm awake now. Turns out the sword was real. I got it right here next to me as I write this here entry. Legs are beginning to feel better. That can't be right. When I sleep, I hear that sword whispers to me. Not with words, but with intent. It has a hunger. I can feel it. Of course, it seems silly that a weapon wouldn't hunger for lies when you think about it. Is that not the purpose? To free the soul from the living? Maybe none of this is real. I can walk again. Set up a small camp here. I think it's a sword. It's helping me. I thirst for souls and it needs me to find them. All I could think about was getting out of this here place. Now, Amongst the rest of souls, so many fallen warriors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I'll stay. It whispers to me. It's, it's name. It's we. We are Umbra. Good. And now he's dead. And I took the sword. And just like in every Elder Scrolls game, for some reason, the sword doesn't make my, doesn't make my brain go cuckoo. I'm allowed to just fucking use the sword out to my heart's content that I won't go insane. You done cooking? Okay. Figured I'd let you wait. Or figured I'd wait and let you finish up your stuff. What the fuck is that? I haven't seen those before. God. <laughs> Look at those damn things. I'll take them. I'll go put them in my house. Who? Gimme. Kerchunk. Now, I'll probably take a pit stop really quick in there to Windhelm so we can jump off all of our shit back at our house, but after that, we'll head to Riften and we'll do that there quest. Open. That scared the fuck out of me. Hello? Okay. Those. Okay, those skeevers are very loud. Sounds like they were right by me. Oh! Yeah, I saw that comment. I saw the holes in the wall. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. But like, where's the trap at, though? Is there not, like, a tripwire? I didn't see a tripwire. Weird. Well, now I'm dying. Excuse me, let me through here, please. Are you skeevers gonna be chill? Please be chill. Am I going back? Where the fuck is he? Am I going backwards? Where the hell's the exit at? Uh. <sighs> I like how it says Skyrim. Wait, did I clear the entirety of Skyrim? What do you mean Skyrim cleared? Here we go. I did it, everybody. I beat Skyrim. I <laughs> 100% of the game is cleared. Oh, so this sword is actually kind of short. Yeah, Umbra is? It's not like as long as other two-handed swords. It's actually like kind of fucking... It's not even that much longer than Durkitas' sword. Weird. It's like a short, long sword. Like a short, two-handed sword. It's fucking weird. Alright. 
My horse is gone? Question mark? That's cool. Let's go fuck myself. Oh, wait, no, the horse isn't gone. I rolled the demon horse here. I forgot. I rolled the, like, literal, like, danger demon horse over here. Okay, let's go to Windhelm really quick and dump off my shit. Yeah, shall we? And then we'll make our way back over to Riften. And we'll do that quest that I missed last time we were there. And get a cool permanent reward to our stats. And then depending on how long that takes, maybe I'll do another quest after that. Another, like, longer quest. Because it is getting real late. Horses aren't real, they're not. It's true. <sighs> a horse was made up by people that saw a giraffe that had its neck cut short. Some weirdo like put that in a museum one day. They they took a giraffe and they didn't they didn't have the neck bones for it. You know, they couldn't piece together what it was, so scientists like theorized that it was a, it was some creature called a horse. Heard they're reforming the dawn god. <laughs> they're reforming the dawn god. <laughs> Is that the first time we heard that on stream? Is that is that actually the first time we heard an NPC say that the entire stream? Has it really taken four hours to hear that? That's a new record, yeah? It's gotta be a new record. We went that long without the Dawn Guard fucking voice line? <laughs> you were waiting for it, yeah, were you? <laughs> Good. Alright, here. Let's put some shit away really quick, shall we? He did say the line. He said the thing. The reforming. Sorry, I'll stop. Okay, I think I'm gonna put Nerve Shatter away for a bit. And we'll use Umbra instead for. It's weaker than Nerve Shatter, but like, you know. Oh, right. I should check out how much damage uh, this Torment Sword does. What came first, the horse or the giraffe? Well, the giraffe did, because horses aren't real. So obviously the giraffe came first. And then paleontologists found an incomplete giraffe skeleton, and they thought it was a different creature that they called a horse. Where it turns out, it was simply just a giraffe missing its neck bones. I wonder what I need to upgrade. I think I need, I probably need ebony, right? Yeah, I need like an ebony ingot. Ooh. I'm gonna need like an ebony ingot to upgrade uh, Umbra, probably. I'll let me do that. I wonder if it's gonna let me do a legendary, though. It probably won't. What if it's flawless again? That'll be sad. An ebony ingot to hum. Mm hmm. 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 I think a dwarven ingot too, because we can also. I, I haven't upgraded spellbreaker yet. Like our shield, I haven't like upgraded spellbreaker, which would probably be a good thing to do. Oh, and then a daedric, a daedra heart, I guess for. My daedra hearts aren't in it over here. A daedra heart, I suppose, for that one daedric weapon that we want to check out and see how stronger it gets. The fuck is it? There it is. You're telling me I only have 23 Daedra Hearts? Sad. Okay, I'll sort my inventory in a moment. We're gonna go check out the damage on these things really quick. And then I'll sort my inventory. The thrill of inventory management in Skyrim. Oh, part of me, I just did like a turbo big yawn. And then I like clamp my teeth together at the end of it for some reason. <laughs> Alright. That does 83 when it's fully upgraded. Holy fucking god. Like, Goldbrand does 75. They both, they do 83? Like, why? It's so much damage! But also, Goldbrand's like way cooler though. <laughs> it's lighter? You're. This sword is lighter, and it does more damage. I... I have no reason not to use it, if that's the case. Oh, I just realized this requires ebony. Ah. Well, that's awkward. I mean, I, I guess I'll use it. 
It does the same. It's just, it's just, it's just better. Like, it, they both have the same enchantment. <laughs> just one of them does more higher base damage. Yeah, fuck. Well, shit, hold on. Let me uh, reload my autosave where I'm closer to my house, and I'll go back in and grab another ebony ingot. But I want to keep using gold brand though. It's so cool looking. Let me in. Why am I over encumbered, by the way? Hello? I'm, I'm not over encumbered, is the answer. Okay, there we go. That's weird. Uh, another ebony ingot. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. But you know what time it is, chat? It's 4.20. It's that time of night, everybody. It's that, it's, it, it is indeed that time. It is 4.20, the stream timer has ticked on over. Make a wish. Make a wish, right now. Pretend that those airplanes in the night sky are indeed shooting stars. And do the thing. You have one minute. Those who don't make a wish will be that's it. <laughs> that's the statement. Those who do not make a wish will be. Anyway. I guess we'll use Torment for a bit. And I'll upgrade Umbra so we can get two-handed stats better. You came back just in time? You sure did? It's that time? Okay, so Umbra's been upgraded. Nice. It's still not very powerful, but it will be once we, you know, get our two-handed skill up. Look at it. Look at Umbra. Isn't it beautiful? And then we have Torment, as I guess are going to be our new sword for a bit. Because it does, uh, more damage than fucking Goldbrand somehow. Magically somehow, it does more damage than Goldbrand. It looks so fucking lame, though. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. Do you think the Madness weapons do that much damage? Like, if I, like the Madness ore weapons, do you think they do, like, the same amount of damage as this thing? Maybe. You, you no longer wish to be, but that's not your wish. Excuse me? May the gods watch over your battle, friend. You too, Brunwolf. I forgot to upgrade my fucking shield. Like I said I was going to. I'm a dumbass. And then I'll go dump off all my shit, and then we'll head to Rift, and we'll do a quest. A quest. There you go, Spellbreaker. That can go up to 63, you got it. Nice. There's probably plenty of better shields I can get at this point, too. Like, Spellbreaker's not, like, very high tier, I don't think. I just like the way it looks. Well, then again, though... What fucking flames are you talking about? I don't know, maybe I should, I should like sort out like what armor I want to wear, yeah? Like what armor and weapons I want to fucking use? Instead of just picking the thing with the highest number? I want to do what I did in Oblivion. I want, I want more freedom, you know? I, I, I want to fucking wear the armor that I think looks cool. And use the weapons that I think look cool. Why did I come back? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> I gotta remember this shit. Blood grass. The bone meal. Harada? I hardly know where I made that joke earlier, I'm sorry. Spittle stick. Put the fish in here. Spellbreaker negates like half the spells cast by mages though. That is true, that's why it's good. That's why I'm using it, because I like it. Also, it looks cool. <sighs> Pardon me. <laughs> Clam meat. Do I have like a turbo disease? I should really check, yeah. I feel like I just randomly get diseases in this game and don't pay attention <laughs> until I get a message that pops up and says like, You have contracted crippling caught crotch rot. It's like, yeah? It's like, when the hell did that happen? When the hell did I- when, when the fuck did I get crotch rot? I'm in. Hey, watch it. Sorry.
You posting clam meat in my chat? Clam time. Everybody clam the fuck down. <sighs> okay. Um. Put you away, put you away, put you away. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put you away. I might flaw this shit. I have so many. <laughs> How much stuff do I have in here now? I want to pile it all on this table. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on, like, just putting a shitload of gems all over this fucking table. I just haven't done it yet. Like, look at all this. Look at all this shit that we got. Just copious amounts of gems and diamonds and gold and shiny things. Uh, so gold brand can go over here in the daydream. I gotta get a better spot for my daydream stuff. <laughs> it's just sitting in the counter. <laughs> the, all of my daydream shit is sitting in a cupboard inches away from my front door. <laughs> like somebody could just open the door up real quick and just go, hmm. What's all this in here? No, that's Scourge. Get the fuck out of there, Scourge. You don't belong in there. Fuck you. Then again, does Sunder belong in there? Hell if I know. Sunder's not a fucking Daedric weapon, it's a Dwarven weapon. Well, also, isn't Perry shield like Dwarven fucking. What's, what's the story behind that? This is like a Dwarven make thing, right? Like, why did Perry make like a weird Dwarven shield? Dwemer shield. Where the fuck's my lore? Let's see, we're keeping those for now. I gotta give Darkeet this. His arrow's Need back. Need to carry something. Need me to bebe de bebe. What all do you got on you? Hold on. Oh, you're carrying all this shit too. I forgot. Thank you. Okay, and I'll give you your arrows back. You only have 92. How are you down to 92 arrows already? I gave you like 300. <laughs> Lead, I'll Before the stream started. Jesus. Oh, it was better than when I was playing. Remember when I was playing Fallout 3 and I gave Clover a fucking minigun? And I gave her like hundreds of rounds for it. And she just ran out of it fucking immediately. That was great. I didn't give Jericho a gun because he already had the fucking Chinese assault rifle and with unlimited ammo, so... I tried to give him Butch a gun, it just didn't work. Well, no, I gave Butch the railway rifle, yeah? I did, yeah, that worked out. Because he didn't, like, chew through ammo. With that gun, thankfully. Why am I over here? Alright, yeah, yeah, uh, Put that away. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I get to keep the Great Welkin Stone? Are you fucking kidding me? I get to keep this? <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go shove that on my fancy chest. Sometime during the first era, Spellbreaker was granted to the dragon priest Zahn, the scale caller. After being abandoned by her dragon lord, Zahn turned to Periite, earning his favor and shield before being killed by her dissatisfied followers. Great. But why is. But, but, but why though? But why is it like a Dwemer shield? <laughs> like, why does Periite have a Dwemer shield? But did he steal it? Did Perry just like steal the shield from a bunch of fucking dwarves? Oh, I got a bunch of books. Because it was in the first era, I, I, I suppose. But again, though, it's. You know, it's, it's like a Daedric Lord. You're telling me they just they just borrowed a shield from some dwarves? Like, you, you fucking you're telling me Perriot could have made his own fucking shield? Stinky ass fucking disease ridden piece of shit. Okay, I can't disenchant any of this shit, huh? No? Hmm. Hmm. He took it from some dude, yeah? <laughs> sure. That'll be the lore. He just, he just took it from some dude who fucking knows. I love that I just shove all these rings in here. I don't I think it's just my jewelry box. This cupboard is full to the brim with just random fucking jewelry.
Oh, put some books away, maybe? Question mark. And glories and laments. I'm on one. Physicalities of werewolves. Gotta sell that. Oh, uh -huh, I, I just open up the lid, yeah. I, 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 like, turn the cupboard on its side and then, like, open the lid up and I just dump. <laughs> I, just, I just dump jewelry into it. The jewelry goblin lives in there. It's, it's so, it's so happy. It's never been happier. Can I get that spell tone back, please, so I can sell it? Where the hell did it go? Am I blind? No, I'm just, I just don't know my alphabet. There we go. Dude. You fell like half asleep and missed 420. I'm so sorry. You missed it. It was like 10 minutes ago. It's fine. I made a wish on behalf of everybody in chat that missed it. Because <laughs> they were probably asleep. What was the wish? Don't worry about it. Don't fucking worry about it. I'm gonna go shove these arrows down here, shall I? Oh, did I show this off too, by the way? I bought some of these off stream too. Hold on. Where are they? I bought a bunch of fucking unenchanted staffs. Yeah, these? I just went and bought a bunch of them in case they ever need them for anything. Don't know if I'm gonna need them, but I got them now. Am I done sorting my inventory? Can I go sell my shit now, please? I'm gonna have to go to like 10 different vendors to sell all this shit? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, oh Christ. Let me eat some food. My nose is itchy. Eat the fish. Yum. Time is it in game? 9 p.m.? More like sleepy time. Oh, 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 wee! Ah, oh, damn it. Give the vendor unlimited money. I already have a mod that gives them more money. That's the problem. Like, I already have a mod that gives them extra money and they're still running out of money when I sell them shit. Like, normally fucking vendors in this game have like 700 gold, like, tops. They got like 3,000 now or some shit. And they're still running out. It's goddamn insane. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm yawning. It is getting to be that time of night where I'm tired. But I want to at least do this next quest. Before I end the stream for tonight. Alright, let's go for the time being. Yeah, for the time being, sure. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, well, we got a new turbo powerful sword. This big fucker right here. Let's see if it's of any goddamn use. I say, knowing full well it's going to be. Whoop. Maybe one of these days I'll get my armor sorted out, yeah? Like, what's, what's a cool armor combination? Again, sadly, this game kind of discourages wearing mismatched armor because you get bonuses for having a full set of the same armor. You also get bonuses for, like, having a piece of armor on, like, every slot. Which, you know, I kind of want to see my character's face. It'd be cool to not have a helmet on in some situations. Are you retired? That's cool. Thank you for telling me that for no reason. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell I don't soldiers, haggle. so they'll if risk you want their lives. Price, look elsewhere. Come on. I travel more. Can we, can let me sell stuff to you, please. Hello. These days. Come on. If you're looking to get a drink, <gasps> Candlehearth Hall's got warm fires and strong ale. That's cool. Let me wait an hour. Then will you serve me, please? I don't. There we go. Thank take you. Take a look. The gist is, some king had it made for him, 
in a giant battle that he lost and then a guy got it and he got betrayed and became a Periate follower and then gave the shield to him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great. Just some random asshole just gave it to him? Like, yeah, here you go. It's pretty good. She's almost out of money again. She's already almost out of money again. That'll do, thank you. Thank you for your custom. Thank you for your custom. Okay, um well I'm gonna I I, I wanna sell all this shit, so we're just gonna make a trip to like multiple different vendors and we're gonna <laughs> get the real true Skyrim experience. <laughs> Going to ten different vendors to sell your fucking loot. Oh boy. Did I finish my coffee? <gasps> I didn't. There's like a there's like a sip in here still. Update. There was no longer a sip of coffee in there. It's gone. On account of I drank it. I got water left still though. Hmm. Let's go say hi to Lydia. Let's pop in here and say hi to Lydia and warm up and take a nap. Until the store opens tomorrow. I know. I literally have a mod enabled to like prevent me from having to need to go to like 10 different locations to sell my shit and I still have to do it because of <laughs> how much gold you make in this game. You make so much money in Skyrim. Maybe I'll just bump up the mod. The mod does have different settings that you can change to like give vendors even more money. I could just do that. Hi Lydia. Speaking of what we don't want, is there any furniture I want to like nab over here? Because <laughs> remember I can do that. I can just take furniture and bring it with us to the other house if I see fit. Got a bookshelf in here? Yeah, chest. Some kind of cool shit in there I could just steal. Yeah, I might just bump up the vendors to have a little bit more money. How you doing, Lydia? You like how in Oblivion they had unlimited money, but they could only you could only sell stuff for a certain amount. Yeah. When I streamed Oblivion, I had a mod that made the <laughs> that increased the limits on how much you could sell to them. Cause I always hated finding a really cool, awesome like weapon or like piece of armor that's worth like thousands of gold, and then the highest you can sell it for is like eight hundred. Cause like that's like the highest a vendor will like the vendors will go is like eight hundred. It's like cool things. So when I streamed that game, I had mods enabled to uh, bump that up a little bit. Sure you'll find what you're looking for. Hi. Every some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Do ya? Well, how about you buy some of my treasures, ugly? You thought it was 8,000? Is it 8,000? I thought it was 800. Maybe it is 8,000. I can't remember. He's out of money again. I'm gonna shit my fuck. Do come back. I always do. All right, we're going to store number three, everybody. Give it up for store number three. You remember using that one merchant from the Frost Craig Spire DLC a lot because they had one of the highest gold values in the game, yeah? I can't remember who I used in like Vanilla Oblivion, like before I had like mods to change that. I can't remember who I sold all my shit to. It might've been a Thieves Guild person or no? I don't remember now. I can't remember who I sold my shit to. The only DLC I ever had when I was younger playing Oblivion was I had the Shivering Isles and Knights of the Nine, and that was it. I didn't have any of the other, like, smaller DLCs, which was fun. When I streamed Oblivion, I got to do all that for the first time. Like Frost Craig Spire, like the Orrery and all that shit. You and me. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this and a bit of that. I'm just gonna sell that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have one back at the house, and if I don't, I can just fucking make one. Oh, 
take all of my potions. I don't have all the room that I wish I did. Take all of my fucking potions. Take these shitty scrolls. Holy shit, am I about to run out of stuff now? <laughs> I still have a bunch of gems I gotta sell. Oh. Thank you. All right then. Yeah, all right, whatever. Fain doll thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from Sven, shut up. Nobody cares. <laughs> There's a quest I haven't done yet. This quest in Riverwood we still haven't fucking touched yet. And there's some in White Run we haven't done. There's so many quests in this damn game. I guess it's gonna rift in? Yeah, why not? I can sell the remainder of my shit here, hopefully, and then while we're here we can like pick up that quest that I wanna do, yeah? Good. The hell are you? Oh, you're posting the Wikipedia thing for the fucking merchant with the most money in Oblivion? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> they have 1,200 to 2,200 gold. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it was like 800. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember it being 8,000 gold. It was like 800 for most, like, top of the line vendors in Oblivion. I'm hungry. This store is not open, is it? I'm off work at the Blackbriar Meadery. I'll be back there in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Are you open? The door's not shut, but like, is the fucking store still open? Welcome to the pawn brawn. I have all sorts of interesting items. No, nope, cool. Sale. Have you looked around? I can't look around right now. Your store was like closed. <laughs> I can't shop from you. You were thinking about the gun runners who fall on New Vegas. Oh yeah, they have eight thousand caps. Yeah. Uh, they're reforming. No, the reforming the dawn gun. Are they? Tell me more. Tell you me again about the dog. College. Heard about you. Y can you <laughs> can you get the fuck out of my house? Turkitas, who the fuck was, who was that man? Why did that man just come from my house? Who was what? I own I own a honor to you, my fame. I I own a who is that man? Why did he come in my home? Also, why are you in here? It's a better question. I don't know you. Like you just came with the house. It's super itchy. Pardon me. Okay. They awake and feeling well rested. I am your sword and your shield. But very hungry. Yeah, I like the floor potatoes. I'm hungry enough to eat the floor potatoes. Why not? Iona, do you care if I... <laughs> she's, she's, she's not gonna mind. Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Am I still hungry? Yeah, a little bit. Yum, yum. That'll do. I cleaned up downstairs, you're welcome. Okay, good. Now I'll go over here, we'll sell some yes. shit. Yes? Yes. Working yes. Right. Oh god. Tough, okay, the door's still locked. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> None of you guys saw me trying to break in there? Open your door, asshole. Yeah, no, I'm fucking getting to patient too, Durkitas. Hold on. Potatoes grow in dirt, but you're complaining that they fell on the ground. I, yeah. You know, carrots also grow. Do you not wash your fucking vegetables before you eat them, penis? Or is that... Is that Azura Star? How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? I killed a man. Why is this fucking store so locked? Like, open the hell up, asshole. No, okay, I guess there's not selling any loot to that guy, alright. I'll sell loot to my better friend, Madesi. Hey, buddy. Hi. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. Just what you see here. Buy all of- you have a bunch of- yeah, buy all my shit, here. Thank you, you're so helpful. Thank you, Marsh friend. As the kids say. You know, here, you can take all of these. Keep, you keep the change. Thank you. Good journey, Marsh friend. You too. Rare trinkets 
Anyway, the quest that we missed the last time we were here in Riften, where we were just doing a shitload of quests in and around Riften, is up here. It's in the church, which we never went to. <laughs> For some fucking reason. Hello. Blessings of Mara upon you. Blessings of Mara upon you. Yeah, sure. Good. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, Braille. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which of the eight divines do you serve? I, says the man, surrounded by Mara tapestries and in the place called the Temple of Mara. This temple is dedicated to Mara. And the light of love, she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Marma. Until next time. Okay. Sorry, I'm drinking water. Hi, are you Marma? Hello. Oop, from button. How may I help you, my son? Yeah, hi. Uh, did, can you tell me more about this place? I just talked to your little buddy over there. Wonderful. Where to begin? I don't know. Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. Uh -huh. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Y yeah? C could I get married here if I wanted to? <laughs> yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? N no. I, y y y explain to me. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard. And short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person yeah. who's looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. D d will you marry me? <laughs> Tell me more about Mara. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. Yeah? It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. Honor, family, you tradition, her light a beacon and donuts. A cool. I, 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 do you... Okay, goodbye. May you return to her benevolence and safety. You too. How the fuck do I do the quest? <laughs> do I have to give him the charity? Is that what I gotta do? <laughs> do I have to ask him about the charity? To do the quest? Or do I have to talk to the third person that also works here? That I haven't met yet. Hello. Also, apparently OBS has a Steam listing, yeah? And somebody tagged OBS Studio on Steam as Souls-like and Psychological Horror, yeah? <laughs> it is very difficult. Listen, it is pretty- it is very Souls-like in its difficulty. And you'll lose your mind, you know, the Psychological Horror thing will kick in when you can't figure out what the fuck is happening in your settings. Where's the third person at? Do I have to talk to her? Mara, where's your third acolyte? Darkita's god, you, I got the biggest close-up of your eyeballs there that was terrifying. Blessings of Mara upon you. You too, Mara Mall. Real, real, real coinky dink that the guy named Mara Mall works at the Temple of Mara. Okay, we're well, trying to go find the lady. Is she over at the tavern? She might be at the tavern. She at the. We're one of the same kind. Me, me, and Barb. Me. Hello. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. You know me. We've already met each other. I don't think she's in here. Hi. I've never seen Miol this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. What is she still pissed about? I got her fucking sword back. Mara smiles upon you. Hello? <laughs> Lady? <laughs> Are you in here? A letter to Clexius. Who the f Phelan, another round. Blue in the face. The fuck is this? Head to Grom's Pass. Dear Clexius, it is as you fear. The news here in Rifted is troubling on many levels. Now, I've studied goblins all my life, and while customs differ from tribe to tribe, one thing has always held true. They are beholden to their shamans, and removing them will turn them their tribe entirely docile yeah moreover we have seen this method work in practice most famously with the three feathered tribe near Baruma yet still 
The rumors persist of goblin activity near the border. More disturbing is the news that the blue god, quote unquote, himself is leading them. Could it be Malakath himself in some form? Regardless, if some daedric being has found its way to this realm, this is a cause for concern. I'll be handing Grom's pass in the morning to investigate. Faithfully yours, Avanessa, Caladius, Ligma, Mabubba Balls. Maybe you should head on home. What did you miss while you were passed you out? Yeah, I did a face reveal. Said, <laughs> give me some more drink. You missed the face the reveal. Suit yourself. But no, we just, we just did a bunch. We just did a shitload of fucking creation club stuff. We we got this cool new sword. We got this cool sword that does like a gorilla. It does more damage than gold brand. It's great. I got a new crossbow. Like I I found some new like types of crossbows and shit. This is an imperial one. It's real good. We got umbra. We went and got the umbra sword. It's real big and purple. It's great. Did a couple of things, and now I'm looking for this fucking Temple of Mara lady who was not in the Temple of Mara. She's not at the inn either, and I can't fucking find her. Whoop! Whoop! Beep, 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 beep. My my toy swords are dope. They are. How may I help you, my son? Right. Where the fuck? May you return to her benevolence and safety. Is she down here in the Hall of the Dead? Oh, where is she? Oh, the stream dropping, by the way? Oh, there she is. Come to laugh at the grave tender? No, actually. Well, you know who I'm here to find. I didn't know you were. Wait. <laughs> I didn't even know that you existed. Hold on a minute. I gotta click on something. Yeah, the stream did go down, it looks like, by the way. Awesome. Again, it wouldn't be a Skyrim stream without the fucking stream going down for literally fucking zero reason. Hold on. Ugh. Let me hear. Oh, my phone is dying, too, it turns out. Yeah, here, let me get my chat back up on my phone, shall I? Let me do this. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't know this lady was down here, though. That's weird. Oop, I almost dropped my controller. My phone, rather. This is not the lady I'm looking for. <laughs> this is indeed not her. All right. <sighs> I'll talk to her though. Hi. Yes. yes. Yeah, you tend the graveyard. If you're trying to ask if I tend oh. the Hall of the Dead alone, then the answer is yes. Yeah. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? I don't Once fucking again, know, are they? Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. Yeah. Yeah. What did your father do? My father was a priest of Arche. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? Mm hmm. So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. Okay, I mean, do you want to, like, make peace with your dad? Or, like, is your, is it, what happened to your dad? <laughs> I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in White Run. White Run? My ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. That's so far away. But yeah, I'll do, I, I can do that for you, sure. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders, and he'll take care of the rest. Bring it to Anders. Okay, I mean, thank- I didn't- I had no clue quest even existed. Alright, yeah, what's so cool about this dagger? A priest of Arche is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. Yeah. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. Ooh, my throat is dying. <laughs> is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. In some ways, I still don't. Well, then fucking quit. Yeah, you, you appear to be doing it anyway. I had to, for honor's sake. But I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new high priest's dagger. But I already owned my father's. Yeah? So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess. Be cautious. 
The pilgrimage to the shrine is not an easy one. All right. I yeah, I had no clue. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I was looking at my chat. I had no clue quest even existed, by the way. Before you make the journey. Um, where am I going now? Hi, what are you doing now? You just you know murdering people? Yeah. All right, well I'm gonna go. Since we have that quest now, I might do it later. I don't think I'm gonna do it right this second. Yeah. Well, 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 maybe we'll do that. If that takes us that way, sure, to White Run, we'll do it. Anyway, where the fuck? <laughs> Where's this fucking lady at? I came for, I mean, I found a lady. Not the one I'm looking for. Hello? Is she here? That's not the quest that I was looking for. What do you even get for doing that quest? Hello. Where is you? There she is! God damn, took her long enough. Hi. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Where the fuck have you been? What is it you seek, my child? Tell me more about Mara. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love. The Durkitas. He's fucking flinging me! Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Yeah? C can I have Mara's blessing? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. Well, fucking speak up then. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Okay. <laughs> Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. What the fuck are you talking are about? Are you prepared then to help bring the light across this land? Sure. I just sure. Tell me what I gotta do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the She's young cooking. woman, almost a girl. Her. Fickle love must resolve itself. Yeah. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. Of course it's Iverstead. <laughs> this is the Everything is an Iverstead. The goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. Okay. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Okay, I'll go do that. Thank you. You're welcome. The Book yes? of Love. Yes? Talk to Fastred. Let's do it. All right, cool. So now we got two quests. Not that one. We got, we got the Book of Love, and then we also have to, like, go drop off a ceremonial dagger in fucking White Run if you feel like doing that, too, but good. So we have to go all the way over to Iverstead. Talk to some lady. Yeah, you guys excited for 420, but again? <laughs> you guys ready for 420, but again? Yeah, we did this fucking stream timer restarted on Twitch. Uh, pardon me, like, click on stuff. There we go. <laughs> oh, God. Buying and selling fine jewelry, yeah. Kabu. Kabu, there he is. That's him, that's Kabu Bug Fables, everybody. My voice is like shot. <laughs> I apologize for some of the horrible sounds that my throat is making as I speak right now. My throat's shot. We're talking for fucking five hours straight along with the horrible voices I've been doing, you know? All the goofy voice acting I've been doing, the very bad voice acting. Okie dokie. Fuck is that guy going? Do, 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 do. Hello, I've heard you have some problem with your love life. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know this. God told me. Are you the one sent by Mara? <gasps> Wait, you believe in that bullshit too? Yeah. How did you know I was coming? I prayed to Mara and she spoke to me in a dream. She said a stranger would appear to help me. Is that you? Uh-huh. It is I. My parents are being impossible. The master of love. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. Why the fuck not? He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. Uh, you want me to you want us to talk to him or Oh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to have someone around who understands. Watch the skies, traveler. Okay, I will. I guess I'll go talk to your mom and dad. <laughs> hey. Mind if I come into your house at like fucking 10 p.m.? You need to leave. I just got here! Okay, fucking fine, I'll leave. God Christ. 
Yeah, 420 happened again, you're right. I mean, it's over now. So you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? No. That is true, but yeah, for one fleeting moment, 420 did happen again, you're right. For the briefest of times. Four twenty is now past, so. Welcome to the Bill of Your Bean. You, we've already been the song and dance a million times. Give me your room. Sure thing. It's yours for it. I'll show you to your room. No. Nope. Right this way. No, nope, we don't need to. I don't know where I gotta go. Thank you, though. Thank you for being so helpful. Is this the entire quest, by the way? I thought is, is there more to this? There's more to this quest, right? It's like an actual quest quest. It's not like a miscellaneous quest. Headed up to the monastery. Watch your step. Let me know. I ain't going to the monastery. Mm, yummy. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Oh, God, my voice. I hate it. I shouldn't have done so many stupid, horrible voices all night. Hello. Hi. You need to let your daughter move to Riften. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Yeah, yeah, ab 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 about that. I gotta talk to you about it. <laughs> I'm sure I know what this is about. Uh-huh. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Yeah? Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clinic. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Uh-huh. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. <laughs> Dr. Keith, what are you doing? What are you doing, Durkitas? Sorry. Why do you want her to stay here so bad? Look around here. There's not much left. I mean, it's a nice town. It's a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. Why? If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverston? I'll, I'll just fucking take... I'll expand Blackthorn over here and just take it over. It'll be fine. Oh, well, you think your daughter's gonna be chill with it, or what? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always... The boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simpler. Uh, okay. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. No, everything for everybody is here. It's Iverstead. Okay, well, let's go here and talk to your mom, then. Your mom, sir. Mummy. Mummy. I want to go away and run away, mummy, to Riften. Hello. What are you fucking doing? Or not, if I were you, I'd move right through our backwards little town. The fuck is your problem? You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No. Nope. No other reason to pass through here. I've already been to High Hrothgar. I almost died on the way up there. Yet yeah, your daughter wants to fucking move to Riften with her boyfriend. Oh my. Probably something about the men. Uh huh. I wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Okay. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead. I want Fastra to be happy. Yeah, good. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Okay. <laughs> what would inspire them to leave? What kind of fucking question is that? Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. What? If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastra to Riften without a second thought. Oh. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Okay. Cool. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. I fuck <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Make up your goddamn mind, lady. Um. So we can. Well, let's go talk to Bassianus then. Oh, should we, have, should we have a move? Or, like, I mean, Klimek is here. Do I give a shit, though? Like, Klimek just. All, all he does all day is to make fucking. He takes supplies up to the top of the mountain all day. Fuck him. Why am I so rude? What do you mean, why am I so rude? What the hell did I do? I walked in there to try and spread joy and love, and this fucking lady's like, fine, leave! It's like, Ugh. Oh, oh, you're Clemic, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Bug. I kind of figured Clemic was going to be in the fucking, in the inn. Clemic, you have a job to do around here, buddy. <sighs> Oh, well, Bessie honestly ain't got no damn job. Hey, is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? I forgot who Bessie honest was. I for I forgot that's who Bessie honest was. Clinic, buddy. 
Hey, bud. Hey. Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. Yeah, I heard your fucking girlfriend left you for that asshole across the street. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. Yeah? I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. He understands I'm gonna punch him in the fucking face here, whatever. Listen. Yeah, maybe she just likes assholes. He's kind of a fucking twat. <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> I, you should, you know, just go over there. Go, go over there and beat him up. If you go over there and kick his shit in, she'll fucking love that. Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Or do that. Yeah, what do you got to lose? There's like fucking, I mean, then again, there's like 10 people. <laughs> there's like four people in this town. And then they're all, everyone's gonna be thinking you're gonna be really awkward afterwards, but you don't go for it. Ismir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. Yeah? I'm off to see her. Good. P can you beat up Bassius though while you're at it, please? <laughs> please? Clemic? Oh, he's going. His AI was like, processing. Downloading subroutine, love. Hello? Oh! Look at him- <laughs> Look at him go! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go! Bassius can rot in hell for all I care. Plus he has like some guy after him, right? Isn't that what- Isn't that what fucking Fastred's mom said? Like he's got some like some like debt collector or some shit after him? Oh. Open the door? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fastred. I have something to say to you. Clemic? What is it? Your ass I don't is want fit. You to leave Iverstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. <laughs> what good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clemic. <laughs> oh. Was that it? Was that the entire exchange? That, that was the entire exchange, huh? Okay. <laughs> did, did, that was it. He came in and was like, What good are fish if you gotta eat them alone? And then he walks out. Alright. And that's how marriage happens. You doing okay? Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. You're welcome. And then they're gonna happily live ever after eating fucking fish sandwiches together. <laughs> and then one day the both of them are gonna take a trip up to High Harothgar to deliver to, 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 to fucking deliver shit to the Greybeards and they're gonna get mauled to death by a troll. Gonna be so romantic. <gasps> oh, pardon me, I'm adjusting my chair. God, I'm so happy I can fast travel now. <laughs> like, I would not have got this quest done tonight if that were the quest. If that were the, if that were the fucking case. Like, I would have, I would have like got this quest and been like, cool, we're gonna do that next time. But because I can fast travel, I did it tonight. Easy fucking peasy. Blessings of Mara upon you. You too, asshole. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I, I got the people to love. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. How did I enable fast travel in survival mode? I, uh... I, I had to download a mod. <laughs> I, I had to download a mod that just simply enables fast travel in uh, survival mode. Anyway, need anything else from me? I see you are eager to carry the light. Yes. As you venture... Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Yeah? Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Calselmo, wise, <laughs> acid, and reclusive. Calselmo. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. Okay. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Okay. I love the way she pronounced Calselmo. He's like, Calselmo. How may I help you? Calselmo. 
I'm ruining the immersion. I, have you have you seen this game? Immersion. A fine day to you, friend. You too, we all. A sword. Ooh. I'm in the piss, please. Cal Selmo's one of your favorite NPCs, you is he? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Bar. I'm not new here. I literally live a, like down the boardwalk from you, and also I exposed your weird yeah, fucking. They're reforming the dawn gun. I exposed your weird like adultery fucking thing you had going on. Your home record department. Your fucking home record business. You might be getting an Xbox Series X on Friday, yeah? Dope. We pretty fuck those things are kind of like those things are those things are hard to get right now, yeah. I'm pretty sure those are like getting a bit easier to get now compared to PS5 still. Oh yeah, pretty sure. Need a ride? Need a ride? Um, I'm still I was still thinking about getting it. Hello, <laughs> I was still thinking about potentially getting an Xbox Series X at some point, but oh, we have to go all the way to fucking Markarth. You know what? Here, let's ride a carriage. Well, since we're like right here, I can take you. To where do you want to go? Take me to Markarth. Back and we'll be off. Thank you. you want Let's leave before the dragon shows up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> go! Step on it! Please! Oh, see, that, yeah, that's, that is very much one of the main reasons why I have the fast travel enabled. Yeah, it's because I was getting very tired of going up and down the same roads over and over and over constantly. Like, it was less, like, it, like, I wasn't really experiencing, like, the areas either. It wasn't like, wow, I get to see the areas more, you know, because I'm not fast traveling. It was like, no, I'm going up and down the same road between, like, Falkreath and Helgen over and over. Or, like, fucking Iverstead and Riften over and over. Or Windhelm and Winterhold over and over. <laughs> I would just go from one carriage to another in, like, the straight, like, straightest line possible. And it was just getting really boring, so... Now instead of going from carriage to carriage, I just fucking warp to the place I want to go to and then explore around the place I want to go. Anyway, Calselma. You're also getting a Steam Deck tomorrow? No, sorry, not also. Somebody else is getting a Steam Deck, rather, yeah? Steam Deck, cool. I want to get a Steam Deck so I can play Shadow the Hedgehog in my bed. <laughs> I could download a dolphin emulator and play Shadow the fucking Hedgehog on my goddamn in my bed on a portable Steam Deck. That's what it was made for, you know. I've been to Markarth in a while, yeah. We're still gonna. Oh, they're reforming the dawn. Oh, they're reforming the dawn god. Soon, I can almost taste it. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God duty. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Everything all right? No. Can't wait to gut <laughs> one of those rebels. <laughs> okay. Hi. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. I can't roll my fucking R. Yeah, you got roll. You can roll your R's. Can't believe it. Can't believe I posted here. The beds are made of stone. The potatoes are made of stone. The celery is made of stone. My dog is made of stone. We are gonna come back to Markarth at some point though, and just do like actual quests around here. Just like we do with like most of the major cities, and we're just gonna do an entire quest focused around doing Markarth shit. But not right now. We're here for one purpose. We're here to get some guy horny. Next season, Matthew. Next season for sure. Next season for sure? What? Uncle Calselmo, I don't understand what you mean. Hello? <laughs> it's the excavation I can't Right after I finish my book, we'll start excavating the Shuan's elegant. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Could I maybe skip the excavation, Uncle Calselmo? I, uh, I just think you won't need me. Nonsense. You're a vital part of my research team. 
You'll be there, have no fear. Now, I don't want to hear another word of protest. Hi, I'm here to make you fall in- You want me to help you fall in love with a crab? Like, what, what is this? What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I'm not here for that. I- Yeah, I came here looking for you. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. I'm not here! Why do you people for, oh. always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? I'm not here for the do job, or whatever. Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I, 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 I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Yeah, you shouldn't have, asshole. I fucking... Here... I have been sent by Mora <laughs> to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Oh, really? Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? I don't know. I no, I do not know who Feline is. I'm sorry. Can you remind me? Well, suffice to say, she is resplendent, but not without resolve. Striking in all senses. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I start saying, I Abba Bubba. To approach her. Okay. I, I mean, have you, have you seen any good movies lately? Or like... <laughs> That's the trouble. I know Feline from the keep, but I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. Talk about like baseball or something. Matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. Show her your fucking crab. Like, does she know about your crab? <laughs> that thing's pretty cool looking. Tell her about that thing. There is one. Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Who's Ingvar? Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type. But they've been friends for some time. And he may have some ideas. Okay. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. You got it, champ. Can God, look at you. <laughs> I have things to study. What is it? Okay, let's go get some advice from Ingvar. Again, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, show her your crab. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Make it quick. Get the fuck yes. out of my way. Wait, you the guy says yes over and over? Wait, hold on, is that you? Need some. And. Hmm. Yes. Need something? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes, 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 hmm, yes, hmm, yes, and hmm, need something, yes, and what might you need? Hmm. I just wanted you to say yes a few times. Whoop. So where the fuck is Ying Far? Where, is, he, is, he, is he home? Is it like too late? Treasury house. Hello? hello? <laughs> Who, who's here? Ingvar, I need you to give me advice. Not me, like asking for a friend, but like d d d the fucking wizard man. Hi, can I talk to Yingvar? The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Can I talk to. Okay, never mind. I have records I need to tend to. <laughs> fucking asshole. You just let old Nana know if you need anything. Alright, dear. Can I talk to Yingvar? I've worked in the treasury house for almost 20 years. That's cool. Can I t can I talk to Yingvar? No? Okay. Is he just back here? Well, the fucking door is locked. All right. Shh. All right, everybody. Shut the fuck up. All right, hold on. Let me go in here. Yo, Yingvar. You fucking, fucking damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Come on. There we go. Oh, fuck. Hello? Hi. Can I, can I speak to Yingvar? You care if I come in here? Hi. <laughs> Your secretary sent me. Bloody enough for you, outsider. What? What are you talking about? Markarth. Is it bloody enough for you? I mean, I watched somebody get murdered on the way in, I, I suppose. Sure. Then turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you. Doesn't want you. I... Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. That's the way it is. That's the way it'll stay. Uh, cool, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm here about something else. Y'all know what Feline would be interested in? What? Why? Are you <laughs> interested? No, I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, it's, it's for the fucking court wizard. Calcimo, is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. 
Good for him. For the both of them. Good for him. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. Give her some of that soup. As for what she might like. I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. Y yeah? You no, know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. I used to be a bit of a Are milf you hunter. Are to receive my golden words? Uh, sure. 200, hey, fuck it, fine, I... <laughs> Why am I scoffing it? Sure. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. Are you sure? I'd rather just give it to him. I want him to do it. A love poem, man. Yeah, what the fuck is this shit? Let's read this, shall I? It's so long. Never mind. <laughs> My lover's heart is numbing stone that hides in ice beneath our sight. So, some decree, it is not there. One others whisper, yet it might. Though stone is born from fevered ash, one farmed it yields no whiff of heat. Sorry, once farmed rather. So too, her heart betrays no love, no comforts. Those embracing it. As mountains grow and yearn for sky, then climbers conquering ascend with chisel, rope, and... With axe and pick, they force the rock to yield to them. One peak stands proud amidst the range, invincible, and scaled by none. Those men who try, wash down her slopes. Their eye-born streams obliquely run. For brash assault could never pierce those guarded depths that lay apart. But patient water gently shapes a furtive channel to the heart. My love is... Delving water, ice, that cracks with cycles of the sun. A lapping yearn, whispered, uh, fucking Christ, <laughs> a lapping yearning, whispered plea. Will mark the time I rush in, for I have dwelt among the rocks, my city carved from rugged stone. So in that burrow I will creep and warm the soul, which makes my home. Great. Cool. Was I about to complain about 200 gold? Oh, yeah. Of course I was. Cor of course I was going to complain about 200 gold. I only have 12,000. Sorry, I only have 124,213 gold. Do you think I can spare 200? Keep that in mind, have a good? Don't, <laughs> don't say... Go to bed. Don't say have a good come. Fucking... <laughs> go to, thank you for stopping by. Go to sleep. Christ. Yeah, did I come yet? Yeah. Immediately. I just exploded. The, the moment I opened up that love poem, I exploded. Jesus Christ. Yo, Feline. Oh, wait, is Feline the fucking Thane? Sorry, the, the, the house Carl? Is that who Feline is? Feline Navidad. <laughs> Feline Navidad. Where the fuck is she? Hello? Feline Navidad. Ba, ba, ba. Hello. As his house Carl. Igman's security is my chief concern. Your chief concern should be that you're standing in the fucking soup. Igman's father was killed by Forsworn. I won't rest until they've paid with their blood. I gotta talk to you about Kalselmo. Kalselmo? What about him? He's... What do you think of him? Think of him? <laughs> He's an odd little man. Always poking around the ruins and wasting time in his museum. Oh. Seems friendly enough. Obviously intelligent. Why do you ask? I... He, 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 he thinks he, he thinks you're cute. What? You're out of your mind. <laughs> that old coot's more interested in dead dwarves than anybody around here. Are you sure? Don't talk such rot. I. It's true. I thought I said hold me. <laughs> I, I thought I said it's true. Hold me. No, he, he fucking told me. Please stop wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. You want to see this shit? Hey. Rayrek is far too cautious, but I'll agree with him on any measure that keeps this city safe. Yeah, check out this poem that he wrote for you. Pardon me? I fucking read it. I'm not sure what this is all about. I just told you. Fucking parenthetical give poem. This is lovely. Kalselmo wrote this? No. <laughs> I never knew he had such feeling in him. Y y he, he cares very much about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. 
I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Okay. You having fun, Dirkit? You, you having fun playing like fucking... You, you, you having good? You having fun doing this? Is this what you signed up for when, you, when, when I saved you from... I mean, listen, what else were you doing with your life? Like, are you happy? You, you, had, a, you had a house? You got a fucking house at, at, by the lake in Falkreath and like... You fucking, you know, we, we go around, we, we loot, we're rich. We're fucking rich beyond our wildest dreams. You know, we slay dragons, we got cool ass fucking weapons and shit. We make so many friends, and then we do shit like this, where we deliver fucking love letters to old people. <laughs> Family's letter to Calselmo. My dearest Calselmo, I always knew you to possess a great mind, but your charming poem revealed a depth of feeling I've never suspected. I'll admit to being a bit surprised at the, at the direction of your feelings, but not unpleasantly so. Let us meet to discuss further. Okay. Feline Navidad. <laughs> I get sorry. Hi. I'm here to. Hey. I have things to study. What is it? Get in there and get that MILF. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. Can I borrow your crab? Hold on. Take a look. Can I buy your crab? Ownership deed, mud crab. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, hold on. You got, you got spells too, yeah? Anything cool? Mm, not really. Do I have like a better healing spell? No? That's fine. Thank you. Goodbye. What? Oh, goodbye. Yeah, go... Go, hello, crab. Hi. Hey, buddy, come with me. Cool. We have a robot crab now. Oh no! It's not, wait, no, it's not a robot crab, is it? Oh no, it's not a. Ro oh, it's a crab wearing armor. <laughs> I thought it was a robot crab. No, it's a mud crab wearing fucking armor. Okay. Adorable. Can I read the ownership deed of the crab? Ownership deed, mud crab. This deed signifies ownership of the Dwemer mud crab to be undersigned. Ownership may be transferred with the accompanying bill of sale. P.S. He will follow you anywhere you go, but he's cautious of aggressive strangers. He's smart and fast, so you can dismiss him to stay at any of your homes, just inside of a city or right where he stands if you think he makes a good home. From time to time, he may also dig up something useful or valuable. Lastly, I've included a spell, so you can summon him to your location at any time. Neat! God, he's fucking excited. Come back. Wait, God damn it, dude. God, fucking reel it in, penis. God damn. Slow your fucking roll. This is very important. I mean, I... Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say anymore. <laughs> I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. Oh, oh, okay. Everybody, look away. They're, okay, and then, and then they had sex, and and then they and then they just had sex. Oh no! Oh god! Shh. Oh, 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 I'm not here. Oh, oh, oh. Move. Oh. Good. Is it the last one? Do I have to do more? <laughs> this quest almost over. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I can't remember if there's more to- Don't I have to like go to like a fucking- What- Doesn't part of this quest involve going to like a- Like like a Forsworn camp or am I misremembering? Maybe I'm misremembering. Cause I want- I, I want it to be almost over. Cause I want to go to bed but also- we <laughs> Rifted is home to the Blackbriar Meadery, one of the largest and most successful businesses of its kind. On account of they piss in every single bottle that they sell. I have become weakened from hunger. Fucking, what am I? Fucking Walt. What the hell's his name? Wilfred from Don't Starve? What the hell was that character's name? That has to eat food? 
Otherwise, he turns into like a little baby Goo Goo Boy. He goes like, oh, I can't lift as much anymore. Ugh, do less damage with my melee weapons. Is it Wilf? No, is it, is it Wilfred? Or Wilbur? What the fuck is his name? I can't, I, I used to play as him when I played Don't Starve. Hey, you! Hey, I. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I did more sex. What is it you seek, my child? I helped him. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. Does it? You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. A more seasoned love. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Oh? Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Okay. I like the crab just- you're ruining the floorboards, buddy. Stop doing that. Okay, thank you. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. Put on the amulet of Mara. Oh, am I getting married? Oh, Drakitas, you shouldn't have. Hold on. Is that an amulet of Mara? Talk to the long dead lover. Fucking, where are they? Hi, Drakitas. Lead on. I'm behind you. Are you interested in me? <laughs> Lead, I'll follow. Where the fuck am I going? Oh god. Oh, it's by my farm. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, that's what this monument's for. Okay, I thought it was like just some random thing on the middle of the field, but no, okay, this, this quest happens here, I guess, okay. Imagine if I had to walk all the way there. Imagine me right now being as tired as I am currently, wanting to go to bed, having to walk all the way there. I would not have done this quest tonight. I, it, I would have ended the stream the moment they said walk to Iverstead. Grumble, grumble. Hello, I feel hungry and tired. Hello. Hi, are, are we getting married? <laughs> are, are you my are you my ghost wife? What are you doing? I'm searching for my Fenric. Is that him there? You cause men who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over every body though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. So it was that guy right there, in the sky. I... Dude, the last battle happened like hundreds of years ago. Ah, oh, you a fool! Look at the bodies around you! Even if you're blind, what? surely you can smell the blood. I don't see shit. Come, help me search for Fenrir. Okay. He must be here somewhere. Does he work at my farm? Do you, do you, do you want to go down? you want to go to my farm up the hill? Come, help me search for Fenrir. Okay. He must be here somewhere. Go, I'm waiting. Come. She did say come. I'm waiting. Like, is, is it over there? I'm debilitated? Fuck my ass. I'm still waiting. Where, where, where's, where, where's Fenrig? Do I gotta push you? Hey. Penis. N no? <laughs> Come. He must be here somewhere. Come. He must <laughs> be here somewhere. Come. He must be here somewhere. Okay, do I gotta find him? Like, is she not gonna, like, lead me there? Do I gotta find him? It just says find Fenrig. Okay. Let's find fucking Fenrig's corpse. You know, he died here hundreds of years ago in a fucking battle. Hello, are you Fenrig? Qu oh, there's a quest marker? Oh shit, there is. You're right. How the hell did he die all the way over there? How the fuck did he die all the way over there? Come, horse. My fucking hell horse. Bump, 
Please don't light the entire grassland on fire. That'd be a real shame. I've become addled from fatigue. Yeah? Love doesn't care. Love don't wait for fatigue. Love doesn't care if I'm addled. Love doesn't care if I'm debilitated. They say in heaven, love comes first. Oh god. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Remember that one time I was walking- Oh, pfft. Jesus. Remember that one time ages ago, I was walking, you know, across the map to Whiterun, I got mauled to death by a spider when I was like right outside Whiterun, I had to walk all the way fucking back. Cause I didn't say that was fun. That grave still hasn't opened up, huh? That must be tied to like story progress or some shit, right? Cause like we have not seen a... Uh, whatever you call it, a fucking grave open up in ages. Hello, Fenrig. Your wife is looking for you way, way, way far away. Hello. They're like, what, did the fucking dog bring your bones all the way over here? Like, hi. Your wife's looking for you. There's a fucking mammoth for- oh. <laughs> Well, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a mammoth fighting a spider, but never mind. <laughs> hi, your wife is looking for you. Rookie. Where is she? Over that mountain that way. You over by my farm? Like I I just I, I built the farm over there. You're gonna love it. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker, I like to camp here for the night. Can I help you? <laughs> Fucking Go to bed. Meow meow. Go to bed. There is no more life here. Yeah? Go find your wife. Rookie? We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it though. Why don't you like it here? Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. Sitting ducks. Oh, you, you, well, come with me, I'll take you to your wife. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Okay. Hope you brought a horse. I, I, I'm locked in the. I can't, like, move. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, and away we go. Look how slow my magic is recharging. Holy shit. I really gotta like take a nap. Both in game and in real life. I do have a camping supplies in my pocket. I could like make a tent really quick and take a nap before we head to Riften, you know. Back to Riften, rather. This horse is real convenient and nice. I like it. Like, I still want to use my actual horse, but, like, you know, well, you know, maybe this could be Darren. <laughs> this is Darren's vengeful fucking spirit coming back after I was unable to, like, tame him and ride him anymore because the game bugged out. This is Darren, too. This is Darren fucking live and reloaded. What is going on over there? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <gasps> that the skeleton just rolled up and whipped out frost astronauts. I can deal with that shit. Hell no! You, you can keep. Oh shit! They're coming. Y'all can keep the planes of white run to yourself. I don't need them. Hi, I found your husband. Oh. Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Gukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until Ooh. tomorrow. Rookie, what's going on? I am so confused. What's happening? It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be. Goodbye. 
See that shit, Darkitas? That's why you don't get married. Anyway. I'm not gonna make camp, actually. I'm gonna just go to the farm. Because <laughs> the farm is, like, right up the hill. <laughs> Let's do that. Let me go right up here to the farmhouse really quick. We'll take a nap in there. Get you know, get all rested up for tomorrow, and then we'll you know eat some food. And then we'll zoom on over to Riften. Turn this quest in, and I believe that'll be the end of it. I must have been thinking of a different quest. That involves going to a Forsworn camp. Look at all my grapes. I got all those grapes, I got snowberries, I got I still don't know what the hell to plant here. I don't know what I'm putting there yet. I got leeks of potatoes over there. All right, thank you, Darren. I got blister warts and scaly, whatever the fuck they're called, growing out in the front little pots. Little planters. Is that's No, Oscar doesn't sleep in here right now. Oscar sleeps in the fucking bunkhouse down the like path for some reason. This is my home. I just fucking sleep until I just sleep 12 hours, why not? <laughs> I think eight hours will be enough? Let's find out. Hold on. What if you like wake up at like nine? That'd be good enough. Okay, good, nice. I am hungry though. Dirt Keats, did you knock my fucking jug over? No, good. <laughs> yeah? What do you want? <laughs> okay. To oblivion and back. As they say. Hi, buddy. Did you find anything? No? Okay, good. Thank you. I love that we just have a dumb crab with us now. Like, just a crab, buddy. Okay, let's eat some food. Real quick, like. Nom. 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 Hmm. And then we'll zoom on over to Riften. Somebody, There's a wolf on my front porch. Yeah, Uthgird, what are you doing? Yeah? Oh, <laughs> there goes the cow. Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? Go get that cow. You're Have someone it... who can get things done. I like that. Can I play the fucking mini game from Twilight Princess where I gotta like stop the goat, <laughs> but it's a cow instead? Please, no. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Here, fuck Uthgard. Keep the place in fucking check while I'm gone. Jesus Christ. Here. Back to Riften I go again. I know I keep saying this, but I really want to like drill the point home. <laughs> Fucking imagine right now having to walk from Rorik's dead all the way fucking back to Riften right now. Like imagine. Granted, I could like walk to White Run and then take a carriage to Riften, but all the same, it's still a lot of fucking walking through areas you've been to a million times. So I'm glad that I can fast travel now. It's so goddamn nice. I am burning through food a bit quicker now though, because you know I'm fast traveling and that makes my character get hungrier faster and shit, but not too bad. I can make food. I got plenty of food. Hi, I, I did, I did. If a ghost. What is it you seek, my child? If a ghost. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. I'm Doctor Fucking Love now. Carry the blessings of Mara with you, so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And then look at that. I got Agent of Mara now. Good. Dope. Good journey, my child. You too. Want to see this shit now? That's the whole reason we did that quest? <laughs> it took fucking forever, but the reason we did it? Where is it? Agent of Mara. Look at that. It's a permanent... Magic resistance, fifteen percent. Is that neat? Ain't, ain't that fucking dope? Just, just, just permanent fifteen percent magic resistance. Hell yeah, that's very nice, very nice and cool and awesome and dope and bitchin'. Hell yeah. Why did I just hear the, like the level up sound effect? That was spooky. Okay. Anyway, though, it's gonna be it for tonight because I am tired. My voice is tired, my brain is tired, and my bones are tired. So I'm gonna save my game, yeah, we good? Okay, game is saved, nice. So, 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 thank you. <clears throat> thank you for watching. As I mentioned before, uh, I'll fucking, here, hold on, go away, swap over, boom. As I mentioned before, we're like doing the Skyrim week kind of thing going on. We did, we did Skyrim on Monday, we were gonna do it last Sunday, but 
we ended up doing Animal Crossing instead. But we're doing we're doing we did Skyrim today. We're gonna be doing Skyrim again on Friday and Sunday. But tomorrow, Thursday, we're gonna be doing Hat in Time because I actually got some mods downloaded for that. We haven't done a Hat in Time stream in a hot minute, so I was like, yeah, I got I got a bunch of shit downloaded for that tomorrow. We're gonna play some Hat in Time. And then Friday, we'll do some more Skyrim. And then on Saturday, we're going to be doing another Animal Crossing session, which I got something to show on there, too. I actually uh, <laughs> I actually played a little bit of Animal Crossing off stream, and I got a client that I wanted to do. However, I was like, well, you know, shit, you know, for the Happy Home Academy thing, whatever. Like, you know, we, I, there was a client that showed up there, and I'm like, man, I want to do their house, but I'm not streaming right now. So I, uh, I got the job, but I actually haven't built their house for him yet. So we'll do that. When I come back on Saturday, we do an Animal Crossing stream. We'll do a, you know, I'll do my daily shit. Probably let Chad hop in and dick around for a bit, and then we'll go build a house for a client. And then on Sunday, we'll do more Skyrim. And then on Monday, we'll be starting Mass Effect Two, which is gonna be good. But yeah, again, there's more Skyrim for this week. We, we're doing lots of Skyrim this week. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, thank you though very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, or if you missed a stream, or if you're looking for something else to watch, you can check out the YouTube channel. It's the same as the Twitch name. It's just Ojax or hi. My throat is dying. <laughs> I I hate talking. I keep hearing my own voice every now and then. It is pissing me off. I can hear my voice. I can fucking sound like this right now. Oh god. But no. Um I use the same username pretty much everywhere. I'm Ojax or hi. Uh Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Discord, etc. etc. All those places on the internet. Ojax or hi, that's me. If you're watching on YouTube right now, there are links to the Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch right now, there are links to the YouTube. And if you're watching on either of them currently, there are links to the Discord. You can join that. Get notified whenever I go live. You can send me suggestions for games you want to see me play or mods of games that you want to see me play. Cool? All right. I just did my schedule thing before. I've been doing that lately. <laughs> I don't know why, but lately I've been doing the schedule before the, like, outro thing. I don't know why. Just in case. In case somebody wants to, like, immediately click off the video the second I start doing the outro. I, so I, I do the fucking schedule first now, yeah? Cool? And I do the outro afterwards? Neat? All right. That'll be it, though. Again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever time of day it might be for you when you're watching this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
I invented love.